Okay, today we start a brand new series. You see the title, you see the thumbnail. We are starting a Real Madrid career mode series. And this one is going to be special. The current holders of the Champions League trophy. I mean, it's an insanely strong team, but we are looking to give this squad a makeover. Squad, we got Ballon d'Or winner Benzema, but it's also kind of a squad that is aging. And on the bench, a lot of players that look like they're they're on the way out. So we're gonna try and take this team forward and, and make them back-to-back -back Champions League winners. And maybe with the help of some certain transfer targets. So if you are excited for the new series, then drop a like on this video. Video. Let's me know, of course, you guys want to see more. And also, if you guys hit 3,000 likes on this video, we'll get episode two tomorrow for sure. So drop a like, hit that sub button also so you don't miss a future episode. So, of course, in this type of series, we already have a great team. So, like the board wants us to, our goal from the beginning is to win every trophy possible, which with our sliders, it's still going to be a challenge, as we know. But we start with a 221 million budget, and that will be used in this first transfer window with your guys' help, as always. But first, we need to take a look at this squad. So, Kurtzwa, amazing. Do I need to say any more than that? Um, Lunin, very solid young backup keeper. So, left back Mendy. I do like Mendy a lot. We do not really have a backup left back like Alaba can play left back. So I'm not sure if we need to sign a backup to Mendy because of that. But center backs Rudiger, Alaba, Militao, Fernandez, solid. Yeah, I didn't know Nacho could play left back. I thought he was, uh, he's right footed. The man is just versatile. So I don't think we need a backup left back then. Right back Carvajal, a player that is aging. I mean, he's still good, but we might look to replace him at some point soon. And then Andre Zola. Now, uh, Remich is loaned him out to like Fiorentina last season, right? So I'm not sure how much he's in their plans. But for now, we are keeping him. Okay, we do have Lucas Vasquez though. See, I'm not sure. Vasquez can play right back and also play right wing he's versatile i'm gonna need to see what you guys think about that that right back spot but danny ceballos he is transfer listed probably gonna be sold and mavinga valverde and chumini are the future of this team three young mids who are just so so good valverde probably the most versatile player in fifa and then tony cruz luka modric are the opposite they are the old heads now they are amazing they're gonna be amazing in season one but past that i am not so sure what to do with these two now brahim is a player that i like to use i can't remember using him ever so i'd like to use him in the series i'm not sure though real life it sounds like ac Milan are gonna try to buy him so not sure we're gonna loan out a lot of the youngsters aren't good enough and then Eden Hazard is transfer listed as well as Marco Asensio. I think they're just not going to be useful in this type of series. So they're both are going to be sold. But Vinicius, Rodrigo, amazing wingers. And then the main man for now, Karim Benzema, the Ballon d'Or winner. But he is 34 years old. So I'm not sure how long he's going to keep that overall. If he's going to drop quickly. Only time will tell. And then Mariano, we're going to need to sell him and buy a new backup striker. Because Benzema is all we got. So on the surface, the team is amazing. But if we sell Hazard, Asensio, um, it kind of feels like the depth of the team is going to become a little bit of an issue. Like backup wingers, backup center mids. I think the defense is fine but midfield the attack the depth the bench and reserve of that needs uh, some attention i think so as always i'm gonna need you guys help with uh transfer suggestions our budget is pretty much i'm not limitless but it's very large so drop in the comments who you think we should sign in this series but first our starting shortlist now we kind of got all the players here i feel like every good player in the world is eventually linked to real madrid so there's a lot of good players here um main ones being Gonzalo ramos he's been linked with the move to real madrid at some point maybe the benzema replacement player um stanislav lobotska was linked uh, very recently maybe a january signing to like bolster the midfield um, Nico Williams is linked also for this January too. I think Real Madrid might look to try and sign him, which we might as well. And also, uh, Vardial is probably one of the most linked players as well. Of course, along with Chelsea. Those are like the main players. The other ones have kind of been like links, but not as strong. And of course, the elephant in the room, Mr. Kylian Mbappe. Now, I was so sure he was joining Real Madrid. I was so sure. But then he wound up staying at PSG and he looks like he might stay there for a while. So not sure I want to sign him in this series. I feel like probably not. I think instead, my main target for the future of this team is going to be Erling holland now he had links to real madrid but eventually chose man city it kind of makes sense with benzema for still being here so once benzema is gone maybe holland could be the the star of this series i mean 88 overall 21 years old the man is absolutely nuts so i want him to be the future marquee signing but you guys gotta tell me what you think first of course and then also the elephant in the room i know you saw him cristiano ronaldo is on our short list now right now in real life he's a free agent and it's probably it's probably insanely unrealistic but what if we brought ronaldo back to real madrid to be a backup striker i I think at this point he might actually take that role if it was offered i just don't think it's gonna be offered in real life he's linked to a saudi arabian club so that looks kind of likely but i think he's trying to put pressure and waiting for european clubs to try and see if they want to sign him and in this save in this alternate universe maybe real madrid we could be that club and sign ronaldo now i feel like that's very controversial maybe holland is too so i want to know what you guys think about erling holland and ronaldo two just huge storylines potential storylines for the series and i want to know what you guys think because you guys are gonna play a vital role in that decision all right offer from mariano probably the first First departure in this team honestly 28 years old 74 overall he's just uh, he's just not good enough now juventus offering 46 million for danny carvajal now i think 
we're gonna keep Carvajal, try to keep it realistic in that regard. But I feel like in the future, maybe a move to Juventus actually sounds like a good move for him. I'm not sure, but uh, Ceballos to Newcastle. I mean, that sounds maybe realistic. We are going to accept this one though. Also, Jesus Vallejo. Uh, we got four really good center backs, so we really just don't need him. Um, nine million, and he might be on his way to Bilbao. Hey, Bilbao, you might see us in a second year. Um, United want Lucas Vasquez. I think, I think we're gonna keep Vasquez. I feel like that's probably what you guys would want. So I'm gonna block that for now. We'll see though what you guys think. Okay, first departure of the series is Danny Ceballos. So Newcastle for 15 million. Okay, second departure is Vallejo. Now, we actually chose Sassuolo in Italy over uh, Bilbao, but he's been sold then Chumini to a CDM. I mean, that's where he's going to play. That's his position. He's going to go up to an 83. I mean, he is a absolute beast of a CDM. All right, Youngster loaned out and then offer for Hazard from Leverkusen. 41.7. 41. That's a lot of money for Hazard. Now, I just feel like for this series, I think it's time to move on. I don't think he's going to play a role with us. So, uh, 44.5 million for Hazard. That is a lot of money for him. I mean, it's nothing what Remage paid, but I mean, that's still decent for us right now. By the way, another thing that I need you guys' thoughts on are um, Luka Modric and Tony Cruz, their contracts are expiring. So, what should we do with the two old heads of the squad? Now, Modric is playing amazing at the World Cup right now. So, he doesn't look like he's going to stop anytime soon. So, I kind of want to keep him for sure. But Tony Cruz, I'm not exactly sure about. I believe in real life, it's rumored that he's going to get a one-year extension. So, maybe we should do that in the series. But you guys let me know what you think about Modric and Cruz. Other than that, I think it's time for our first signing. And I think it's the player that is linked with Remage the most right now in real life for a move in January. And that is Nico Williams of Bilbao. From what I've seen, it's the most, like, it's the most uh, rumored, probably the most realistic. And I think he's a good player of the future, only 20 years old. So 16.5 would try that. It's not going to break the bank either. And they accept a 16.5. That is nothing for the mighty Real Madrid. So basically, he's right now, he's has their replacement. And we're also probably going to try to sell Asensio too. So of course, being in Spain, we'll give release clauses to all the players. Um, can we try? Like a little more though 30 seems a little bit low what about 44 they are going to want okay 39 i'm not gonna annoy them we're just gonna accept that gonna be a problem in the future though but 64k per week nico williams has been signed up first signing of the ramage career mode i'm gonna try to find a face mod for him because his generic face isn't isn't the best but first signing i would say solid pickup i think first things first we're gonna make him a is he right footed or left footed um he is right footed so he's not far so weak foot though so let's make him a left wing just because of hazard now 91 pace 75 finishing i do like to see that i think he's gonna be really good and also on q eden hazard has left ramage for Leverkusen. I feel bad for him. I liked him at Chelsea. Like he was so fun to watch. Real Madrid hasn't been the same. So it is time for a new chapter for Ed and also for us in this save. So William goes to the bench. I feel like we do need another midfielder though because we have Modric, Cruz, Camavinga. I'm not sure if I want to start Valverde at right wing or Rodrigo for right now because in real life Valverde is playing a lot of right wing, right? So we might start with that maybe. But backup mids are basically Camavinga, Valverde, and uh, that's kind of it. I feel like we need one more along with maybe a backup striker too. So we got Enzo Fernandez and Lobotska. Did we see Enzo Fernandez like launch the ball at the Netherlands bench? Like, that was hilarious. What a psycho. I like it, though. Now, I feel like the more realistic signing is Lobotska. I feel like Fernandez might be a future pickup for maybe Real Madrid. But I feel like right now, Lobotska is playing for Napoli. He's not crazy expensive. He's a very good, like, bench backup player. Still 27, so it could grow a little bit. So I think for now, I feel like he's a solid uh, bench option. So 32 million. That should be enough. They want Luka Modric. Uh, what are you smoking? 35 million. Let's try that. Just a few million more. And they accept that. You're not getting Luka Modric. What were you even thinking? Now, am I saying his name right, Lobotska? I'm not even sure. Um, we are paying 35 million for him. So let's put like maybe a 45 million release clause. Maybe 47. We'll try that. See what they say. 47 million. They're okay with that. Should I have put more? Did I just mess up? Only time will tell. Whoa, buddy wants a big wage. That's kind of a lot. Okay, we are in Madrid. Never mind. We are the Galactico. So maybe I shouldn't be uh, talking about wage. So you know what? 135. I'll do it. Lobotska is signed up. I feel like Williams, Lobotska, those are two, like, maybe realistic-ish signings. So, so far, it's gone, I would say, a realistic-ish way. Now, if you guys want to sign Ronaldo, then that'll that'll end pretty quickly. But it will also be pretty cool. But for now, we got Nico Williams and Lobotska into the team. I think that was the two biggest needs. So, Williams is going to be number 27. And we'll give Mr. Stanislav, uh, let's 25. Why not? Now, should we make Kamavinga a CDM? I kind of feel like in FIFA, his stats are kind of more, more, like, tailored towards a box-to-box -box mid. But I also know he's a very good CDM. So, I'm not sure if we should make him a CDM, like a backup to uh, Chumini. Once again, things I would need your guys' uh, thoughts on. So Youth Academy, always a big part of our series. A very large part. Nothing changes in this one. So we're going to send one scout to Spain, of course. Uh, let's do nine months in Spain. Uh, let's do physically strong. And then the other two scouts, we're going to hire two scouts. And you guys in the comments, tell me where to send these other two scouts, which we'll do that in the next episode. Um, PSG are trying to sign Rafael Leao. Now he's another player that I thought would be a big target in this series. Now in real life, it sounds like Real Madrid are not currently pursuing him. I think he might extend his contract to AC Milan. But for 
for the future could be a target here. Okay, Nico Williams to right wing. He's gonna go up to a 76, actually left wing. I mean, that's not bad. He's gonna be 77 in four weeks. So 75 to 77 uh, before we play the first game of the season. That's not bad. And now Inter want uh, Asensio. They're offering Stefan DeVry. Now, if we needed a center back, that would actually be a really good deal. But I don't think we're gonna want Stefan DeVry at all. So let's see if we can get a big fee here. Because I feel like we don't need to sell Asensio, but I think we could replace him with a more exciting player. So let's try like 58.5. That's a lot of money. They're almost gonna pay 60 million for Asensio. I think we'd let that happen, which they are not. They're gonna walk away. Okay, so you guys let me know. Should we sell Asensio? I'm not sure, honestly. I was a lot more sure about Hazard, but Asensio, I'm not so sure. Okay, already it's time for the first game of the season. We're facing Frankfurt in the uh, the UEFA Super Cup. Obviously, Benzema, we we're playing with a false nine. This used to be one of my favorite formations. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm, I'm excited to use it again. We got literally like the best center forward false nine in the world right now. So of course, the, the starting 11 is very straightforward. First game, I'm gonna try Valverde at right wing. Once again, another player that I, I don't remember ever using Valverde that much. Also, probably will see debuts for Nico Williams, Lobotska, and then we're gonna try to play with kind of a higher line here, like maybe 70, 72, as Real Madrid do in real life. And I think we'll keep things on balance. We'll have Chumini stay back, Benzema false nine, and then Valverde and Vinicius getting forward, of course. Once again, very strong team, so we should be, of course, decent. But even with a good team, the sliders we use have proven to still uh, make us look very foolish. So ultimate difficulty. For the CPU, 57 sprint speed acceleration, 25 shot air, one pass air. Um, injury slider is up for the user and CPU both, so more injuries. 60 marking, and then 10 first touch control air for the CPU. For the user, marking a 60, injury slider the same. Other than that, all default. These have proven to provide quite a challenge in our other series. But we've had much better teams than this. So it's still gonna be a challenge. We're gonna get a taste of that in this first game. Carlo Ancelotti, he might be one of the only managers in more football that can go from Everton to Real Madrid. Actually, like Real Madrid to Everton and then back to Real Madrid. Who else can do that other than this man? He laid an absolute stinker at Everton, but it might have been not his fault. Let's hope uh, we have a good time here with him. Because as we know, in our series, the manager is changeable. We might not end this series with Ancelotti as our manager. We might not. So first game facing Frankfurt, we're going to put this team uh, to the test. We could claim our first trophy in the series in game number one. Man, Benzema is another player that I feel like I've never used, really. Like, I really haven't used Vinicius a lot, Benzema, Valverde. So I'm excited to use all these players. So game number one, let's get a win. Let's not lose our first game, right? Because I feel like even on these sliders, you know, Frankfurt, we should probably win this. Okay, they're just running through my defense, I guess. This should still be a win. Did I just jinx it? All oh, cross in already. Okay, Courtois, that looked very shaky. Boys, can we tighten up here? Corner sent in by Mario Goetze. Man, what happened to his career? Scored probably the biggest goal in Germany's history and then uh, kind of just never really amounted much in club football. But I don't think you'll mind after that World Cup. Hey, Benzema. Good about a Carval. Carval set on overlap, so he's not going to bomb forward, but he is going to go forward here and there. Vinicius just headbutted the keeper. Modric into Valverde, into Benzema. Benzema into Vinicius. Should be going number one. Vinicius, just like that, it's going number one. Now, I feel Vinicius is going to score quite the number of goals for us in this series, and that is goal number one. Benzema assist, playing that false nine roll. Vinicius, it's going to be a reoccurring theme. I already see it. But 1-0 in the 10th minute to Real Madrid. Oh, man, what a disgusting pass. That was beautiful. Now, this man's got no support. He's got no friends. Literally, no one's forward. Warner lofted in, and Valverde, he just does it all. He's defending. Playing right wing, could play right back, could play center mid. I mean, he's one of the few players in the world that are that versatile. Although I still feel like his best position is probably in the midfield. Too many into Valverde. Here he is. Into Benzema again. To Vinicius. 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 Solid attack. All right, Tony Cruz sends it in. That is Alaba, I believe. Alaba. Oh, that was a very strong header. Vinicius into Luka Modric. They're laying off him. He's gonna shoot, but he took so long to shoot that he let the defender actually block it. Now Valverde steals that back. Modric. Modric. Okay, Benzema. I thought Benzema would make a run there. He was just actually doing what he's supposed to, playing a false nine. My mistake. Benzema out to Carvajal. Carvajal into Valverde. That pass should have got through. We are in control of this game though from the start. Modric. Cruz. Vinicius to Benzema. Benzema, flip it up to Vinicius. Oh, that pass would have been so beautiful. So many into Modric. This midfield is just working so well. Honestly, everything's looking good right now. Every single thing looks like it's working to perfection. Benzema, dink up to Modric, I believe, and that's gonna go back to trap. Okay, we got a free kick. You know what? This is pretty far out, but are we shooting this? Okay, we're gonna shoot it, but it's gonna be from absolutely the stratosphere Benzema. Okay, that is embarrassing. I mean, Frankfurt seemed like a sneaky team here. They've had some good attacking, but uh, we scored that first goal. That was a decent attack by them. That's a chance for a long shot. Oh, that's an off the crossbar. That was an absolute banger. Who scored that? I don't even see. Um, I have no clue who just scored that, but uh, Yakic, uh, that was a screamer. Okay, that was off like a, a corner. I wasn't expecting that. This is 1-1. I mean, maybe Yakic is a name we should know about. Modric into Benzema, Benzema, Benzema. That's some solid dribbling. Out to Mendy. That is beautiful. Mendy back to Jumeni. In to Luka Modric. Modric to Tony Cruz. Get it to someone. It's going to be Vinicius. Vinicius. Chance to shoot. That's going to be blocked. Our attacks look good. Just uh, we've we got to get some clear chances here. Modric, what a ball to Valverde. Beautiful. 
We got Benzema. He's making some weird runs though. And Vinicius not gonna reach that. That ball by Modric to Valverde though was, was pretty dirty. Okay, I wanna see what our new signing Nico Williams has. So he is on for Valverde at right wing. We're gonna see what our new signing can do. I wanna see some of that 91 pace, that finishing. He looks like an absolute beast. Okay, right, right there he didn't. Chance again for Nico Williams. Nico Williams, he loses it again. That's not a that's not a good first two plays for him. Modric into Williams. Williams back to Benzema. Benzema. Oh man, we are so close to getting like a very clear, clear chance. Okay, too many is is an absolute beast. Beast. I mean, I already knew that, but I'm seeing it firsthand. Vinicius, Vinicius, let's chill. Back to Modric. Modric to Carvajal. Now we need a ball. Get it to Benzema. That's actually not Benzema. That's Williams, and it's going to be blocked. We are making some great chances. They're just not going to go in. Vinicius somehow gets that to Benzema. Benzema tries to shoot, and that's going to be... It's going to be a corner. No, it's not. I mean, Frankfurt's defense holding up for now. Good ball. That's going to be a block by Rudiger. Decent. Our defense has been good. Just that one wonder strike is the reason this game is tied right now. Vinicius, Vinicius. Okay, that wasn't so great. All right, Modric, you're, you're kind of old there, so let's give Lobotska a chance for his debut as well. So, two debutants on the field. Benzema sees Nico Williams with the run. Oh, man, that was a great ball by Benzema. Okay, Goatse versus Alaba. I think I know who'd win this, but maybe not. Okay, Goatse is looking like uh, he wants to do damage this season. Corner. Bruce, good clearance. Now, this is a good move, but defense, okay. Alaba, that is some strong positioning there. But all of a sudden, uh, Frankfurt seemed like the better team. That's a good steal. All right, Lobotska gets it to Benzema. Wait for Nico Williams. Nico Williams, I need to see some of that pace. Okay, Lobotska was making a great run. He's still making a great run. Nico Williams crossing. That was handball. I'll take that, honestly, I think. So, you know what? Are we shooting this, actually? It's going to take some restraint not to, but we're going to cross it in. Alaba, Dinkin. Oh, man, it's dangerous, but it's also like a chip cross. So many into Williams. Williams gets that to Benzema. He's going to take that shot. It's going to be deflected. Right, Mendy, good steal into Vinicius. Good ball, Tony Cruz. Cruz into Lobotska. Oh, man, that, was, that wasn't the right pass. Now, I don't know who won this in real life. I actually have... Oh, I have no clue. Carvajal. Carvalho, you're looking very shaky there. We do get it out. Okay, it's Labaka. The man, the come there to set it. Am I saying it wrong? Okay, Alaba. Very close to being a goal there again. We got 10 minutes, and this has actually been a quite a close game, although Vinicius. Now you got some space here, Vinicius. What do we got? He needs support. Get it to Benzema, maybe. Get it to Benzema. Get it to Benzema, but not quick enough. Okay, we got Rodrigo for Vinicius. We got Kemavinga for Cruz. And also Vasquez for Carvajal. Trying to get some subs on and get their first game of the season. Although, is it going to come at a cost? Because this is for the first trophy. I want this first trophy, although it is the Super Cup. Rodrigo, Benzema. We got room here. Benzema, ball to... What a ball to Nico Williams. Nico Williams, chance to score the winner, maybe. Nico Williams drags it wide. Bam, Benzema. What a pass, though. Is that going to be the final chance of the game? Okay, we might have one more chance in us. That is Lobot's, Lobotka into Benzema. Waiting for Lobotka. Benzema just gets taken out, and he might be hurt. I'm not actually sure, but that's full time. 1-1. One, one, so I believe this is going to a penalty shootout in episode one already. Oh, wait, no. It's going to extra time. Why is there extra time in the Super Cup? Okay, never mind. Not penalties yet. Okay, honestly, we should just wrap this up in extra time. But the boys... We started off strongly, but since then have not been the best. Okay, that's a... Whoa, that was a cross in. I think my player just teleported. I'm not sure what I just saw. Kimovinga driving forward. We see Rodrigo making that run. Is he onside still? I'm not always offside. That was almost timed right. Yeah, he was so in there. Benzema to Lobotska into Williams. Williams into Benzema. We get it back to Williams, maybe. What a ball. Williams, I see you. Williams, tap in. Nico Williams scores on his debut, and that could be the goal that wins us the Super Cup. The new signing had a few chances, but puts that one away. Oh, Carlo Ancelotti is running like he's 15, 20 years younger. Okay, boys, calm down. It's just the Super Cup. But we are 2-1 up now. Okay, why is this player free in front of our goal? I'm not sure, but Courtois does good enough there. This game is still far from over. We still got a long 15-minute uh, second half. We score one more, though, and this will be this will be wrapped up. And Alaba and Rudiger have been very good. Benzema to Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Oh, man. Labot Labotka is making some very forward runs. Made a good one. Just couldn't really reach him. Okay, that's a good ball. Okay, why is why is whoever's in the top left complaining to the ref? I'm not sure, but we do clear that. I think that might be uh, Lucas Vasquez. He just went right to the ground again. Oh, Alaba. Alaba, what a challenge. Benzema to Rodrigo. Rodrigo is, needs some help. He needs some help. Okay, he, he wasn't turning there. I was trying to turn. Rodrigo just didn't want to. Oh, no. Oh, no. They might score. Whoa, Courtois. Wait, wait. He's offside. I was about to say, why is Courtois coming out like that? They almost just tied the game off on nothing. The offside flag saves us, and that might be it. This, oh, this is like one more chance. Whoa, this guy's so quick. Oh, Courtois. Oh, he actually scores. He is so quick. I can't believe what I've seen. They've actually tied it up, and this is going to penalties now. The burst of speed that he just had to get forward, that was nuts. Like, I gotta see this again. Ball gets to him, and the burst of speed right there. Alaba missed that tackle within the second burst. I brought Courtois out. His touch was so heavy, I thought Courtois could maybe get it, but no, he ends up chipping Courtois. And this is going to now a penalty shootout, of course. Okay, we are from Spain, but how about we don't actually, like, be like Spain? Benzema first. 
he should score this. There's no reason the Ballon d'Or winner should miss, and he does not. All right, Courtois, he's gonna go left, and Courtois makes the save. David Alaba, we're going, we're gonna go right. We're gonna go top right. Beautiful. Good start to the shootout. He is gonna go, he's gonna go left, and they're gonna get one on the board. Rodrigo, what do we got? We're gonna go bottom right. Bottom right. I think he missed his penalty against in, in the Brazil shootout. I think he did. This time he doesn't. Goal score. All oh, Courtois. Good save. Now, Eduardo Camavinga to win us the Super Cup. We're going. We're going to go top left. Top left. Oh, trap. Went the wrong way. Embarrassing. And Camavinga wins Real Madrid the Super Cup. It should not have gone to penalties. It was a good game, though. But we had a much stronger penalty shootout. We may be from Spain, but we are not Spain. Apologies to uh, the, Spanish, the Spanish fans. But uh, Real Madrid trophies are two things that go together a lot and we're gonna try to keep that up in this series first trophy already won and benzema lifts the UEFA super cup for real madrid we have a lot more we want to win though in this series all right so no offers yet for asensio so for for now he's here other than that i'm not sure we're looking to sell anyone else oh mariano's still here uh still trying to sell him but i think other than that everyone else is staying unless you guys really want us to sell someone and i'm still looking at two players cristiano ronaldo and the big man erling holland but first game is a win now it's time for the first la liga game we're facing mallorca i mean a team that real madrid could absolutely demolish so i think we go same starting 11 um let's go with the away kid this game i feel like real madrid usually always have really really nice kits and of course as we do every season we're gonna have new kits so we're gonna try and keep that up but opening day la liga let's try and get a win here i think we had a lot of good attacking in the last game but couldn't quite get like the the pure chances so i think i'm confident that we will get a lot of success with this team with also uh potential signings simply put the confidence is high in this first game although frankfurt did take us to penalty so maybe it shouldn't be okay myotica myotica looking for a very good start here goes to uh grenier and courtois makes the save not a bad start ross in and that is going to be right at courtois Thank you for being alert. I mean, that's some solid dribbling from uh, Benzema Modric. He's holding off that defender. He's going to shoot Modric. Oh, that's just beautiful. He's literally holding the defender off and then shoots and scores. Like, what, what an absolute beast. He's so old, but he's so good still. He's got that longevity gene. And he also scores the first goal of the league season and also the first actual banger of the series. I mean, it's not extremely far out, but that's still, still a banger. All right, 1-0 to Real Madrid, 10 minutes in again. We just like the 10-minute mark. Okay, Valverde doing some good dribbling there. I want Benzema to get more in the more in the box. What a cross by Valverde, though. Okay, I got to say, Mojica, whoa, whoa. That was, uh, was that a tactical foul? Mojica? actually coming forward looking good oh they might score this they're not scoring this free kick from i don't even know who he oh he just faked me oh no okay he's actually gonna shoot oh my, okay carvajal that's really good if they would have shot they might have scored why is Modric the farthest player here i thought that was valverde oh again a good touch they're gonna score nope Courtois would have saved okay the cpu keeps taking a very like heavy touch and it keeps destroying me tony cruz to vinicius vinicius we got benzema benzema okay actually valverde Oh, it's beautiful. We got to put that in the back of the net, though. Benzema to Cruz. Luka Modric. Benzema, you're completely offside. A Modric, why not again? Why not again, Luka Modric? Okay, that's why not. Okay, Chouamini, great steal. Valverde into Benzema. Oh, man. Once again, Vinicius and Benzema are almost combining, like, every single attack, it seems. Okay, again, I am I am getting beat in behind so often here. Corner in for Mallorca. That is a great cross, but Chouamini clears it. Still a threat, though. That's a good ball. That's a good ball. Tony Cruz, uh, defending was good enough. Okay, we got a lot of space here out wide for Valverde. Get that to Benzema. Benzema, play it to Cruz. Cruz, now he could have shot that maybe. Let's go to Modric. Whoa, that was meant for Modric. What was that? What was that pass? Vinicius, Valverde, cross to Benzema. Benzema, are going to reach that? Not quite. Vinicius threw to Benzema, but I think he was offside, I believe. Benzema, what a steal. Cross that thing in to someone. What a cross to Valverde. It's going to be cleared. Is that how the first half ends? Nope, Cruz. Chance to shoot. That's going to be blocked. And that is how the first half ends. This feels a lot like last game. Oh, man. What a ball. That's a, okay. Okay. That's a banger again. Now, the issue is I'm letting these players get in front of my center backs. That's the issue. But what an absolute banger. That is two against us in the first episode. Like, for him to get by, man, that's horrible tracking. Out of position. And then it's just an absolute. No one's saving that, though. Just like last game. This is the same game, it feels like. It is 1-1. There's no way this guy's on side. He's actually, okay, I was about to say, ref, you want to put up your flag a little bit sooner? I mean, maybe it's the high line, but I feel like that's not exactly it. I don't know, maybe it is. Modric into Benzema. Benzema, chance to shoot. Okay, we need to get closer to goal. Fumini, Modric into Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz, oh man, it's just good defending. Get it to Luka Modric. Modric, we're going to try low driven shot. Low driven shot, and it's right at the keeper though. Vinicius, good ball to Cruz. Gets that to Modric. Modric, we got Benzema and Vinicius. Good ball to Vinicius. But he's going to be offside. I wanted it to go to Benzema. Oh, what a good move. What a good move, Courtois, though. What a good save. 
Man, we are getting tested here. These teams are not playing bad against this Carvajal. That's a good steal. We need to wake up here. Like, we are Real Madrid. Vinicius, good ball to Benzema. Benzema, we just need more support, though. Gets it to Valverde. Valverde, once again, I don't like the options here. Into Modric. Into Cruz. Everything's outside the box shooting, though. Okay, no more screamers, right? Please. It'd be nice. Okay, see... Based on defending, we're doing good, but positionally, maybe not. Benzema, okay, get it, Scarball. I think Valverde was offside, but now he's onside. That is going to be into Valverde. And I see Vinicius. Cross to Vinicius, but that needed more height on it. Okay, dangerous spot. Dangerous spot. Mendy, good tackle, though. Game has gone by so quick. We only have four. Oh, we only have four minutes. That was a rushed pass right there. I don't think we deserve to win this game. Um, Rodrigo for Valverde, and then Kemavinga on for uh, Tony Cruz, but they, have, they might have the last attack here. Okay, that's a good corner. Shot. Gets their player almost a chance for a winner for Mallorca. That would be an opening day shock. Corner in. I don't know what out of time is. That's got to be defended. That's well defended. But I don't think we're going to have time for attack. No, we're not. So 1-1 one, one drop on opening day against Mallorca. We were not good enough to win that game. That was a fair draw, I think. So like I said, good team. But with these sliders, it's still going to be a realistic challenge. Now already game one, that is some drop points. All right, so I need you guys' thoughts on transfers. Players you think we should sell. And also, of course, the big one. Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo and also... Erling Holland, both of them. Should we sign Ronaldo to be our backup striker? And also, should Holland be like the main target for the future of this series? Okay, a decision on Cristiano Ronaldo will be made in this episode. To start the series, we're already made two signings in Lobotka and Nico Williams. We have sold players like Ceballos and Hazard, and we need a backup striker. That is what we need the most. Another goal scorer. And we are looking at two potential targets right here. This episode could be pretty, pretty special. So you guys killed the like goal on the first episode. I appreciate that a lot. So let's keep it up. Drop a like if you want to keep seeing the series daily. And also with that sub button, we're trying to reach 200,000 subs. That is the next goal. Okay, first comment for the right back spot. Sign someone young in January. Dumfries is a good suggestion. Yeah, I think the plan is to phase out Carvalho slowly out of the starting spot and replace him with a new right back. I think Dumfries might be the player I like the most for that position. We also have Pedro Porro, who's also linked to Real Madrid, and also Reese James, too. So we got some solid right backs here. Enzo Fernandez is a great player and will accept rotation probably, so I would sign him. Yeah, once again, if when we sign our next midfielder, I think Enzo Fernandez is my number one target for that, too, because I feel that he would really fit this Real Madrid squad. So if we let Tony Cruz go if we need another mid. Enzo is currently the number one target. So last one of this series on PC, you should make the wonder kid Endrick. Real's new 16 year old signing. Yeah, so we are on PC. And yeah, they just spent like 65 million on a 16 year old, right? That's a lot of money. All I'm saying about that is stay tuned. That's all I'm saying for right now. We got some things planned, but first things first, we're going to start doing this in all of our series. We are going to mod our transfer budget to be more realistic because I feel like having 200 million is almost, it kind of takes the fun away from signings. Like it's just simply just too much money. Like for example, this past window, Real Madrid, they signed uh, Chumini for 80 million. I feel like a more reasonable amount for every season season is to start with like 75 to 100 million and then of course player sales can like balance it out make it higher but that's the plan every season we're going to start with anywhere from 60 to maybe 100 million for example instead of 200 million we now have 85 million to spend which i think is much more realistic so i believe we have one more player we're trying to sell i think we are going to sell marco asensio so we started this series off with a win in the super cup although they took us to penalties and then we drew with mallorca so it hasn't been like the most convincing or strong start i like labotka i like nico williams but we, we need one more signing in episode one i proposed the idea of signing Signing Mr. CR7 to be our new backup striker to Benzema. Now, it does feel kind of weird saying Ronaldo would be a backup striker, but I think at this stage in his career right now, he would honestly probably take that. And also, of course, there's Erling Holland, who I think I want to be like the future star of this series. But he just joined Man City. It's not time for that yet. Plus, we could not even afford that. And in the comments, the general feeling I got was you guys want to see us sign Ronaldo in this series. I think if Ronaldo could do it over again, he probably would, would have never left Real Madrid. I think hindsight is 2020 right now. He probably regrets that decision. But how about in this series, we give him a very nice sense off in his career because 90 overall this man could still help us a lot this season so let's do his value 41 million see if united accept that they should man this is this is so big ronaldo back to real madrid this is about to be so much fun but it's funny because ancelotti just gave an interview kind of like uh defending ronaldo in a way saying like he never had any problems coaching him he always like a he was a good player to coach mr cr7 is coming home now it's gonna be let's do a one-year contract maybe after that he retires maybe he goes to saudi arabia then but i think we could do one season and then see see how he does and then take it from there now tuna caper week it's not Saudi Arabia money, but it's still good money. Okay, he wants 220. You know what? Same thing at United. Cristiano Ronaldo is signed up back to Real Madrid. The club that literally he made himself a legend at. For the most part, of course, United, but Real Madrid is where he truly like cemented himself as a, one of the best players of all time. And he is back and it is going to be so special and so much fun. Now, I did notice Benzema is already uh, minus one this season. So I, I'm guessing Ronaldo is going to drop pretty quickly. What is that? 14. That is a war crime right there. But there it is. Ronaldo back at Real Madrid. Um, You know what number should we actually have free right now? You guessed it. Number seven. I mean, it's it's 
it's only right. Ronaldo has returned to Real Madrid. Now I'm gonna try to manage Benzema and Ronaldo's playing time. They're both they're both old, so I'm gonna try to get them like a good amount of game time. But Benzema's gonna start, of course, the bigger, more important games. But once again, see Ronaldo back at Real Madrid. It is a bit special. So we're still gonna try to sell Sensio and Mariano, but I think that might be the final signing unless a shock player leaves. Um, by the way, we did give um Chumini a face mod, so he actually has a real face now in the game. But okay, next game is Rayo Vallecano. They lost the first game. We drew our first game, and I think off the bench, it's time for Ronaldo's re-debut for Real Madrid. I think I'm gonna start Rodrigo on the right wing, and then let's throw Militao in there, and we go with that Ronaldo. He is making an appearance in this game 1000%. Also, we kind of need to uh, win this game. All right, come on, boys. Game one was a disappointing draw against a team we should have beat. This is another team we should beat, so let's see if we play a little bit better. And everyone is waiting for Ronaldo's appearance. Okay, this is a great start by us. Uh, the defense, I I'm kind of starting to feel like the defense might be a bit of an issue, whether it's like tactics, whether it's like the personnel. All right, Benzema, Benzema, you know what? They're laying off of Benzema. He's going to shoot wasn't a bad shot i mean first shot the episode is long shot are you even surprised also you might notice vinicius is now number 11. okay that was a bad pass but since sensio was gone uh vinicius takes number 11 nico williams takes uh, vinicius number 20. also when you guys said rodrigo has been playing a bit of center forward for Real madrid so that is definitely something we can try okay thankfully we took the pass away and courtois makes actually the save benzema gets that to rodrigo very well now i put i put benzema a little bit forward because i want him to get more in the box but I'm seeing if that works. Okay, Rodrigo. That was actually Cruz. Cruz didn't even run towards the ball. Bro, right about kind of such a cool stadium with that big wall on the right. It is such a cool, like, it's so unique. What's also unique is this defense looking shaky with the ratings we have. Okay, Rodrigo into Benzema. Benzema, can we lift it? Vinicius, and we can, but Benzema will keep that. No, he won't. Okay, we're kind of struggling here to start. Like, if anything looks likely to score, it's them. Militao, what a strong tackle, though. Fans are asking for a pen. I don't think so, Benzema. Get that to Rodrigo. Okay, here's some space. Rodrigo using his pace. Rodrigo, he's going all the way. Rodrigo. Okay, that is so against the run of play. Just one breakaway, Rodrigo scores, and this is 1-0 to Real Madrid. I guess that's what happened when you got the players of quality that we do have. Like, I wasn't a passive, but Rodrigo, he just, he just did it all himself. Gets the start and scores, and that's 1-0. Does this mean we'll wake up? I don't know, but Alaba, that is a, that is a good block. Okay, Tony Cruz, can we find Benzema? Is he onside? I believe he is, but he is now. We've had so many tight calls. Like, we are so close to being so far in behind. So many into Tony Cruz, into Benzema. Okay, Modric, Modric, decent dribbling. To Vinicius, chance for finesse shot, Vinicius. That was, once again, not great. All right, second half begins, 1-0 up, courtesy of that against the run of play goal. Ronaldo, he's coming on very, very soon. I don't know if there's a reality where we could play Benzema and Ronaldo on the field at the same time. I'm not sure if there's a, there's a style that makes sense where we do that. Modric to Carvajal. Okay, Benzema, see, that is what I want him to do. Get inside the box. That is what I want. It's going to be cleared, though. Cruz, Chumini into Modric, into Benzema. Good move. Benzema tries to go for a low German shot. It is a solid tackle. Okay, I, I think it's time. Ronaldo is on for Benzema. The re-debut is happening. Can you imagine if this happened in real life? It would be, it would be incredible. But Ronaldo, welcome back to Real Madrid. Let's see if he can help us uh, wrap up this game. Okay, Alaba, great block. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo off to Rodrigo. Rodrigo has looked very good this game. Cross in. Okay, what kind of cross was that though? Get it to Carvajal. Whip that in. That is to Vinicius. Vinicius header attempt. Oh, what a header by Vinicius. Carvajal, great cross, and that is 2-0. Yeah, I would say we look, we've looked uh, a bit better at this game overall. I mean, as long as they don't score here, I think we might be in a good spot. If they score, though, it's going to get very uh, interesting. And this is not a bad chance. Cruz, though, gets it out to Ronaldo. Too many on to Ronaldo. Ronaldo is showing some pace here. Can he go all the way? Okay, Vinicius, you're offside. Ronaldo, can he go all the way? Can he go all the way? He can. Ronaldo scores for Real Madrid on his re-debut. And we're going to get that classic Sui. Welcome back officially to Real Madrid. Okay, he wasn't that fast there, but he, he got a little bit of pace. But he got caught up, but he still has the finishing ability from that spot. Yeah, I think he's going to help us a lot this season. Ancelotti approves. All right, subs coming on. Uh, I think this might actually be our first win of the season. I mean, first official win. Clean sheet will be nice, though. Clean sheet will be very nice. If we don't get it, I'm going to be mad. Okay, he just, he just ran it out of play. I am not sure why. Ronaldo lays it off to Nico Williams, who is on. We cross it to Rodrigo. Yes, we can. Rodrigo heads it. That was a very good header. Good save, though. All right, Ronaldo, where are you at? Cruz, crossing the box. It is to Ronaldo. Is he going to climb? Oh, man. I thought he was going to score that. Into Nico Williams. Nico Williams turns. Throw driven shot. Keeper, another good save. Oh, wait, no. We got a, oh, we got a free kick. Oh, man. Who's taking this? Oh, it's 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 got to be Ronaldo, right? Oh, it just has to be Ronaldo. It's got to be. CR7 from the free kick spot. Can he get his brace on his re-debut for Real Madrid? Oh, I think that hit the, I think that hit the crossbar. I hate how sometimes it's very hard to see where a free kick goes. So it goes off, I believe, uh, yep, the crossbar. So close. It actually almost goes in off Lopez. Almost a beautiful free kick from Ronaldo, but he got his goal. 
and we got our win. We might get another one here. Nico Williams. Uh, Nico Williams actually hurt. That's not good. But 3-0. First win of the series. Ronaldo scores on his uh, re-debut. I mean, that was that was pretty much a perfect game right there. Can't ask for much more. Okay, Nico Williams is hurt. And he is out for four weeks. So our new signing. I mean, do we need to send a replacement for that? I don't think we do. I think four weeks is not that long. So I think we can survive for now. And that means Asensio goes on the bench for now. I mean, he's still here. Maybe he stays. I don't know. All right, first sim game is going to be against uh, Hirona. At home, this one is going to be 2-0 Vinicius and Benzema. First sim game is a win. I'll take that. All right, so transfer deadline day. Asensio is linked to Man United. But so after saying Ronaldo, we only have 35 million left. I would say, once again, a much more realistic amount. I think Ronaldo, final signing of the window for sure. So Lobotka, Nico Williams, Ronaldo, that's our signings. And then Holland. I think in this series, he is for sure going to be like the main target for the future. But for right now, he just joined Man City. It's it's not time yet. But that is our future star, future striker. Okay, United coming for Asensio for 43.5 million. I think it makes sense to sell him. So Asensio has accepted that move. He is going to Man United for 43.5 million. So that puts us at 75 million for January, a decent amount. Now we are without a winger now, so we kind of need another one. But we also have something up our sleeve too. So I don't think we need to sign a replacement, if you know what I mean. But that is going to be it for transfer deadline day. Okay, next game is Real Batiste. Ronaldo gets his first start back at Real Madrid. And this game is going to be 2-1. Ronaldo scores one and Rodrigo scores the other. So that's 2-2 two two for Ronaldo already. And as well, another win. So now we start the Champions League group stage. Now I would say our group is relatively easy. Leipzig, Shakhtar, and Celtic. Although Shakhtar and Leipzig can be a problem maybe. Um, Nico Williams already back from his injury, so that's good. That's good. So finally, it's time for the first home game. We are facing Timo Werner, a solid uh, Leipzig team. Uh, Vardy all playing, you know, the Real Madrid scouting department's going to scout him in this game. I think I'm going to go with uh, Militao again because I mean, we kept a clean sheet with him and Alba, so we're going to do that and see if we can get a win in our first Champions League group stage match. All right, it's about time we play our first home game in this beautiful stadium. Uh, Real Madrid Leipzig, they can prove to be a little tricky team, like I said, so let's see how this first game goes. Okay, already Timo, Timo, Timo. I was going to say Timo's scary in this game. He's already scored. I thought we blocked that shot. I guess not. Timo is just the RB Leipzig merchant. Now, I thought that we blocked this shot at the end with Alaba. Oh, okay, we were too late. It's a good shot. Wow. What a start to our group stage. Already 1-0 down to Leipzig. I don't like it. I feel like Timo always scores against me in FIFA. Hey, Benzema. Through to Valverde. A chance to get an, an instant reply. Valverde, we got too close to the keeper. That is a completely missed chance. Okay, Vardy is getting so far forward here. And he just got around me like I wasn't even there. But we read that pass. All right, boys, calm it down. Modric up to Benzema. Benzema, let's try and get that out to Mendy. Goes to Vinicius instead. And that's going to be that's gonna be a throw in on us. Well, we can't let this game go with a, with a lead for them. We got to tie this up. Over to Modric. In to Benzema. Benzema. Benzema, chance to shoot. Benzema, low driven shot. It's going to be saved by the keeper. I mean, not bad. Bruce corner in. Benzema, that's yours. Benzema, that is yours. It was, but it's a good save. Let's try this again. Okay, that is a very deep, deep corner. Going to be out. I'm shooting this. We're shooting it with Valverde. Valverde. Oh, man. That was a very good volley. Okay, too many. What a ball out to Valverde. Valverde cut inside. Valverde. Through to Benzema. Benzema. Take it yourself. Okay. Uh, that dude went for a tag on Benzema. Benzema. Benzema threw him down, but he couldn't get the shot away, though. Like, what was that? Bro, Vardio is doing so good getting forward. Like, it's not what I expect from him right now. I didn't know they'd play this attacking. Right, Vinicius to Mendy. Mendy back to Vinicius. Vinicius lift it to Benzema. That's actually not Benzema. That's Benzema. Oh, we can't get the shot away. But I think, is that a... Oh, I thought it was a penalty because the ref was pointing the spot. He was actually pointing to the foul spot. Was that handball? I think this is being rigged. Benzema to Modric. Modric. Bondric into Vinicius. That's got to be a goal. Oh, Vinicius hits the post. I was so sure. Was that saved, actually? Oh, that was actually saved. What a save by Galachi. Come on, this goal is there. Uh, that's going to be it. Oh, that's a... Whoa, another beautiful header. Benzema. Benzema. Oh, how did he not shoot that? He had so much time to shoot that, but he took his time. How much closer are you going to get to an equalizer? We got the possession numbers, just uh, no goal to show for it yet. Bruce, Vinicius, into Benzema. Good tackle. Modric tries to clean it up, but he can't. Was this Leipzig team underestimated? Maybe a little bit. Oh, what a good header. I tried to like get in front of there with Carvajal, but he didn't really get in front. Like It looks like we should have cleared that, but Haidara scores instead. And I don't think it's any less than they deserve. Okay. Second half, we are not losing this game. I'm calling it. We are not losing this game. These boys just had the halftime talk of a lifetime. Bruce to Valverde. Modric, Modric. Chance to shoot. Same spot he scored in the last episode, but it's going to be blocked, though. Oh, man, I might have lied. I might have lied. I might have lied. Courtois makes a good save. Leipzig are giving us issues right now. Mendy to Vinicius. Vinicius can't do much with that. We are struggling to find some decent chances right now. That is good ball through. If they score one more, it's done. It might be done. That is deflected, but Courtois is going to grab it. We still got plenty of time to get back in this. Bro, this honestly felt like one of the toughest games of FIFA I've played in a long time, and I wasn't expecting it. Klosterman, Klosterman, we got that. We got that back pass. And, okay, Alaba, how do we not steal it there? 
Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. He's gonna shoot, but Courtois is gonna make the save. Okay, Rodrigo for Valverde and then Kemavinga for Cruz. All right, Modric into Rodrigo. Rodrigo, it's a good run. Can we flip it to Vinicius? Maybe Vinicius. Oh, what a good chance. Okay, Benz Benzema, how do we not score that rebound? I'm sorry. How do we not score that though? Okay, this, this might just not be our day. That was a point blank rebound that Benzema decides not to score. Decent corner, but it's going to be over the net. All right, 15 minutes left. Benzema to Rodrigo. Man, Rodrigo is playing very well here. Cross over to Vinicius. Vinicius again. Okay, that was a very tough cross. That was a very, like, over hit cross, I think. Oh, man. Oh, man. They might they might seal it. They might seal it, Alaba. Decent defending, but we got to win this back. Modric, that's a good block. Okay, we got two minutes. This has to be, like, the greatest comeback of all time for us to do it. Benzema to Vinicius. I see Rodrigo, but Klosterman gets the pass. Okay, Leipzig, they earned this win. They have played so much better than us. We were so unsharp. The game still felt winnable, though, even though we played so bad. But, hey, Leipzig earned it. First first match day of the group stage, and that's a, that's a 2 0 loss at home. That is, that is not going to sit well. Thankfully, it's just the first game. Largely and hugely disappointed though. Okay, Mr. CR7 has come to us and has said that I'm feeling really good. I hope that means I won't just be on the bench for the game against Valencia. I mean, Ronaldo comes to you and says he wants to start. Unlike uh, managers in real life, I start him. Our first actual test in La Liga, uh, they've actually drawn one and lost three. That's kind of surprising, but three wins in a draw so far. I think if Ronaldo is starting, he has to have the captain's armband. Truly, it only makes sense. But Labotka, Kamavinga in there, Rodrigo. Let's try and get a bounce back win, eh? Did I just turn Canadian with that? I don't know, but let's, let's win this. I can't have another loss after that otherwise me job is gonna be start to be in a little bit of question okay Kimbinga just got rinsed rodrigo the roots ronaldo 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 already ronaldo low driven shot ronaldo scored immediately cr7 captain's armband and he does a suey the whole bernabeo is doing the suey with him gets the start and scores within what a few minutes that is just mr cr7 man that's a tough finish but okay keeper Maybe should do should be doing better with that. I feel like keepers still have issues with like low driven shots, but Ronaldo scores and that's one nil to Real Madrid. Or seeing Ronaldo score for Real Madrid, it's just like it feels so natural. Now they got Cavani up top. Interesting striker. Carvajal, that was a good tackle, but I think it was offside anyways. Okay, Kemavinga. I believe Carvajal is hurt, but Kemavinga. We got a power shot here. That's not a power shot. Why was that not a power shot? I thought I pressed uh, the right button. Okay, Carvajal, the man is down. Not a good sight to see. Carvajal. You, we got Icy Hot. You're good. You're good. We got Icy Hot. Just put it on whatever ailment you have. Ronaldo up to Rodrigo. Man, Rodrigo is feeling really good in this save. We see Vinicius far post. Vinicius volley that in. Keeper, what a save though. How do we not score those? Okay, Labot come, coming forward very well. Kamavinga, chance to shoot again. That's going to be blocked. And my soul hurts every time that happens. And Carvalho might be, he might have to be taken off because I think he's struggling a bit. This might be inhumane to keep him on Rudiger. What a steal though. We are finding a lot of space here. Rodrigo, you might take this yourself. Rodrigo. Take it yourself. It's a weird angle, but we just hit the crossbar. Our shooting has been a little bit unlucky, I would say. All right, Carvajal, get off the field. You are struggling. Vasquez on for Carvajal. All right, block the passing lanes. Block them. That's not blocking them. It's actually the opposite. That's completely the opposite. Okay, thankfully, Courtois made the save. Alaba just, like, lost track of whoever shot that. I think it was Cavani, right? I feel like we should be doing a little bit better with that. That's a corner, but Camavinga, what a clearance. Okay, Alaba, great steal with Vinicius. Vinicius into Ronaldo. Ronaldo, we got a pass maybe down the middle. Okay, that was a bad pass. Somehow, for some reason, I thought that would get through. Okay, second half begins. I mean, 1-0 lead. We've been very much in control of the game, but still only a not-so-safe one-goal lead. Okay, this is very bad. They have a free kick in a very good spot. I feel like they're going to score this. They are going to... Oh, he didn't fake me out this time. He didn't fake me out, and they miss. I get faked out all the time on those free kicks. Thankfully, that time, I did not jump, although in the end, it didn't matter. Venga, that dribbling is beautiful. Ronaldo into Vinicius. Vinicius has time to shoot quickly. And that is in off the crossbar. What a shot by Vinicius. He is going to score so many goals for us in this series. That one was beautiful. And there is finally the two-goal lead. So Ronaldo gets the assist. And Vinicius, man, what a shot. In off the crossbar into the back of the net. And now it feels a little bit more safe. Okay, Lobotka. We see Ronaldo. We see Ronaldo. We get it to him. No, we can't. Lobotka gets on it, though. Lobotka get it to Kamavinga. Kamavinga. That's actually Rodrigo. Rodrigo shoots. And it's going to be a save. Cross in. And that is too many. Okay, too many. You need to get these headers down. He's getting good spots, but all the headers are way over the net. Lobotka into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. We got a finesse shot from distance. Oh, CR7. That is absolutely dirty. How does he do it? And FIFA is still good. But you know what I mean. What a shot, though. Gets a brace in this game, and that that was a long-distance screamer. Man, the fans are going absolutely nuts, by the way. He took, like, just one touch, one touch, and then turn, and then finesse shot from distance. And, I mean, keeper just stands no chance. Ronaldo is well and truly back. Man, it's crazy. Uh, you probably didn't hear it, but when you have Ronaldo in, in La Liga, like the Bernabeu announcer says Ronaldo, 
It sounds so iconic. Okay, I try to get that to Lobotka. Once again, a very solid game, but can we actually keep this up? Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Okay, that, he just went around the defender. Finish this. What a ball to Rodrigo. Rodrigo with the finish, and it is 4-0. Now, this might be our best uh, performance of the season so far. Rodrigo scores, and it was a beautiful pass from Vinicius. That is nasty. All right, Benzema for Ronaldo. Ronaldo, great game. And then Valverde for Lobotka, and then Nico Williams on for Rodrigo. And D to Benzema. Benzema, why not you from distance? That is going to be blocked. How many shots do I get blocked in each episode? I feel like there's so many. What happens when you're a long shot merchant like me, Vinicius? into Benzema. Benzema. Okay, he just... Benzema is so strong. He just pushes people over like, like they're all twigs. Vinicius sting to Benzema. Benzema with the header. Oh, that was almost a beautiful goal. This could get uglier. Good corner. Chuma... Chumini again over the net. All right, Nico Williams. Oh, it is... It is nice to have you back. Nico Williams... Just goes through everyone. Nico Williams, that is the 91 pace right there. Our new signing from Bilbao just went through them like they weren't even there. Look how he goes through him. Oh, just one. Okay, that player just stood there. Like, why isn't he marking him? Maybe he's just too quick. I don't know. 5-0, though. This is a comprehensive win. I want the clean sheet, though. Clean sheet is the thing I want the most right now. Don't we dare let him score. Rudiger, good challenge. And that that is such a good win. We gave the fans there a very uh, nice bounce back performance. Okay, this is huge. Danny Carvajal is now going to be out for three months with a broken toe. That is a huge injury. So he's going to be out to what? I bet he'll be out to like mid-November. So, I mean, it's not the worst, but that's going to be a big loss. So who do we play? Nacho Fernandez or Vasquez? Fernandez better defending, but Vasquez a little bit more going forward. I think with our style, probably Vasquez will be the replacement, but we're probably going to have to try that out a little bit. That is a big loss though. Okay, we're also that is going to be 2-1. Uh, Militao scores and also Benzema scores. Um, Luka Modric wants his contract extended. Honestly, I like Modric so much. We're going to do it. Once again, Cruz, I'm not so like convinced about, but Modric, I just like him so much. So we're definitely going to extend him by at least one more year. So let's do same wage. He wants one year contract. That is fine. So Modric is extended. Tony Cruz, we're not excited yet. Okay, Asasuna is going to be another 2-1 win. Modric and Benzema. I guess we just like the 2-1 win right now. I'm thinking this should be a bounce back win. The Champions League, our first win the group stage against Celtic. If not, it's going to be troubling, but it is. Benzema, uh, Lucas Vasquez, Vinicius, and Vasquez. Scoring two from right back. Interesting, but 4-1. That should put us back on track. And then Cadiz 2-0. Rodrigo scores, and also Rodrigo scores actually a brace. All right, sim games have been going pretty good so far. Also, we did send our scouts out. So we have a scout in Spain, we have a scout in France, and also South Africa. I saw those in the comments down below. Every three months, we're going to switch out these for um, different countries I see in the comments. So those are only the first. But Uno Mas, one more game. This one is going to be another two. We just like scoring two goals. Benzema and Vinicius. All right, so we sit top La Liga on 25 points. Barcelona have dropped a little bit to a fifth. So we look good there. We don't look good in the Champions League, though. So in second place, we got to get into that first spot. So this game against Shakhtar, we got to win this game. All right, come on, boys. We lost against Leipzig. We cannot lose or draw this game. If we do, our group stage is going to get very, uh, very nerve-wracking. We had a first game. was really good. Second game, really bad. Third game, really good. Hopefully, the pattern does not keep up. That was a decent cross. Okay, Benzema, ball to Rodrigo. Almost an insane pass. Vinicius to Camavinga. Camavinga, chance to shoot. Great shot. Okay, we're going to go to the short corner here. Let's play it back. It's going to be uh, Camavinga again. I'm trying to catch the keeper off guard there with that low-driven shot. Benzema gives it to Rodrigo into Benzema. Beautiful. Another low-driven shot. I've taken so many in this episode. Rodrigo, good ball to Benzema. Benzema, Benzema. Okay, Vinicius, take those defenders. Benzema, stop into Modric. Modric, back to Benzema. Someone shoot. Okay, that was such an awkward attack. I didn't know who to shoot with. Cross in to Karim. Benzema, that's yours. Okay, it looked like it was his. I guess not, but that's got to be a goal. Benzema, beautiful header from Vinicius. And I think it's about time. I think that's our first goal actually scored with uh, with Benzema. It's just Vinicius wins that header, and then Benzema. It's a solid, simple finish. 1-0. Okay, we're kind of getting a lot of injuries here. Now I think Rodrigo is hurt, and that's a good pass, but Alaba, good defending. Okay, this is another good chance for Shakhtar to get back in this game. Some good dribbling. I missed. Okay, just score. I gave up. I gave up, and Courtois made the save. I can't believe what I've just seen. I literally gave up. I knew that we were probably not going to get to him in time. Courtois making me look like an absolute fool. Modric into Benzema. Benzema into Vinicius. I need to get that pass like more at Vinicius. Vinicius through to Benzema. Maybe for a second. Benzema. Okay. I, what did I just see that dude do? He like blocked it and then he went for a bicycle kick. I'm so confused. Modric cross in Benzema. Those look like yours and that one is yours. He has a brace and this is 2-0. It's about time. We look we looked like really good in corners. Finally we score from one. All right. Basically 2-0 right on half time. Perfect time to score. I mean if we got Benzema scoring or Ronaldo scoring we are going to be a very deadly team to face. Modric. What a ball to Lucas Vasquez. Now I see Vinicius. Vinicius is making a lot of good runs. Like when we have the ball in wide spots, he's going like uh, in front of the defender, behind the defender. Modric cross in. Benzema's on a hat trick. We do know this. 
This is gonna be over, and we're gonna shoot this. Okay, what a bad header pass. Okay, I'm calling it Benzema hat trick right here. I'm calling it. Okay, it doesn't even go to Benzema. I'm sad. Whoa, what an attempt by Rodrigo. Modric to Rodrigo. Rodrigo's got the pace here, I think. Okay, he needed a little bit more help with that. I gotta say, Vasquez has impressed me right back. Although, as soon as I say that, he gets beat a little bit. I will say, I'm slightly impressed, though. I'm Nico Williams, and then Labotka are on. Kavenga, Labotka, dink it to Benzema. Is he on side? I believe he is. Oh, what a move. That was timed finally perfectly. That is Benzema's hat trick. Also, Labotka, what a pass. This is like, is this first time? It might be first time. It might be. Oh, it is. Lobotka with a little chip and then Benzema on the volley. What a beautiful little goal. And that is, that is 3-0. All right, Benzema has come to life in this game. Bully. All right, Benzema, you get your rest. You've, you've earned it. Ronaldo, let him finish the game off. And Nico Williams. Nico Williams, what a ball to Ronaldo. See, he doesn't have the pace anymore, though. He doesn't have quite the pace. Vasquez to Ronaldo. Over to Valverde. Valverde into Nico Williams. Nico Williams with the chip. And Nico Williams, what a goal. 4-0. Hey, he has proven to be a very solid player. He was out for four weeks. He's back, though. That was a very nice chip shot. Ronaldo Valverde plays a beautiful pass. And then Nico Williams, pretty far out. Left-footed chip. Keeper, no chance. Okay, last chance for them. We're going to go for the tap. Whoa. That might be the worst finish I've ever seen in my life. They totally should have scored that, but instead it, it ends 4-0. I mean, okay, Benzema played amazing, but... We were always expected to win this game, so it went as expected. Still, still a solid performance, though. All right, I mean, a little bit inconsistent, but the main thing is going to be when we face the big teams, like, can we get the job done in those games? But so far, Benzema, 8-3, and three, Vinicius, 6-4, and four. Uh, Rodrigo, 5-8. and eight. He's had an amazing start of the season. And Ronaldo, 4-5. and five. Once again, I think he'll prove to be a very helpful signing this season. And it's so cool to see him back around Madrid. So we end this one in first place. Uh, next episode, we'll probably get all the way to probably December, maybe, maybe the start of January. And next episode, we're going to have a, an arrival in the team a new player you guys can probably guess who it's gonna be but it will be revealed in the next episode okay in the last episode we signed cristiano ronaldo back to real madrid so far he has four goals in five games so truly ronaldo is back and i mean we had a few slip ups here and there but overall the team is playing pretty pretty decent this episode though is gonna be our biggest test we got barcelona then atletico madrid then rb leipzig again that's a pretty decent uh pretty decent test for this squad a squad that's gonna get a new addition in this episode as well which is gonna be revealed shortly so if you guys want to keep seeing this series as a daily series then of course drop a like and also with that sub button down below so you don't miss a future video okay first comment military can play right back i'm guessing you mean militao but i think militao has just earned a new nickname he will now be called military i think carval is out for at least another month so vasca has actually played decent there but i do want to try militao there military will probably be a little bit better defensively you should bring rodriguez from your wolves crew mode however you should do it after you sell benzema or he retires i mean yeah it's it's not a bad idea i just feel like rodriguez he's a little bit too op like he was the homegrown talent for the wolves crew mode he was so much fun to use but i think we're gonna have our our very own Real Madrid homegrown talent in this series. So we'll think about that down the line, maybe. All right, last comment. Appreciate the kind words, of course. But sign Dumfries because Carvajal is getting old. Yeah, once again, Carvajal is a player that I think we're going to have to replace soon in this series, I think. And once again, Dumfries, I think, is my number one target to replace him. And I mean, that could be like a January move. If we do that, I think I'd want to keep Vasquez because he can play right wing too. So he's like a pretty good squad player. I think that means we would probably sell Adria Zola instead because he hasn't played at all. And I think I do like Vasquez more than him. So we might sell him. Okay, last episode, there were a lot of comments. A lot of calls to play Ronaldo and Benzema in the lineup together. A lot of you guys saying even to try Ronaldo on the left wing, move Vinicius to the right wing. I do kind of feel like though at this stage in his career, I'm not sure Ronaldo, it makes sense to play him on the wing, but we have devised a plan to maybe play Benzema and Ronaldo together in the starting 11. Say hello to Secret Weapon X. It is our Secret Weapon super secret formation in style. Okay, it's just a, it's just a 4 through 2 one. But hear me out, this, this could work. We are basically sacrificing Cruz for Ronaldo in the starting 11. So Benzema at Cam, Ronaldo at Striker. I am very curious see how this would work in game because if it did work i think it would be deadly ronaldo's playing so good a lot, a lot better than i expected we also have the death lineup which is pretty much just benzema uh, a striker with ronaldo kind of the same thing though i think i do want to give secret weapon x a chance in this episode i'm just not sure which game so every series we get a homegrown talent the last one like i said was Federico rodriguez who was so good and we have our scouts out in spain france and south africa I haven't found anything yet but our homegrown talent for this real Madrid series is he's already here and you know you know who i'm talking about say hello to N Hendrik, the 16-year-old Brazilian wonder kid. We have paid 65 million to bring a 16-year-old into this team. He is 68 overall at 16 years old. So he's got good pace, decent dribbling, but he's definitely uh, he's definitely got a long road to becoming the best player in the world. I mean, people have said that he's got the same skill level as Neymar. So decent starting pace and then decent uh, dribbling, ball control, and finishing. But he does need, he needs a lot of training and work. But he's here now. In real life, he's going to join probably in like two years. But in this series, he is here right now. So we had 82 million on our budget before. Now it is all the way down to just 20 million. That is the price we paid to bring Endrick into this team. So he will join.
point where I drew Gun Williams as another one of our backup wingers. He can also play striker. I think in the future, he's probably going to be a striker center forward. But for now, he's going to be a winger. And I mean, just potential is through the roof here. He could be the Fernando Rodriguez of this Real Madrid series. And of course, we have the real face mod for him. I mean, this kid has so much hype that there's actually face mods for him already. So he looks the part. But is he actually going to be good? We're going to find out in this episode. And uh, we got some very big games here. So it's going to be a trial by fire for Endrick. Endrick tells us I'm desperate to show everybody what I can bring to the team. I mean, I feel like everyone's uh, very eager to see what he can do. Also, including me. So we got this game against Bill Bow next. And you know what? I think we might try the special weapon X in this one to see if we should use it against Barcelona. And also, of course, this probably be Endrick's uh, debut. So we'll throw him on the bench over Lobotka for now. The 16 year old will make an appearance at some point. Well, Ronaldo Benzema start on the field at the same time, but the first time in this series. And I'm curious to see if this actually is going to work. Oh, yeah. We are also trying a uh, military at right back over Vasquez. So we're trying that soon. This game has so much hype. Benzema, Ronaldo start for the first time together and then Endrick on the bench. It's just Remage of Bilbao, but you know everyone is watching this game. We've played decent, but we've also had a few struggles that I'm not really a, a fan of. We will see how we do. This is going to be a very big episode. So I have Benzema and Ronaldo both on stay forward. Like, I don't want I don't want any of them tracking back. Courtois, great save. Now, that is a great corner, but Courtois, strong again. Modric to Benzema. Benzema to Ronaldo. Okay, that was a little miscommunication there. Hey, they haven't played together for a while, so they got to build that chemistry back up. Oh, Mendy, great steal into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Good Benzema, Benzema, trying to get it out to Valverde. Good ball, Valverde. Can we get a cross field pass to Mendy? Okay, hey, is that going to work? Of course it's not. What am I even doing? I'm just trying to switch the play. Okay, Mendy, Mendy. This is not good. Mendy, so quick though. Okay, Alaba, good positioning right there. Vinicius to Ronaldo. Ronaldo back to Modric. Modric, now find the pass, Luka. Actually, Luka Modric shoots. Luka Modric. That's a good save. Okay, we got Benzema and Ronaldo in the box. It's going to go to Benzema. Benzema climbs for it. Not going to reach it. And it's going to be handball on Benzema. Benzema. That is a 20... That's a 20,000 pound fine. Or euros, I mean. Benzema through to Ronaldo. 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 Oh, gets by one. Can he get by two? No, he can't. See, he doesn't have that in him anymore. All right, 20 minutes gone. I mean, Bill Bell have stood up defensively so far. Mendy coming forward. Mendy. Oh, we got to find Ronaldo there. I think the ball is going to be to the left of the defender. Hey, we've been scoring a lot of goals recently. Like, is the new formation ruining the chemistry? That is what we're trying to test. And Ronaldo and Benzema coexist once again. Vinicius, Vinicius. We got space here. Vinicius. Get it over to Benzema. Benzema. Oh, man. That was such a bad pass by Vinicius. Oh, Chuamini. Chuamini is so good at CDM in this game. It's nuts. Benzema to Modric. Modric. Okay, let's be a little bit patient here. Chuamini. Into Benzema, 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 Valverde. Oh, I saw Valverde. That's a foul, right? Benzema just got manhandled. How is it not a foul? He needs to press charges after that. Okay, good ball. Defense, come on, boys. Mendy, Mendy, Mendy's had a very strong game. Benzema, good ball to Vinicius. Vinicius, can we find Ronaldo? Good ball to Ronaldo. Ronaldo can't quite get the shot away. All right, not a bad first half. I'm, I'm still thinking this could work, but we need to see it actually work. Also, Endrick debut is coming up very soon. Oh, man, this is a great move by Bilbao and a good save by Courtois. I mean, they're a decent team, so I'm not surprised they're playing decent. Corner in. Valverde, good clearance. That was a solid corner. Oh, my. When he went for that, I didn't even know what that was. What a shot. I barely even saw it. Ender Herrera. What a goal. That was an outside the boot, outside the box. Absolutely, like, technical screamer. Bro, that is... I mean, Courtois is not saving that. Bro, there have been some bangers scored against us in the series. So many already. All right, 1-0 down in the 52nd minute. Oh, no. Ronaldo's down. He is down hurt. I don't like to see that. Militao to Benzema. Benzema. Get it to Vinicius. Vinicius. Chance to tie it up. And Vinicius ties it up. But CR7 is on the ground. This game is 1-1. Vinicius, go check Ronaldo. Why are you dancing? Oh, man. I'm, I'm hoping Ronaldo's good. Look at him on the floor in pain. And then we go and score. Oh, he's actually, he's actually for real hurt. Oh, no. Oh, what do we do? Oh, man. That could be a very bad injury. Okay. Valverde to Cam. And then Endrick right wing debut. If Ronaldo's hurt, I'm going to be so, so mad. But Endrick is here. He gets his debut on for Mr. CR7. The 16-year-old wonder kid from Brazil. Game is tied up. Let's see if we can actually win this game now. All right, Alaba, great steal. Valverde, get it to Benzema. Benzema, Vinicius, Vinicius. Oh, man, what a ball. Vinicius, he's going to stop. He's going to cross it in to Valverde. Hits the hits the post. That would have been such a nice goal. Valverde, Benzema, into Endrick. Endrick, low-driven shot. Endrick has scored on his debut on the right wing. It's 2-1 to Real Madrid. He's been on for like... Eight minutes, maybe. Endrick already has scored. Okay, Benzema just set it up for him beautifully, but Endrick, he finished it. The new number 19 for Real Madrid scores 65 million spent on a 16-year-old. And this game is 2-1. Okay, all of a sudden, we might, the, the gates might be open. The gates might be flooded open. Vinicius to Modric. Modric, cross it over to... Okay, that was supposed to go to someone else. So why would that go all the way to Endrick? Money steals at Endrick. Into Modric. Modric, over to Benzema. Is that handball? I'll take that free kick. Give me the free kick. 
Give me, I'm asking for the free kick. They didn't give me the free kick. All right, free kick. There's no way. No, I thought he actually scored that. Bro, what, what is that free kick? All right, Endrick, what kind of left foot he got? Flip up to Benzema. Benzema, not going to quite reach that. Military wins that into Valverde. Two. Luka Modric shot deflected. It's going to be out for a corner, I think. Come on, this game doesn't feel safe. I want one more. Cross in. That's a great cross. Not going to reach anyone, though. Drew many. Chance to seal it. Oh, we hit the post again. Why are we hitting the post and crossbar so much recently? Okay, maybe final subs. Kamavinga on for Modric. And then Nico Williams on against his former team on for Vinicius. We got seven minutes. This lead just does not feel safe to me at all for some reason. Military. Good ball to Endrick. Endrick, can we find Benzema? Good ball to Benzema. Benzema, hold it up. Get it out to Nico Williams. Into Benzema. Benzema. Oh, they couldn't combine there. Oh, Chumini steals it, though. Into Valverde. 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 Get it to Endrick. Endrick. Can we cross it into Benzema? Endrick. Crosses it in. Okay, Valverde goes for a bicey. And then it's going to go right the keeper. Into out of time. If we just keep this ball, we'll be good. But Chumini heads it right to a bit about player. Oh, no. I'm feeling. I'm feeling something. Oh, what a ball. There's there's actually no way. Oh, there's no way they actually just did that. I, I totally felt it. I felt them scoring so badly. Oh, I can't believe it. They score a 90 first minute equalizer. Probably the last kick of the game. I can't believe that. That final pass, I felt like we could have got to. I should have stayed with Munyain, I guess. I thought we could block it, though. I'm not sure how much we could have rented that. That was just a great pass. Oh, man, we missed chances, and that is how the game ends. All right, a draw. Ronaldo could be out for the season. Who knows? Endrick score, though. He looked good. There are positives, but I think the negatives outweigh the positives. I'm just hoping Ronaldo. Ronaldo is not hurt too bad. Okay, Ronaldo Ronaldo is hurt. I am about to shed tears. He's got a dislocated shoulder and he's out for two months. So two months. It's not five months. It's not even four or three. It's, it's not as bad as it sounds. But he's like our new signing that hurts. So he's going to be out till probably December. It doesn't sound that bad, but he's going to miss Barcelona. He's going to miss Letico Madrid. And he might be back like actually end of December if we're lucky. Hey, I mean, Endrick arrives. I guess a secret weapon X is going to have to wait. We go back to the 4-3-3. And Andrik takes uh, Ronaldo's spot on the bench. This is his episode now to prove what he can do. I, I was fearing like six months or even longer. Doesn't change the fact that it hurts. We, we can survive though. Okay, Almeria next game. And that's going to be another 2-2 two -two draw. Cruz scores twice, but that's that's more drop points. Okay, we're starting to slip up a little bit. Okay, next game, Celta Vigo. We are going with the Brazilian front three. Vinicius, Rodrigo, and then Andrik on the right wing. Benzema needed a rest. And that's going to be 2-1 courtesy of Cruz and Vinicius. Um, Andrik at a 7.2. Things I like to see. Since I feel like actually Benzema has played better since we actually made him a striker in the formation. So I'm going to make him a striker in the development plan. He, he pretty much stays the same exact rating. It's just for uh, formation purposes. We got Shakhtar again next. So we are six points. We are close to being in first, but we're going to sim this game. This is a very important game. We got to win this. And then we got Barcelona next. So we got to rotate, but be smart. So Nico Williams is start. Let's do Kemavinga for Cruz. Um, let's do, who am I going to play against Barcelona? Militao. I'm going to play at Militao, I think. So let's start Vasquez this game. And then Nacho for Mendy. And we will go with that. This one is going to be 3-1. Vasquez, Cruz, and Benzema. That's a big win. Now it's time for the first El Clasico of this series. And sadly, Ronaldo is not going to be here. So they have climbed up from like fifth all the way up to third. So this is actually a big game. We loot. We face Atletico Madrid next. We could we could drop out of first. I think Rodrigo starts for Valverde and then Valverde starts for Cruz. I think we're going to do that. Um, for Barcelona, it seems like a pretty standard team other than uh, Danny Olmo. That's a solid signing. But first, El Clasico, Endrick on the bench. Let's see what see what we can do. Now we've taken care of the smaller teams, like beating them like 5-0, 4-1, whatever. But against the big teams as well, where we've looked not as convincing. But Barcelona, let it come to back to back. These are two, these are some two very big tests for this team. Hopefully two wins, but we'll see. Okay, Militao, great tackle there. I mean, military. That is a great ball to Lewandowski, but it was solid tracking. Okay, these are some very good moves from I don't even know who. Into De Jong, Lewandowski, Trumini is going to get the clearance. Yeah, Lewandowski is a danger man in this game. Danny Olmo shoots. Okay, can they not score another banger against us, please? I think it's happened almost every single game. Trumini, good ball to Vinicius and to Benzema. Through to Modric, Modric, get it out to Rodrigo. Rodrigo cross over to Vinicius. Maybe Vinicius climbs, but not going to get it. Modric, volley attempt. Oh, man, I want to score one of those so bad. If anyone can, I feel like it might be Luka Modric. Rodrigo into Modric, Modric, Modric. Hold it up. Modric, he's 38 years old, however old he is. But he is going through Barcelona's defense like they're not even there, but we just lost it. Oh, man, that's great ball to Ferran Torres. Ferran Torres, I knew he was going to do that move. And Alaba, that is solid defending. Benzema through Rodrigo. Rodrigo has looked so good in this series. He's another player that I feel like I've never used. I don't want to cross that in again, though. Rodrigo, Modric, Modric, left-footed finesse shot. Oh, Luka Modric. Almost goal of the season, Valverde. Back to him. Modric again shoots. That one's going to be over the net. That finesse shot was just beautiful, though. Here we go to Benzema. Benzema, flip up to Vinicius. Vinicius, good defending by Kunde. Modric wins to Benzema, though. Benzema, swing it. Rodrigo, 
Cross in about Verde. It's going to be a corner. All right, Barcelona have defended well. But Modric swinging in that cross. Looks good. Not going to score from it, though. Get it to the middle. It is Valverde. Valverde, I went for the low shot, but Ter Stegen was ready for it. Great ball. Oh, Mendy. Swing it back. Benzema. Got to score that. Oh, rebound. Rebound chance. Okay, Ter Stegen back-to-back -back saves. I should have chipped it. I did not think to chip it in that spot. I just went for the shot. Oh, man. We should be up 1-0. No, that's a missed chance. Second half begins. This has got the feeling of a very close El Clasico. I feel like Endrick. I feel like I want to bring him on at some point. I just don't know when. Oh, man. Tiong. They're trying to get it to Lewandowski. Could have played it there. I kind of messed up a little bit. Okay, Rafinha. The man is so hard to track. De Jong. Oh, Alba. Oh, Courtois. What a save. That is an equally as good save as Ter Stegen. Bro, Rafinha has been... Oh, what a move. Rafinha is being so hard to deal with. All right, Valverde. Too many. Into Modric. Modric. We find Benzema. We find Benzema. Okay, that's not who I wanted that pass to go to. Game is just so even right now. Valverde. Vinicius. Through to Benzema. Benzema. Oh, I could have played it to Vinicius. I didn't think it was going to go through, though. All right, Mendy. Swing in that cross to Luka Modric, the one player that I don't want to go into. Benzema, though. Rebound. Oh, I thought... I knew that would work. The looping header and Benzema scores. The first goal of the El Clasico, finally. That popped up and I was in a pass. And then I thought, wait, it's Benzema. He can probably lift this over Ter Stegen, and he does. That is so far out for Ter Stegen. He's in, a, he's in a bad spot, and it's just lofted perfectly over him. Benzema, what a header. Okay, 1-0. Beautiful. 64th minute. That is a Ballon d'Or winner's goal right there. Game is far from over the Rafinha. Okay, he just runs it out. Why do I keep seeing the other teams do that? He's just running too quick where he just, he loses control, I guess. Whoa, Chumini. Chumini. He is too strong for that. Okay, let's just get this forward. Barcelona going for the counterattack, but Benzema. Is Vinicius onside? Yes, he is. Vinicius. Cuts inside. Vinicius. Oh, why? How does he even lift that that high? I feel like I didn't put that much power on it. Okay, we're making subs. So, uh, Tony Cruz on for Modric. And then Endrick is on for Rodrigo. Endrick's first appearance in a uh, in El Clasico. It is pretty special. Got 20 minutes. See if he can help us just win this game. Wrap it up. Oh, Militao. Militao has been very good at right back. I do like that suggestion. Okay, Endrick. You might have the pace there on Christensen. Okay, that kind of works. Endrick somehow gets it to Benzema. Benzema. To wrap up the game. The Ballon d'Or winner. We're going to shoot himself. Oh, man. Endrick. How did he get that pass through? I thought it was going to be stolen. Benzema gets his brace. Endrick with the assist. And that might be the game for, for Real Madrid. I totally did not think Endrick would that pass off, but he did. Barcelona really go for it. And uh, they get hit on the counterattack. And they are really going for this. They're really going for this. They might get one. Okay, Lewandowski. That's going to be a good save by Courtois. I mean, if they score here, it might be a little interesting. That's a, that's a very good header, but I think it's cleared by whoever on the line. I think it's Chess. There's Mondembele. Cross into the mix. Chumini. What a clearance. He is just so good. Oh, man. Lewandowski might get that. Wait, that's not even Lewandowski. Clear off the line. Wait, what? What just happened? I'm so confused. Uh, was he offside or handball? One of the two. I am so confused, though. All right, last minutes of this game have been all, all Barcelona, but they have no goal to show for it. Did I just jinx it? Did I just jinx it? I don't know. Mendy, nope. He's had such a good game. 2-0. That is going to be the first El Clasico of this series. Okay, just very solid win at home. Like, solid defense, solid attack. Enzima, our best player, scoring the two goals. Endrick with the assist. I am very, uh, I'm very pleased with that performance. Okay, since we only have uh, 20 million budget, if we want to make a signing like Dumfries, in January. We got to sell someone. And I think the one player right now that I'm for sure I want to sell is uh, Adria Zola. And Lazio apparently are interested. So let's see if we can get like maybe 20 million for him. I still don't think it'd be enough even for Dumfries, but we got to start raising money somehow. But let's try maybe like 26 to start. We're highballing here, but let's see. 26 million and okay, they do accept that. Could I have got more? Wait, wait, stop. Come back. Okay, Adria Zola sold for 26 million. I mean, that's still a decent amount for him. I'm not sure how much we could have got more. What rating is it going to be? Only a C? I am offended. So that should put us at like 43 3 million currently for January. So we take care of Barcelona. Now it's uh, now it's Letico Madrid. They're playing better. We are tied on points, only ahead on goal difference, or maybe uh, yeah, we haven't played yet, so it's definitely goal difference. So first versus second, this is big. I think we go with the same lineup. I like Valverde in the midfield a lot more than right wing, to be honest. Okay, Endrick, not Endrick, Rodrigo. Or actually, I think I'm starting Endrick, actually. So we're going with that against uh, Letico Madrid. Endrick, very big moment starting against Letico Madrid. Uh, let's go for the for the uh, all, all dark kit. If we lose this, we're out of first place. All right, 16-year-old Endrick, very low large game in him for his uh in his very early career let it go madrid is a team that i'm not i'm not exactly a fan of so if we win this it'd be nice good ball to correa alaba alaba what was that control there okay that's an interesting clearance and then another one by military i mean if it does the job it does the job oh man oh man this is a lot of passing they look really good here alaba we get this ball out calmly yes we can benzema out to endrick endrick he doesn't have the most pace but he's got some flair now does he have a cross of Vinicius? i think he does Cross to Vinicius, but it's going to be too close to uh, Yano Black. Hendrick to Benzema. Benzema. Lay it off to Vinicius. Oh, man. He, like, he like waited there. It actually almost uh, worked out, but 
I guess not. Modric to Benzema. Hendrik is just running completely offside. Okay, Vinicius. Timed to perfection, that is. Now, Vinicius. That first touch slowed him down so much. Shoot. Oh, okay. Why did that first touch? Why did all of a sudden he feel so slow? That felt a little fishy. Too many. Into Benzema. Benzema. That is a very uh, quick tackle right there. Let's try this again. We got Hendrik, but Vinicius. Gonna take this himself. Oh, Ian Oblak. That's, that seemed like some bad keeping, but Vinicius scores, and it's 1-0 to Real Madrid. That is their three-the-back formation not being able to deal with our wingers, and I feel like Ian Oblak should be doing better with that. I've been thinking about raising the goalkeeper slider, but I feel like they make so many great saves, and then they do stuff like that, where I feel like if we raise it, it might be, like, impossible to score. I don't know. But Vinicius has scored so many goals, and already it's 1-0 in this game. All right, Letico Madrid looking to tie it up immediately. Lamar over to Correa. I outran that. And then Cunha scores. I outran that. I believe like the pass before the goal. I outran it and they score because of it. All right. Our goal canceled out immediately. Right here. I overran that right there. I didn't stay in front of him. All right. 1-0 to or not 1-0. It is 1-1. What am I even saying? Cunha gets it to Correa. Outside the boot shot. That is a good shot. Oh, that sets up very kindly, but I think it'll fall to us. Alverde, great ball to Mendy. Mendy, can we find Benzema? He's kind of kind of tracked tightly. Into Vinicius, Vinicius, I tried to turn. I should have went to the left and shot. Mistakes are being made. I think we just injured someone, which is uh, very aggressive. Modric, Modric to Valverde. Valverde finesse shot. All our finesse shots are like so over hit. Am I just putting too much power? I don't even know. All of a sudden, Electro Madrid looking really good. Alaba, solid defending once again. Alaba's really good. He's just very, he's a very solid footballer. All right, they get the final chance of the first half. And right when I say that, Oh, I thought that was in. What a shot. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Let it go, Madrid. Playing, playing pretty decent here. Oh, man. I didn't think they'd score that. Like, nine times out of ten. Whoa, camera. Nine times out of ten, we clear this. But it's hit perfectly, and Kadogbia just gets over someone. I'm not sure who, but... It's a great set piece. All right, 2-1 uh, to Atletico Madrid. I had, I do not like that, especially to start the second half. Isn't that what you want to see? Okay, this is a chance. Benzema through to Vinicius. He needs a little bit of help, though. Or not. Vinicius. Cross it over to Endrick. Endrick chance to score. Endrick scores, and this is 2-2. Okay, Endrick is like 5'8", but he absolutely like leaped for that one. I wasn't so sure he would reach it, but Endrick leaps and then finishes. I mean, this 16-year-old is showing why we paid 65 million for him. All right, 2-2. This is turning into a pretty, little, pretty little decent game. Man, their attack just is kind of hard to deal with. Militao, Militao. Oh, what a tackle by military. Still a lot of time left in this game. Modric, get it to Hendrik. Hendrik, what do we got? We got like six guys in front of him. Back out to Chumini. Into, okay, Vinicius. Where's Benzema at? Oh, he's to the right. I'm like, why was Vinicius right there? Now, that's a great ball. Mendy, you got pace though. Mendy is going to come all the way over. Go for the tackle and we took him out. Lamar just perfectly timed his pass to get away from it. I was so sure on going in for the tackle. It's going to be a yellow for Mendy and a penalty to Atletico Madrid. Wait, did we get the ball there? Did we get the ball? Uh, no. Why did I even think it was close? Okay, Courtois, can we save this penalty? To the right, Courtois is going to save it. It's almost like it never even happened. Huge save. Corner in. Endrick at the near. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a clearance by Alaba. That looked like a sure goal. The tag is still not done. What a weird cross. Please win that. Modric, Modric. Oh, we got to win that. I think it's handball on uh on them. Okay. Modric through to Endrick. Endrick to Benzema. Benzema back to Endrick. He needs support, though. Endrick cross to Vinicius. Oh, man. He's got, like, so many people there. Endrick almost got it to Benzema there. Oh, man. Should I have just took it with uh, Endrick? Okay, now Alaba's hurt, but he made a great tackle. A great tackle. Is he even hurt? I don't even know. Modric, through to Endrick. Endrick to give us the lead, and Skrinier comes over and makes a perfectly timed tackle. I can't believe it. Okay, 12 minutes. Tony Cruz and coming on the midfield for Valverde. We still have a very large chance to win this game if we find the right pass. Chuamini, long shot. Oh, Chuamini, what a shot. That was almost like the World Cup goal. Chuamini scores. This is 3-2 to Real Madrid. He's got the long shot in him. That came out of, out of nowhere. Just a quick pass and a quick shot. Now, his World Cup goal was a lot lower, but this one is in the top left-hand corner. I don't think he'll mind. What a good shot by Chuamini. Couldn't that be the goal that gets us to win? Jean Felix coming on. All right, corner for Atletico Madrid. It seems Alaba has ran off the injury, so he seems good. We're going to go short to Lamar. Cross in. It's a good cross. Courtois would have saved. It's out to Felix. Felix is going to be blocked. And Endrick. Endrick with the block and the clearance to prevent a corner. That is solid, Mendy. Don't get a red. Thank you. Oh, man. Riga Jigo to Paul. Alaba get defending. Always getting swarmed. Just needs to clear it. Okay, it's going to be a throw in. Or no, it's going to be a foul on, on us. This attack is very long, and I'm nervous. That's a great corner. Courtois, though. He's like six foot five for a reason. All right, we got a minute. Military, just clear it. Thank you. Benzema gets it to Kemavinga. Into Vinicius. Can we just end this? Vinicius gives it to Mendy. Mendy. Okay, go to the corner. Okay, I think we've done it already. Benzema 
through. Benzema. Okay, is Hendrik on side? Hendrik, is he on side? He can't get the shot away again. Skriniar has got his number. But that's going to be it. Man, what an intense game. That is like one of the most intense games of FIFA I've played in a while. All the way to 2-2, two -two, and then they get a penalty. We save it, and then Chumini scores the winner. What a game. Hendrik starts. He scores the second goal. He played well. Most importantly, though, we stay in first place as evidence right there so 14 games 11 wins three draws still no losses for us i like to see that but now we face uh leipzig again in the champions league so hey if we lose this celtic might beat shakhtar we might be in third place but if we win we pretty much cement ourselves in the first spot so this game is huge for the group stage okay we're gonna do vasquez in for military and then cruz in for moderate and rodrigo start right wing endrick he's a little bit tired so obviously i'm gonna start this game but he's been played well though i'm so impressed with endrick this right here though is an absolute must win game and it's it's not gonna be snowing i'm sorry my eye is still healing. I, I can still barely see as it is. It will be clear on this very, very important game. I mean, hey, at the Bernabeu, they they gave us an absolute slapping. Now we, now I want to do the slapping in this game. They absolutely just had our number, played so much better than us. That can't happen again. Because if it does, we, we are maybe in danger of getting grouped in the Champions League. Okay, what a long shot. Kurtzwag, good save. Bro, they're just going for the screamers against uh, against me. This is how the other teams feel when I play them. Mendy, good ball to Valverde. Valverde. Benzema, there's space there. Benzema, Benzema, gonna shoot that with his left foot. Good save by Galachi. All right, not a bad start though. Cruz, corner in. Decent, someone gets to it. Is that Chumini? Every single one of his headers is the same header, just over the net. Cruz to Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Rodrigo. What do we got? Get it to Vinicius, Vinicius, first time shot, trying to get him off guard, but Galachi's there for it. Not a bad start though. I do like our aggressiveness. Cruz to Valverde, back to Cruz. That would have been nice. Yeah, actually, if we win this, we confirm us going through to the knockout stage. We lose though and it's wide open good ball good movement good shot but also a good block as well Bruce Benzema slide it over oh man what a what a good sliding interception that is oh Leipzig they play they're playing so well and that is a great ball into Silva slide we caught up though we caught up in Alaba he's just so good too and I'm gonna need him again because Silva comes over but it's it's not that good of a shot Boba Sly lofted in Rudiger good clearance and then Cruz should get it Cruz should get it that's gonna be handball on them I will absolutely take that and they are just putting us through it okay he's offside I was about to say why are we not tracking him but we played him offside okay I'm cool with that we are in danger of losing control of this game though we need to score one and just settle things down Benzema Benzema cross to Vinicius Vinicius Oh, okay. That's not exactly what I had planned, but it was almost beautiful. I was trying to like uh, take a fake shot there, actually. Timo, Timo, don't do it. Rudiger, Rudiger, good positioning. Rodrigo, Benzema to Valverde, Valverde. I'm feeling that shot from distance. Probably shouldn't have. Just another game that feels incredibly even. Let me take control of Alaba, please. Okay, they might have actually scored because I took control of him. But I think literally I took control of him. I tried to mark him, and then they found Andre Silva. And it's just poor defending. It's been coming, though. Leipzig score. It's 1-0. And I think that'll be halftime unless we can get a chance here. We can, actually. Benzema. Oh, man. Vinicius might have been in there. Ref. That was a little bit uh, odd. Okay, come on. A draw would be... A draw would actually not be that bad. We just can't lose this game. For being serious, we just can't lose. Bruce to Valverde. Valverde. Get it back to Cruz. Man, he just takes so long to pass it. I pressed it way earlier than that. Oh, man. Okay. Whoa. Vardy all. What kind of shot was that? If we're scouting you for your future signing, uh, that shot wasn't so great. We might need some subs here pretty soon. Benzema. Oh, man. Orban. They're just, they're defending so well. How many sliding interceptions have they made? Once again, Rudiger, nobody found. But Alaba does enough there. Here we go to Cruz. Cruz, what was that first touch? Okay, Cruz, I think you're coming off. He has not played that well in this game. Oh, Lucas Vasquez. What a steal. It's going to be a steal into a one-on-one. -on -one. What a steal, Vasquez. Oh, he took it too far, though. He took, like, an extra touch I didn't want him to. They almost gave us a golden gift, and that's a very important steal. Rodrigo, over to Vinicius. Oh, man, I should have just took it. Cruz, Cruz, cross in. Vinicius is there for it. That's going to be deflected, though. Get it back to Vinicius. Get it to Vinicius. Oh, man, Valverde. What was that touch? First touch let him down so bad. Chumini wins it back, though. This is a very important spell in this game. Benzema, Cruz, up to Benzema. It's not what we want. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Courtois. What a save. I can barely believe he actually made that. Benzema, Vinicius, Vinicius to Valverde. Valverde, wait for Vinicius. Good ball. Vinicius, please. Vinicius just can't get the shot away. Bro, what a tackle. Like, they are just, they're defensively playing so well. I have not been able to make subs yet. Tony Cruz, Tony Cruz. Okay, please. Is that a foul? What? Tony Cruz just lost that? That's not a foul? Oh, no. Limer to Silva. Are they going to pass it? Okay, Courtois, another great save. I don't think we deserve to win this. Vasquez, great steal though. Benzema to Rodrigo. Rodrigo away from Benzema. 
Good ball to Benzema. Benzema, I need you to score this. Benzema, I need you to score this. Oh, come on. Galachi makes the save. How do we not score that? Oh, that's the game. That's the game, maybe. Okay, Kamavenga. And then we're going to do uh, Nico. Man, what do we do here? You know what, Endrick? He scored some big goals on for Rodrigo, although I'm not sure about that. We only got a minute left, though. Got a minute. Do we even send this in? I think we have we have to send it in. We got, we got Benzema. Corner in. Decent. Benzema. No, there was a chance right in front of goal. You're kidding me. How do we not score that? That's going to be it. We had a chance right there. Oh, man. Bro, Leipzig just have our number. I did. We just can't win against them. Beating us twice in the group stage. Now, what does this mean for the group? Because honestly, now we're in danger of being grouped in the Champions League. Okay, this this is what I was afraid of. Celtic beat Shakhtar, so we now sit in third place. So the only good thing is we face Celtic on the final match day. So we win that and we go through for sure at least in in second place probably second place so we still control our destiny we just gotta win that game we have put ourselves in a very stressful stressful spot though but next episode we're gonna get through all december into the january transfer window so carvajal is back in two weeks and ronnie is gonna be back in six weeks so probably be at the start of january actually now we're gonna have like 43 maybe 50 ish million to spend and if we look at a right back target in dumfries dumfries would be maybe a little bit more than that so it would be very close uh militaries we get a right back but he also he does feel like a center back playing right back so not exactly his natural spot. So do we decide to maybe sell Carvajal in January and sign Dumfries? I'm honestly not sure. You guys let me know. And also any other moves you guys think we should make in January, let me know. Despite the up and down episode, Endrick still played. He still played very good on his debut episode. Two goals and an assist in five games. I think he's he's pretty much the future homegrown talent star of this series. And I feel like, I feel like he's gonna be pretty good. Okay, the January transfer window opens in this episode. Now the issue is that we only have 20 million to spend. And there are some big players that we may look to sign in January. January, which means some players might have to be sold sold and replaced and also we're fighting for our lives in the champions league we face celtic in the final day if we win that game we go through but if we draw or lose we get grouped in the champions League group stage if that happens it'll be an absolute disaster good thing though is that ronaldo is gonna be back from his injury in this episode and endrick so far has looked really good our brazilian wonder kid signing we are gonna need just everyone to step up so you guys have been just killing the support for this series i appreciate that so much if you want to keep seeing this series daily then drop me a like down below and also with that sub button we are chasing 200,000 subs. Okay, first comment, you should sign Vardial. He's heavily linked with Madrid. And Military is linked with a move out. Yeah, a few of you guys said this, that Militao, that he's linked with a move away from Real Madrid. Now, from what I know what I read, I think Real Madrid just gave him a new contract along with Rodrigo, the game at the same time. So I'm not sure if I want to sell Military in this series. I mean, we just gave him a nickname. But to bring in a player like Vardial, we probably have to sell a center back. And honestly, maybe Nacho Fernandez makes a bit more sense to sell. Because then Vardial can start as being a backup center back and backup left back, like Fernandez. And then eventually move into a starting role over Rudiger and Alaba. It is something to think about as you don't have much money in the transfer window you could try a valverde at right back yeah that is true another player we have that can play right back i mean valverde can play everywhere right now i'm not sure how i would feel about wasting him at right back because i feel like in the midfield he's very good it is something we could try though instead of signing a new right back maybe but then again carvajal is gonna be back in i think uh what two weeks so we got some big decisions to make in this episode for sure last one you should sell cruz and replace him with bellingham yeah tony cruz a player in the series i feel like so far i haven't really gone along with i mean like in game he hasn't felt he hasn't felt that good and his contract is expiring. We gave Modric a new contract, but we didn't give Cruz one. So I'm wondering what to do with this man. I believe he said in real life that he, he wants to retire at Real Madrid. So that kind of makes me think we shouldn't sell him, but I'm not sure. And then Bellingham, we signed him in the Liverpool series. So I kind of don't want to sign him in this one. Plus I kind of do think he's more linked with uh, Liverpool than Real Madrid in a way. So I think we might be looking at other midfield targets other than Jude Bellingham for this series. So if we wanted to sign someone like Dumfries or Vardial, Vardial would cost about probably like 60, probably 70 million. As we, as we can see, that's very far above our budget. Currently 20 million and that's gonna go up to maybe like 40 or 50 after we sold Adria Zola. Now we still have some Mariano. He's still here. That'd be an extra like maybe 4 million. And then I'm thinking Nacho Fernandez, he is linked to the move away in real life and he would bring us 20 million. We're gonna transfer this to him. I like him a lot, but now thinking about it, Vardio would literally be like a like for like replacement and probably a much better like backup left back too. So we're gonna see about that. Okay, Carvalho is already back. So that's good. That's good. So military, I think you're done. You're done playing right back. Okay, first game is gonna be Villarreal. This one is gonna be 3-3 Vinicius, Benzema and Rudiger, but that's gonna be a draw. Okay, Enter one Andre Fernandez. Enter. I feel like that might be a realistic destination. I think he's linked with Roma. We got to try and get as much as we can, though. Like, I'm going to start with, uh, let's start with 30. I'm just hoping they don't, like, immediately walk away from this. 30 million, they want 22.5. Okay, they're not going to look to pay much more than that. We could try, like, 25. 25 would be solid. 
22.5. Inter, work with me here. Oh, man. I feel like we're not going to get much. 24 million. See about that. I mean, I would take that, I guess. 24. And okay, 24. They accept. So that might push us to like 60 ish million in January, which is more in line with a Dumfries or Vardy all. All right, Sevilla next. That's going to be a tuna win courtesy of Lucas Vasquez and Rodrigo. That's a solid win, especially away from home. All right, now is probably the biggest game of the season so far. And it's, it's very funny because it's just Celtic. But this is for our Champions League lives here. Otherwise, we might drop down to the Europa League. Now, I wish Ronaldo was back, but he's still not back. So, Endrick off the bench. We're probably going to need him in this game at some point. But we start with our best lineup, I think. Although, I am going to give Cruz this. Or actually, I want to give Cruz a chance. He's got amazing stats. Just that pace. And Carvajal is not fully back. So, military plays right back once again. He is playing there. Now, draw or lose right out of the Champions League. This has, this has got to be a win. I can't believe we've put ourselves in this spot. It hurts, but we got to win this game. Come on. I can't get grouped in the Champions League. If that happens, literally, I don't know what's going to happen. It is just unthinkable. All right, Benzema. Tony Cruz. Okay, what did I say about his pace? What did I say? What did I say about his pace? I don't even know what I said. He just ran through their defense. Okay, Tony Cruz, if you're playing like that, then you might earn yourself a new contract. One nil in like five minutes. Hey, you saw the 53 pace. Benzema into Tony Cruz. It was a good pass. And then a solid left foot finish. Tony Cruz gets the start and scores. That is literally the best start we could have had. Now, we can't let, the, we can't let this team back in the game. We have to like put them to bed early. Rodrigo, good ball to military. Military. You get that to Benzema. Okay, that was supposed to go to Benzema, not Vinicius. All right, Cruz, good ball to Vinicius. Now, Benzema, I see you. Benzema, cross in. What a cross. Benzema. Okay, he just let the ball hit his back. He leaped like so oddly high for that, but he uh, didn't really get it. All right, military, good steal, but the pass is horrendous. He's good defensively, but going forward, uh, not the best. That's a good ball. They're looking for the shot, and it's going to get through. And they are going to score. We just have a lot of trouble stopping these passes. We had such a strong start. They get one attack and they score. Like one chance, one goal for them. Oh man, like that pass there. We had two players closing the guy with the ball down and he gets it like right right through them. Okay, this game's 1-1. We knew this is going to be uh, not so straightforward. Come on, boys. Moderich, Moderich. Hold off the defender. Beautiful. Moderich. Man, we just need some more support. Militao, back to Moderich. Rodrigo. Okay, that was supposed to go to Rodrigo, not Benzema. Why is the ball going to the wrong player? Boys, we need to sharpen up here. We're playing for our lives. Vinicius. Through to Mendy. Good ball, Mendy. We got Rodrigo far post with Mendy. Mendy into... Oh, man. I needed that pass to have so much more on it and like more towards Rodrigo. That is like a very poor attack, though. Benzema. Oh, what a ball to Vinicius. Vinicius. Gonna take that shot. Oh, that's a big goal. Vinicius, what a shot. Benzema, what a pass, too. And that's 2-1. That is a huge response there. We need to put this team to bed. Like, even on our sliders. Celtic, we sh this team should be not even in this game right now. 2-1, 43rd minute. Modric, Benzema, Benzema. Wait for Vinicius. Vinicius, not gonna beat that fullback, though. Wait, he might steal it. He does, actually. Oh, Benzema, wait. The ref blew a whistle. We just had an attack there. I swear they, they want us out. Okay, 2-1. I need to make this 3-1, though. I'm not about to defend a one-goal lead for my life against Celtic. Okay, free kick. Actually, a very good Good one, but Alba gets it out a little bit aggressively, but I kind of like it. Modric, Modric, Benzema, Benzema, back to Luka Modric, Modric. Oh, Vinicius on one side. Modric, far post cross. Oh, it's, that wasn't even close to him. Vinicius stole for that. Like, he was actually going to get it. Okay, Alba's hurt, and he's chasing this guy, which is not good, but Mendy, Mendy, recovery speed. Courtois, just get it out. Oh, man. Can't let him score that, Courtois. Thank you. Okay, it's going to be a corner. Jeez. Okay, Alaba's hurt. What do we do? I feel like he almost got beat there because he's hurt. So I think we're going to do a uh, Militao to center back and then Vasquez on at right back. Oh, man. I am feeling very nervous right now. I don't like how this game is going. I, I wanted it to be more comfortable. Now, this is a very decent chance. Okay, we got to mark very, very intelligently here. Get this ball out, please. That's a long shot. Courtois makes the save, though. I have never won, wanted a two-goal lead more than I do right now. Okay, what is that? Please stop it. Stop it. Just get the ball. Okay, that pass is offside, and we do we do survive that. Okay, we got a free kick. We're going to play this into, I believe, military. Get it to Cruz. Get it to Vinicius. Vinicius. Get it back out wide. Head that Modric into Benzema. Benzema. Shoot, is that Benzema? That was Cruz, actually. He's going for his brace. I need this third goal. They're just defending well. Modric. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, cross it in to Vinicius. Vinicius header. Oh, it's going to be over the net. That was such, that was a free header. Oh man, we got to be doing better with that. All right, Kimavinga for Cruz. Cruz, Cruz played well though, but I need Kimavinga. And then Endrick is on for Rodrigo. Vasquez, Benzema. Oh, Vinicius, are you on side? I believe he's offside. Is he onside? Wait, he's onside. Oh, I thought that was off. That was perfectly timed between Benzema and Vinicius. And this is 3-1. Oh, that goal could be so big. Okay, I, I completely thought he was offside. But what a pass. Vinicius. Oh, that center back just a, must barely just kept him on. Oh, Vinicius scores. Maybe the goal that saves our Champions League campaign. 3-1. We got 15 minutes left. Holy moly. What have I just seen? Benzema in to Endrick. Endrick. We got to cross maybe all the way. Maybe all the way. Endrick. Endrick. 
He's gonna shoot. Oh, goes around one. Oh, that was that was actually solid. Very selfish, but Hendrick almost just had like a crazy solo run goal. Benzema, Vinicius, Vinicius. Get it to Endrick. Chance to seal it. Endrick to seal it. Endrick scores our wonder kid. And that is going to be our Champions League campaign saved. Oh, man. 4-1 doesn't tell the story of this game. Ravinga to Endrick. Endrick. I mean, it's a solid finish in front of goal. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. For being 68 rated, Endrick feels like such a solid player, though. All right. Valverde on and also Nico Williams. So this game is settled. Uh, Endrick is going to be up top at striker for the rest of this game in the final few minutes. But we have done it. And I'm so happy. When they scored, I got very, very nervous. So the issue is we're still probably going to finish second which means a much tougher run of 16 but i mean i'll take that compared to europa league i will absolutely take that i'm kind of worried about alba though alba is hurt so i wonder how bad that is i'm making more though vinicius over to endrick endrick to vinicius vinicius get it oh, okay i thought he was gonna be outside what was that pass though endrick over to who is this this is nico williams nico williams Bro, that 91 pace is nuts. Get the assist. And Endrick gets his second. Get the sure goal. 5-1. Endrick brace. Champions like hopes. Save. Hey, Endrick, he's the he's the future star of this series. At least that's what he's looking like. At yeah, 5-1 does not tell the story of this game. It was so much more stressful than that. But in the end, job done. Now let's see Alaba's injury. Because now that is my biggest worry. Okay, thankfully, it's only five days. So that, that's nothing. That's a very good win, though. And Nacho has been sold to Inter Milan. So that's probably up to like 65-ish million in January. Still might not even be enough for a new signing so in the champions league we we actually finish in first place okay leipzig drew with shaktar okay everything just went away right now yeah they drew 2-2 two -two. shaktar's first point to the group stage and that means we finish first now i'm seeing teams like juventus man city in second um inter so we, we might still get a very tough team around 16 but we end up finishing first all right next game valladolid that's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one draw courtesy of rodrigo so we're kind of dropping points here and there but we still haven't lost a game it has it has finally happened chris and ronaldo is back from his injury also this contract is expiring i just realized so if he might he might sign a new contract in january we gotta think about this so tony cruz and ronaldo what do we do here can i even give ronaldo a new contract i can't even give ronaldo a new contract because we just we just signed him i think tony cruz for now obviously if we sell him we give him a lot more money so i think we should give him a new contract a one-year extension because that just sounds like what's gonna happen to irl see if he wants the same wage 310 he does and uh tony cruz is re-signed now ronaldo i'm unsure about if we want to keep him for season two we will have to uh wait and see um espanol next and that's 4-1 rodrigo vinicius vinicius and okay vinicius hat trick i like to see that okay last Last game before January is going to be is going to be our first loss of the season against Katafe. That is the one team I didn't expect to lose to. Benzema scored our goal, but we are not going to go invincible this season, I guess. All right, so Andre Zola, Nacho Fernandez gone. How much money does that leave us? Okay, 70 million. I still feel like that might be barely not enough. So Dumfries would be 44. We could sign Dumfries right now, probably. And Vardio would be around 64. So, oh man, I feel like it, it might be enough. We just got to pick between Dumfries and Vardio, I think. I think those two are my main targets for January. I mean, is there anyone else we could probably sell? I don't feel like there is. No, I think everyone here, other than Mariano, we're still going to sell him. But other than that, I, I don't think we're looking to sell anyone else in the first team. So let's go in for Vardial first because we did sign, we did sell Nacho. So we need a new backup left back kind of. And of course, Vardial can be a solid left back. But we're going to try him first. Now, I, I feel like they're going to want more than we have though. I'm going to try 56 million, 56.5 and see what they say to that. If they accept that, that's a solid first offer. They are going to want 62.3. Okay, this might be doable. Let's try 59. That'd probably give us enough to sign them on the wages at least. Oh, uh, let's try 58, 58. Please, RB Leipzig, accept this. This would be a solid deal if we can get it. 58 million and they do accept. So there's a sell on clause there, but that's not a bad deal. 58 million for Vardio. That's actually a very good deal. And honestly, my thinking here is I still think Dumfries is a, is a main target for this series, but I feel like that might transition to like a season two signing because Carvajal, I feel like he's a very solid right back. I think I want to give him like one more season to be our starter the rest of this season. And then season two, we sell him. I feel like that's the plan for the start of season two, maybe. And uh, obviously we sold Nacho. So we need him the center back and Vardio. I think it just makes more sense. I mean, he has been so good at the world cup in FIFA. He is just an absolute beast he beat us twice in the group stage so we, we had a good look at him and he gave an interview recently saying that his dream is to play for Real Madrid he, he would love to at some point so I think we're signing pretty much the future starting center back of this team at first he's gonna be a backup center back backup left back but season two he might like transition straight into his starting spot just a Croatian superstar we can say Luka Modric is being like uh in his ear a little bit like hey come to Real Madrid agent Modric played a part in this and just like that Vardio has accepted the contract we have signed up a Croatian young superstar he is gonna be so so good in this series and hey with our defense like not looking the best maybe he gets into his starting role like earlier than we even think but I think the number five sure will probably suit him that is a signing that I really really like so for now Ronaldo will take Endrick spot on the bench and then 
uh, Mr. Vardial will take Vasquez's spot. So now that Ronaldo is back too, we can try the uh, special weapon X again. So I do feel like if this works, it'd be so nice. I think we'd have to do Rodrigo maybe. Because I feel like Valverde is kind of wasted on the wing now. I'm, I'm realizing that. So we might give this another chance in the next game. Because Mr. CR7 is back. Now that does leave us with only 8 million to spend. So pretty much... Vardy all was uh, going to be our media only signing in January. I do like the budget adjustment we've made. It feels a lot more realistic and it feels like it's we got to think about signings a little bit more instead of just having like 300 million every season. So we're definitely going to keep doing this. All right, special up and X in a sim game against a Bill Bow. It's going to be 2 1. Benzema scores twice. We only got to use it once and then Ronaldo got to injure the game we used it. So it still needs a lot more like testing. Um, Super Cup against Valencia. Uh, okay, special up and X 6 1. Ronaldo, Rodrigo, Benzema, True Media, Ronaldo, and Mendy. Okay, seven shots, six goals. That is uh, that's a very decent win. So now is this the this is the Super Cup final? Okay, Real Madrid Barcelona. I mean, Super Cup. It's not the biggest trophy, but it's against Barcelona, so it turns into a big trophy. I think this will be Ronaldo's first El Clasico in a very long time. So I think maybe let's start Camavinga in this game, and then we pretty much go with that. Vardial, should we start him? Let's do it. Vardial starts at left back. Let's do it. Uh, special up and X against Barcelona in El Clasico. Let's see what Ronaldo does in his return. All right, Ronaldo. It is so good to have you back, but we don't want to lose to Barcelona. We beat them 2-0 in the first El Clasico. That was at home, though. We'll see how this one goes. We got Vardial's debut left back. I really want to see if this formation will work. Benzema lifts it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo goes for, like, the diving header. He actually gets to it. I didn't think he would. Rodrigo cross in. That is Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, Mr. CR7. Welcome back to the team already. It's taken him six minutes. It's 1-0 to Real Madrid. Welcome back, Ronaldo. Corner, and it's just Ronaldo fighting for it. He leaps. Oh, that's that's too easy for him. Man, it's felt like we've been, we've been missing something in this team without him. But Ronaldo. Ronaldo is back. Vardy always got the pace by left back. The man played left back against us in the group stage and, like, torched us. Rodrigo to Carvajal. Also good to have him back. Okay, this is a long shot opportunity. It is Camavinga long shot. Um, Camavinga. Uh, what was that? Oh, Chumini, great steal. We got Ronaldo making his run. Chumini into Ronaldo. Ronaldo, first time shot. Okay, that was right at the defender. I mean, that was kind of like our only option there, though. Rodrigo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Through to Benzema. Oh, what a pass to Benzema. Benzema, Benzema. Okay, we're not going to block it again. Benzema to Ronaldo. Ronaldo shoots. Oh, it's good defending. Hey, so far, the secret weapon X has looked good in this game, though. Okay, what is this? Okay, what is that attack? He just gets there, and like we can't do anything about it. This is 1-1. Lewandowski scores for Barcelona. I really thought we had control of that, but absolutely not. Okay, game is tied up. Rodrigo, Benzema, Benzema into Ronaldo. Ronaldo back to Benzema. Oh, man, they're almost combining. Cardiol has that pretty, pretty easily. Benzema, Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Maybe get it to Ronaldo. Good pass to Ronaldo. The shot is going to be, it's going to be a corner. Wait, that's a goal kick? Um, I don't agree. Cross in, should have that Rudiger. That is uh, solid defending. Oh, Vinicius, what a touch. Vinicius, do we get it to Ronaldo? Ronaldo, get it to Benzema. Benzema, chance to shoot in Ronaldo now, this time to Benzema. And the lead is retaken. Hey, they combine for the first time. Can they coexist? I mean, that's question here. That was a solid move. 2-1. All right, they got, they got one final attack for halftime into De Jong. This is what we can't do. This is what we can't do. Okay, that is so much better defending, and that, oh, I tried clearing it. Okay, thankfully, the ref blows the whistle. All right, two and a half time. I feel like we're we're slightly in control of this game. Now, I kind of don't want to play Ronaldo the full game because he just got back from his injury, so probably maybe Nico Williams or Endrick on pretty soon. I remember Rafinha, like, played solo against the last game. Uh, this one, Vardial is kind of shutting him down. Ronaldo, Benzema up to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, first time shot. Rodrigo, oh, what a finish by Rodrigo. That was like such a weird way he like, he took that, but that was a beautiful like chip shot maybe. 3-1, we are in control of this game now. This is like a very weird first time finish. It's like, it is, okay, right foot. It's like a side foot. The placement right there is insane. Okay, 3-1 to Real Madrid. Rodrigo, Benzema into Ronaldo. Ronaldo for his second oh man 4-1 we're gonna get the suey it's been a minute but we get another another suey barcelona kind of in the mud right now once again benzema ronaldo combining the question is can it be consistent okay i've already all he's having a very solid debut game i think rodrigo to ronaldo ronaldo benzema benzema lifted for vinicius Volley attempt. Vinicius, you just ruined it. Frank de Jong, Vardial against Dembele. Now Vardial, all oh, Vardial. That defending is so good. We got an absolute deal there, I think. Okay, Vinicius, Rodrigo to Ronaldo. I, I should have played it out wide to Benzema, I think. Okay, they're trying to get back in this game. But Carvajal steals that one. I like the energy. Rodrigo to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, hold it up. 
flip it up to Vinicius. That didn't exactly work, but is that a free kick? It is, huh? Oh man, okay, this kind of far out, but is this CR7 range? I'm gonna take him off soon because I don't want him to get hurt. I'm like paranoid, but I think this might be his final final kick of the game. CR7 from the free kick spot. Can he make this 5-1 to Real Madrid? Okay, he's extremely far out. If he scores this, he's the absolute goat. Okay, that was embarrassing. We need a little bit more uh, mustard on that one. Man, Barcelona just don't look good in this game at all. To Ronaldo. To Vinicius. Vinicius. Flip it up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo! Oh, he went for the special. Young goes for the shot. And I think we just took him out. Yeah, Carvajal just like absolutely destroyed him. All right, subs on. We got Nico Williams coming out. We got Endrick and also Tony Cruz and uh, Valverde. Okay, they might score this. I feel like they're going to score this. Are they going to score it? It's going to be Lewandowski. Oh, they can't even score that. This is not Barcelona's day. That is a cross hand. Courtois. Courtois, strong positioning. Okay, they might get one Lewandowski shot, but Courtois stands up to it. Rodrigo to Endrick. Endrick from the stratosphere whoa 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 wait a second how did that go in i think ter stegen just had the absolute stinker of a lifetime on that one endrick scores like a 30 yard screamer but ter stegen what was he doing i was just shooting this like as a joke endrick shoots and ter stegen loses his footing or something and then he lets it go in the net that's like a 35 yard goal scored by Endrick. I mean, I guess it's is it actually well hit. I don't even know. How does Ter Stegen not save that though? Maybe he like tripped. Oh, that's an absolute blunder. And this game ends 5-1. Endrick gets his goal. Oh man, not a good game for Barcelona at all. Jeez. So Super Copa trophy. Ronaldo's first trophy since uh, rejoining Real Madrid because he wasn't here for the Super Cup. So two trophies out of two to start this season. Super Cup and Super Copa. Benzema, Gets the left one. Hopefully not the last trophy of the season. We're still going for the Copa del Rey. We're going for La Liga and the Champions League. We can end up with five trophies this season, maybe. We're going for all five. We'll see what the boys can do. But this one was a commanding win. I got to see this goal again. I was just shooting this as a joke. Like, final kick of the game. Endrick. It's just a shot. And, okay, it's not even showing Ter Stegen. Like, Ter Stegen. Okay, look at that. He should be saving that. That should be an easy catch for Ter Stegen. But he absolutely just just messes it up i mean that's about that's probably 35 yards out at least okay i said we finished up january like i said we have no more money so probably no new signings um elche is gonna be three now too many scores two and vinicius scores the other and then espanol vinicius 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 and ronaldo so vinicius hat trick again um couple del rey is gonna be two one la Botka scores and also valverde okay we're in a pretty decent bit of form here and then getafe is gonna be three two the team that gave us our first loss we beat valverde mendy and ronaldo again all right so transit Atlante, like i said we got what seven million we are done with transfers Vardy all he played so good against Barcelona I think he is gonna be amazing for this team only signing in January though so that means Dumfries probably gonna be our main target for season two our first target but okay next game is the Copa del Rey uh quarterfinals against Atletico Madrid I mean Copa del Rey a trophy that we want to win so absolutely want to beat Atletico Madrid here we're gonna start Endrick uh let's start Nico Williams on the left Endrick on the right let's give Labotka the start um let's do let's do Vardy all again and I think we will go with that so a little bit of rotation but still Ronaldo Benzema in there and uh, let's not get knocked out of the Copa del Rey all right Benzema Ronaldo Endrick and Nico Williams it's a mix of very uh youth players and also some very old players I mean Barcelona 5-1 if the stick up an X if it works it is going to be absolutely deadly Endrick cuts inside Endrick Endrick get it to Ronaldo Ronaldo gets it to La Botka shot decent shot corner swung in that oh man what a header Chumini finally gets it on target try this again okay Chumini just got pushed there this is Endrick Endrick from distance again, not as good this time. Okay, Ronaldo, great ball to Nico Williams. We know he has the pace. We know it. Nico Williams gonna go all the way. Low driven shot. Nico Williams. What was that? Okay, Yorente. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? I don't even know what's happening. Okay, they score. I was trying to clear it. None of my players would clear it. I could barely see what was happening. Carrasco scores. It's 1-0 to Atletico Madrid. We try to clear it there. Carvajal, I was trying to clear it, but I guess Carrasco just got to it first. Okay. 1-0 to Atletico Madrid, 50 minutes in. That is just a very weird goal to concede. Okay, Irente, Chumini can't get the tackle in. That's a good ball. Okay, Atletico Madrid. Good deflection. And he wins that. That's not a penalty. No, it's not. Get the ball out now. Benzema, good ball to Endrick. Endrick, we got to pass Ronaldo maybe? Ronaldo. Okay, get it back. Okay, whoa, what was that? I kind of meant that I go to Benzema. Carvajal, good tackle. Oh, man, they might score another. Oh, man, what a tackle, though, actually. Never mind. That is a goal-saving tackle right there. All right, Nico Williams. Oh, how do I want to get that to Benzema? That pass needs to be better. Okay, it's going to go back to Courtois, I guess. All right, we are being tested a bit in this game. Okay, Vardio up to Ronaldo. We need to test him up. It's been, uh, let it come to the lead for too long. Endrick, Endrick in behind. Endrick, what do we got? Endrick shoots. 
Bro, Endrick is so good. The man is 69 rated, but he feels so strong in game. And this game is tied up. Benzema, good assist. I mean, we had options to pass it, but Endrick just takes it all the way. All right, 41st a minute. This is 1-1. That is Benzema at cam just like distributing so well. Vodka to Nico Williams. Nico Williams, what do we got? Get it, Benzema. Okay, that actually is not Benzema. It's Ronaldo. Through to Benzema. That should be the lead. And that is the lead. Ronaldo, Benzema combining. I think they can coexist. I think this episode might be proof. They are both playing like the so well. The old men of the squad along with Modric and Cruz. And I think you guys would prefer us playing Benzema Ronaldo in the starting 11, right? I don't think a lot of you guys wanted just Benzema starting. You guys wanted Ronaldo in the, in the starting 11. And so far in this episode, it has definitely worked. And this game is 2-1. The game is far, far from over though. Vardy all. Okay, that's not Vardy all, is it? Is that Labotka? I think it is. This is what we struggle with and... Cunha scores. I totally felt that goal happening. Wasn't our last game with Letico Madrid kind of like this, right? Or am I thinking wrong? Whatever it is, it's enough. This would be another great game. They just find Cunha and it's a first time left footed strike. Okay, Vardial and Alaba not doing the best they're marking him, but it is going to be 2 2. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the last game was just like this. Benzema, Nico Williams, Nico Williams. Man, he just got manhandled right there. Carrasco. Oh, how does it get through? I'm not sure, but it, the shot is right at Courtois. Cross in. Vardial should have that. He does. We get it out. Chumini. Needs to be good header, and it is. Benzema out to Endrick. Endrick in to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, hold it up. Ronaldo. Oh, man. Endrick, that pass wasn't the best. Let's try this again. Benzema. Benzema back to Ronaldo. Into Endrick. Endrick try to flip it up to Ronaldo or Benzema. It's going to be a free kick, though. I mean, okay, we're not shooting this. We are going to lay it off to... Is this Vardy all? Wait, who is this? Okay, that was terrible. I am never doing that again. Man, they, they look scattered right now. They're trying to get back in the game. Lobotka. Through to Benzema. That's got to get through, though. We got 15 minutes. This is still just 2 2. That's a rushed pass. Vardy all did at least wake up with that. Now, this is only one leg, right? Yeah, the quarterfinals are definitely one leg. The semis are two legs. It's going to be a good ball. Vardy all good block. This is really, I mean, just anyone's game at this point. It's 50 50. That's a good ball, though. Oh, man, what a pass. It's right at Courtois, though. Benzema to Endrick. Endrick, we got Ronaldo. Going to go all the way to Nico Williams instead. It's going to be cleared. Benzema, go for something special. He almost did. The game is going by so quick. I haven't even made subs yet. We might not get the chance to if they score this, though. Felix, oh, no. Felix, oh, no, 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 no. No, they're going to score. They're going to score. They're going to score. Somehow, somehow they don't score. I'm not sure how we survived that. If anything, that looked like a penalty, but this game is tied still. Okay, everyone is actually pretty uh, uh, good with stamina so far. Valverde is on for Lobotka, though. And I think we will do... Let's do Rodrigo for uh, Nico Williams. All right, into extra time we go. Grasco, ball in. Rudiger, what a interception. Oh, man, good header. Courtois, I would have liked to do grab that, but he goes for the dramatic save. Just doing it for the cameras. Another corner in. Benzema, Benzema, that is the clearance I like to see. Just right back into our box, though. It's going to be offside. Okay, we're good. And Hendrick, good ball to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, hold it up for a second. Ronaldo, hold it up. Hold it up. Hendrick making his run on the half volley. Oh, rebound maybe. Oh, Felipe. That was a very important touch. Goes back to Chuamini. Long shot. Chuamini. Oh, keeper saves it. What a shot. Corner. Lift it in. Benzema, go for it. Gonna go out. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Two. Oh, Rudiger. Okay, I wanted to go to Endrick. Bro, why are these games against Alec Madrid always so good? That is the first half of extra time. Come on, boys. I feel this goal. I totally feel it. We've got a lot of good chances. Ronaldo could have stole that. He should have. We're going to go for the tackle. We missed it, but Alaba steals it. Rodrigo, Ronaldo, Benzema, Benzema. Through to Endrick. Endrick, does he have the pace? Oh, what a ball to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, think it. Oh, keeper takes him out, and it's going to be saved. Man, another very solid chance. Alaba, I need you to stop this. Okay. He did good there. I just did not want the ball getting past him. Okay, there he gets past him. Vardy all cross in. Rudiger, good clearance. We just can't let them score now. That is going to be handball on on them. Too many. Good ball to Carvajal. Carvajal, good ball to Endrick. Got Ronaldo, and Endrick has all the time to cut the pass. All the time in the world. Rodrigo! Oh, that's going to go in. Wait, what? Oh, he was offside. Okay, it wouldn't even counted, but almost a goal right there. Five minutes remain. Rodrigo. Rodrigo, wait for Benzema, wait for him. Oh, the, the space opened up. Benzema to Ronaldo. The space opens up and Ronaldo maybe scores the winner. What a weird attack, but that could be it. 3-2. Real Madrid maybe have just won. That was like a weird goal. We gave it back to Ronaldo and it seemed like the keeper was like lost his footing or something. I was going to shoot Benzema here, but I realized Ronaldo's right there. He's got more space and he shoots. I guess it's a good shot actually. I think from like the gameplay angle, it looked more uh, questionable, but... It's actually just a great strike from Ronaldo. Look, he's doing the, there's a Sui like uh, final goal, like winner celebration. I didn't even know that, but is that going to be it? We still got what? Two minutes, one minute. They don't have time. They're not getting this ball forward. Okay. They have one chance. Nope. Ref blows the whistle. That is going to be a three, two win for Real Madrid. Bro, what a game. That's two games against Lodico Madrid this season. They're just instant classics. And Ronaldo 
He returns the episode and he scores the winner. It is just poetic at this point. Also, Endrick just continues to impress me so much. If we look at the stats, so Vinicius has 19, Benzema 18 and 17, and then Ronaldo 11 and 12. He has just scored so many goals for us, so efficient. Rodrigo 10 and 6, then Endrick 6 goals in 12 games. He has been, he's been so good. Our future star of this series. But okay, that means we got Barcelona in the semis. Okay, so we got two legs against Barcelona. More El Clasico action. And then La Liga, we sit currently in first place with a five point lead. And also next episode, we start the Champions League knockout stage where we really, really start to get down to business. I would say Vardio, though, he's played so good. I think he's going to be an insanely good signing in the series. Okay, last episode, we signed Vardio from Leipzig, our new young Croatian just superstar. Or he's going to be that in the future for sure. Although we kind of got destroyed Messi in the World Cup, but we're going to ignore that. So this right here is a very large episode. Now we just beat Lidicum Madrid 3 2, but we faced them again in the league. And then we faced Barcelona in the league. And we also faced them, Barcelona, in the Copa del Rey semifinals. And to add to that even more, the Champions League knockout stage begins in this episode two, the round of 16. So you understand, there is a lot going on in this episode. So Endrick, he's like the homegrown talent for the series. We didn't exactly find him through like youth scouting, but we have found our very first youth academy player in this episode. And I think he could be a very special player for us in this series. So drop a like, hit that sub button down below if you have not, and let's get into it. Okay, first comment, you should sign Lovro. Is it my head? My head? I'm not sure, but from Stad Renee. Some people are calling him the baby Luka Modric. I mean, he does kind of look like Luka Modric. I mean, the hair is like kind of similar. So we're going to scout and see what his stats look like, see if their stats are actually similar. I mean, Modric is going down overall. He is old, so why not replace him at some point with another Croatian? So we're going to scout him. A cool storyline after Ronaldo, Benzema, or Modric retires is one of them could be a, a manager. Yeah, a few guys have like suggested something like this. Making maybe like, I feel like who's going to retire soonest? I feel like it's going to be Ronaldo or probably Modric. I mean, should CR7 be the future manager of Real Madrid? We could make that happen. We, we can change managers in our series. So even though Ancelotti right now is doing a decent job, there is no guarantee he'll stay here for the entire series. If Endrick continues to perform well, upgrade him to high overall like 75 or 76 for season two yeah so kind of like we did in our united series we upgraded the youth players every season it kind of makes them like last longer actually usable so let me know if, if endrick keeps playing that well let me know in the comments should we upgrade endrick for season two because i kind of feel like if he plays well he deserves it but we'll see all right so we sent our scouts out to spain france and south africa i believe our youth scouts and uh we may have found our first actual found youth star his name is tony cruz and he's a center back who is 69 rated to start and that is a spanish center back and honestly he's got very very decent starting stats like very decent physical stats and then defensive stats probably the highest short passing 72 stand tackle when i see a spanish center back and he's playing for real madrid you know who i think of i think of sergio ramos could tony cruz be the actual next sergio ramos we just signed vardio have we found his like future center back partner already and he is an exciting prospect so he's not like potentially special but he's still at solid potential so mr tony cruz now we have a lot of we have a lot of big games coming up but as we do i want to give him his chance in the episode to prove himself is he actually the next sergio ramos and are we going to see a future partnership of Cruz and then Vardio down the line in this series? We are going to find that out in this episode, although we, we do have a lot of big games. So we're going to have to pick spots to actually give him his chance. But trust me, Tony Cruz is going to get his chance. First game, though, is going to be Valladolid. This one is going to be 3-1 to start the episode. Ronaldo, Vinicius, and Ronaldo. Ronaldo Brace. All right, Copa del Rey semifinals. We got Barcelona, of course. We're going to sim the first leg and play the second leg, as we usually do in like any two-leg tie. So I just hope we can keep it close in this first leg. We're at home, so we like just beat them 5-1. This game is going to be be 3 1. Mendy, Mendy, Vinicius. That is a solid lead to take into the second leg. We just have Barcelona's number in this save. Now we got to let go Madrid. We just played them. So once again, we're going to sim this. Um, Alaba is rinsed. So let's put Vardy on there. Actually, let's do a military. Military starts. This one is going to be, it's going to be a 1 0 loss to Madrid. Vinicius gets hurt. I don't like that. And I believe that's our second loss of the season. Okay, what is this injury like? Oh, man. Vinicius has a broken ankle and he's out for three months. Literally, our best performing player is now out. I can't believe it. He is currently, he's our top scorer. He's out for three months. What is that? That's all the way to like April. He might miss the rest of the season. He might. Or he might return like barely at the end. Man, that is, that is absolutely rough. Okay, we're going to need Rodrigo and Endrick to step up. Also, uh, Mr. Valverde probably get more run on the wing maybe. Oh man, that's just not a good injury. Also, Nico Williams, we need everyone to step up now. We just lost our top scorer. And now finally, the Champions League knockout stage begins. So we finished first, like barely on the final day. And because of that, round of 16, we have been drawn I Ajax. Hey, like there's a lot of good teams to finish second, like Man City, Inters. So it could have been a lot more worse than just Ajax. We are going to sim the first leg and play 
the second leg. Um, now that Vinicius is out, we're going to play, I'm going to play Valverde there and move Rodrigo to the left. And we do that. So Endrick gets a more permanent spot on the bench. I mean, Ajax, Ajax, they're decent, but they're not us. First leg is going to be, it's going to be 4 to Ronaldo, Chumini, Benzema, and Alaba. Two goal lead. I will absolutely take that. So two very fortunate Sims in the Copa del Rey in the Champions League. Now we got Barcelona in the league, which after that loss, we're in danger of dropping out of first now. So another El Clasico this time in the league, this time also away. We just beat them 5-1. We'll see if we can do it again. So honestly, I'm feeling pretty confident here. The Ronaldo Benzema lineup has been very solid. So I don't think uh, Tony Cruz get his debut in this game. I think it might be a little bit too big of a stage for a debut for like an 18 year old youth academy player. So maybe the next game. I feel like maybe in the Copa del Rey, it makes more sense even with the two goal lead. So that sounds decent. Lewandowski almost scores in the first five minutes. All right, good ball to Rodrigo. I feel like Barcelona, they just don't know like how to defend us. Okay, Valverde, why do you jump so early? You weren't even close. Carvalho, back to Chuamini. Oh man, that's a long shot. Okay, that was that was extremely far out. I apologize. Rico Valverde into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo away for Benzema. Oh, Ronaldo just got taken out. Is he hurt? No, he's not. He bounces back up. Thank you. Bro, that was criminal. Benzema to Federico Valverde. I see Rodrigo far post. And then fall to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, back to someone. Okay, once again, he just got sandwiched. Okay, now this is a free kick. You know what? I'm shooting this. Alaba, this is yours. Left foot? I feel like he, he can actually score this. David Alaba, I know you got a left foot. I know you do. Free kick. Okay, that was so poor. I am extremely disappointed. Probably need a little bit more power on it. Oh, Danny Omo to Dembele. Oh, man. Dembele, that touch to bring it to the right was nasty. It is 1-0 to Barcelona. I mean, can't say much here. Rudiger steps up and then, oh, man, that touch by Dembele. That first touch was just dirty. All right, 1-0 to Barcelona. But Vinicius scored so many goals for us. Like, he is going to be such a big miss. We're not a transfer, though, so it's not like we can uh, actually replace him. Ronnie, what was that pass to? Benzema, Valverde, we just need more support run. There it is. True mini. True mini. True mini. Dinks it. Okay. Kunde. That kind of hit his hand, but I guess it doesn't exactly count. Benzema. Chance to shoot. Oh, Benzema gets a good hit, but it's going to be saved by Ter Stegen. That was a very good shot opportunity. Modric. Back. True mini. Find the pass. Come on. Work it through. Ronaldo. Actually, Rodrigo. Oh, Modric. You need to run the inside there. All right. First half. We are down 1 0. This uh, does not feel like the last meeting at all. It does not. All right. Modric. Great. So come on. Score one. We're back in this. I know their defense is not that good, especially at marking us. So we break this game open. And there's a chance to win. Benzema gets it to Rodrigo. Rodrigo holds it. Get it back in. Great ball to Modric. Modric. Get it back to Benzema. Beautiful Benzema. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Low driven shot. And it's going to go wide. That was the best chance we've made so far. Okay. Now, too many is hurt. That is a not. That's not a good thing to see. Oh, man. Good move. Rudiger. Good interception. We're being a little bit aggressive here because we need to win this ball back. It's going to be a foul, though. Now, is Chumini hurt? I don't know if he is or not. Oh, he is. Top left. The man is in pain. Freak, though. Lewandowski shot and it's barely over the net. Now the problem is we don't really have a CDM. I feel like Alaba is probably our backup CDM. We might need to make that change. Ronaldo to Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Oh man, he's just like stumbling there. What was that dribbling? We only got 12 minutes. We haven't even made subs yet. Valverde, Ronaldo, a little bit on side, but he is tired. Extremely Ronaldo. Wait for Benzema, Benzema. Good chance. Benzema. Okay. I press shoot and I think he got a, I think they got a tackle in. Man, that was a very good chance. Bro, I'm trying to foul just so I can get subs on. Whoa. What just happened there? We just went through the ball. Oh, no. We literally just went through the ball. Oh, then Memphis scores a screamer. Okay, they might win this game. Man, we beat them 5-1. And, like, we don't have Vinicius, but still. What a completely different game. All right, subs on, but I don't think we have that much time. This has to be quick if we want to make any sort of comeback. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have the time to make this happen. Nope, that's going to be it. Man, 2-0. We just got kind of slapped. We started off strongly, but they scored, and they just took control of the game. Like, what a radically different game than uh, the previous meeting now. I am worried about Chumini now. Like, is he hurt real bad? Okay, Chumini is hurt, but thankfully, it's only for five days so tough loss that'll hurt our la liga standings but it's not the worst thing in the world we're now two points above Atletico Madrid and also barcelona um next game is real sociedad this one is going to be one nil courtesy of rodrigo okay i think it's time for a time for a debut or maybe maybe the next sergio ramos so copa del rey semis we are two goals up here we face barcelona again i mean it's not a huge lead but it's a solid lead to take into uh into a second leg i'll, I'll be happy with that it's not exactly done yet though so tony cruz can he play cdm i was wondering can he play cdm Minus two, he kind of can play CDM, although his, his passing is not great. But we're going to play him at that right center back spot. Vardial and Cruz, maybe the future partnership here. Um, let's do Vasquez right back. Let's leave Mendy in there. Let's do Cruz, Camavinga. Um, we're going to start Endrick up top for Ronaldo. Ronaldo's going to sit this game. I feel like he's played a lot. And a lot of you guys have wanted to see Endrick up top. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do Rodrigo on the right. Nico Williams on the left. And also uh, Lunin in goal and see if we can knock Barcelona out of the Copa del Rey. This is like deja vu. Like we were just playing here. Okay, Tony Cruz. First touch for Real Madrid. What number is he? 
Oh, I didn't fix his number. I have no idea what number he is, but I'll fix that. Are you the next Sergio Ramos? You kind of look like him a little bit in terms of like stats, height. Is he going to get more red cards? We will see. Benzema. Benzema Endrick, I thought you were making that run. He was like stuttering. First meeting, that was 5-1. Second meeting was 2-0. So I have no idea how this is going to go. Talk about a trial by fire. Tony Cruz starts against uh, Barcelona, but it is the only the Copa del Rey. Endrick, oh man, Endrick, almost a very good ball to Rodrigo. Now that's not a good pass. Mavinga gets it to Cruz. Cruz slide it to Mendy. Mendy back into Cruz. Cruz into Endrick. Endrick, chance to shoot Endrick, but it's, uh, it's going to be a corner. Now, Tony Cruz, where are you at? Is that you? Is that Cruz? That might be. No, that's Benzema. I think uh, Tony Cruz has like kind of, he has decent heading. You know what I just realized? I was thinking, Tony Cruz. I'm like, why does that sound familiar? Like, what am I thinking? Why does it sound familiar? Like, I'm saying that a lot. It's because of Tony Cruz. How am I just now realizing that? He's a Spanish Tony Cruz. Literally the same name or the way you say it in a way. That is hilarious. We got Tony Cruz and then Tony Cruz. How am I just now realizing that? Okay, corner in. Let's relax. Corner in. Okay, that is a good clearance by Bardiol. I mean, how are we going to judge Cruz on clean sheets? Oh, Cruz. No, Cruz. You weren't marking him. Yes, he scores, and I feel like that's Cruz's fault. Okay, 1 0 to Barcelona. All of a sudden, our lead trimmed down to 1. I feel like Cruz, 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 you gotta get over. Okay, first mistake for the youth star. Is he even a star? I think he just lost that title for now. Okay, we gotta tighten up here. We lose Vinicius. This can't be our season just crumbling. All right, Endrick, get that over to Rodrigo. Rodrigo into Endrick. Man, okay, Endrick fought for it, but he's not gonna win it, though. Endrick to Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Okay, Williams, good ball to Cruz, Cruz. Get it to Benzema. Benzema got to score that. Benzema scores. Okay, two goal lead restored. Uh, Tony Cruz and Benzema, good combining there. I'm going to get Cruz and Cruz mixed up. It sounds like I'm talking about the same player. I feel like I'm saying Cruz wrong, but that's that's how we say it. Benzema, though, good goal. Okay, two goal lead restored. I'm a little bit more comfortable now. Let's just keep this up. All right, Cruz versus Ferran Torres. Cruz, Cruz. Hey, good tackle by Tony Cruz. That's honestly a bit better. That's a bit better from the youngster. Nico Williams gives it to Cruz. Cruz. Okay, that was actually Benzema, not Cruz. Nico Williams shot. There's Cruz. You guys tell them I asked the healing. I can barely see, to be honest. I mean, I can see, but like the names kind of get players mixed up a little bit. Williams gives it to Tony Cruz. Williams, I see you, Williams. We're making a good run. It's going to be Hendrick, but Araujo blocks it. What a poor attack. Um, How is that not a foul? They actually didn't call it a foul. I'm so surprised. Nico Williams, get it to Benzema. Oh, man, I should have just shot. What am I doing? All right, Tony Cruz win that. He should win that. Come on, be aggressive. Beautiful. Kick it. Beautiful Tony Cruz. The kid is building confidence. All right, Cruz. First Fed on Torres again. Okay, Cruz just... Oh, look at the dribbling. He's got Fed on Torres' number. He is looking so much stronger all of a sudden. Hey, Rodrigo. I see Nico Williams. I see him. Is it going to reach him? No, it's not. That was solid, though. Nico Williams will get that. Benzema making his run. Benzema. Oh, we can't get it to Endrick. I feel like Endrick is better on the wing. I feel like his FIFA stats are just like more suited towards a winger. You know what I mean? Tony Cruz steps up. Was he offside anyways? But hey, he made the interception, though. That's the most important part. The kid has looked very decent since that first mistake. Vasquez into Benzema. Benzema, Endrick. Okay, wow. They are pressing a lot. But it's not going to matter because that's game. So they scored one. Courtesy of uh, the young Sergio Ramos regen's mistake. But after that, he played strong. We didn't concede. So we knock out Barcelona. Copa del Rey and we go to the Copa del Rey final. I am slightly impressed with uh, Tony Cruz. Uh, not that Cruz though. Okay, you know what? To make it easier, I'm gonna call the German Tony Cruz. I'm gonna call him Cruz and then call this guy, the next character almost. I'm gonna call him Tony. That that sounds like a better plan. So Valencia next. That's gonna be 2-0 courtesy of Benzema with a brace. So now we got Ajax back in the Champions League second leg. So we are 4-2 up. Now, am I comfortable enough to sim that? I feel like I'm not. I feel like that's still risky. So we are gonna play the second leg and put Ajax to bed, hopefully. Now, honestly, I kind of want to play Tony again because he played so well. Uh, we'll play military right back. We'll do that. And then Cruz, you know, Rudiger, let's do it. He has earned himself a start in a in a big game, but a game we should be comfortably um, just beating this team and going on to the Champions League quarterfinals. So Endrick and Cruz in the starting 11 for this game. I mean, the only reason Tony's playing at center back is because we're up 4-2. It's a risk, but I'm willing to do it. I want to see how he plays in this episode. This is his episode. And I doubt he's going to play much after this, especially in the Champions League. So we'll see if we can put Ajax once again to bed. Mendy, that's like the heaviest touch I've ever seen in my life. Okay, great ball, Alaba. Whoa, they just, he just like left that. He back healed it and just didn't even give it to him. All right, Endrick, wait for the pass. Whoa, Endrick. Whoa, what a great pass, though, actually. Rodrigo, through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo. We got a pass to Benzema. Benzema. Oh, what a pass by Ronaldo. Benzema scores. That was Endrick having a great pass to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, then great pass to Ronaldo. And then Ronaldo, good pass to Benzema. I didn't think Ronaldo got this off, but he actually found Benzema in front for an absolute tap in. All right, 5 2. We are on our way to securing this uh, quarterfinal ticket. Can't believe we're going to be without Vinicius for most of the rest of the season. That's, that's nuts. Literally, we're missing him so much. He was so good for us. Ronaldo gives it to Endrick. Endrick. 
Got inside a bit. Now he scored a screamer in the last one. Endrick again. Okay, that wasn't the worst shot I've ever seen. I've seen better, but I've also definitely seen worse. Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo to Benzema. Benzema, he just outran that pass. Okay, Cruz is stepping up a little bit. Tony Cruz. Whoa. Tony doing good there. Ajax are no pushover team. Like, this is a big moment for him. I don't know why he switched with Alaba here, but he is. I'm not sure. I like that. Okay, too many. You need to try and block uh, Tony. We do. Now, Ronaldo. We got Rodrigo. Ronaldo hits Rodrigo. Rodrigo can do it himself. He's going to play it back to Luka Modric. Oh, that was so poor. We should have scored that. That was a chance we got to score from. Okay, Tony. 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 Oh, he missed it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Relax. Everyone's good. No mistake occurred. We're fine. All right, what can you do, Tony? Tony. Tony made a strong tackle, although that is halftime. He's like got the look of a Sergio Ramos, like minus the hot-headedness, like minus the psycho part in him. Maybe we got ourselves the next Ramos, but a much, a much calmer version. Okay, Luka Modric all the way out to Ronaldo. Look at him on the left wing. This is like classic Ronaldo. Oh, I tried to go for a finish shot. Man, that literally looked like classic Ronaldo. Rodrigo, Benzema. Okay, that was not supposed to go there, but it's fine. Endrick, Endrick. Get it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, wait for the... Oh, Ronaldo. Showing a burst of speed there, and he scores. Okay, that might have been actually like a classic Ronaldo. Mendy, Ronaldo do the suey. Uh, that might be Ajax put to bed by Mr. Tucked in by Mr. CR7 himself. Just turn left footed shot off the defender into the right corner of the net i mean if i ax beat us it would have been a very big shock i'm just looking at tony again see what the man can do tony 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 tackle okay no 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 was that a penalty no he didn't take him out okay i thought it might have been a pen because we did go in there pretty uh, aggressively okay good ball is that on side no it's not what are you doing Ajax? that was a mile offside tony cruz what do we got tony cruz with the block you love to see it tony cruz with the tackle oh what a clean tackle by tony unlike ramos it's not a yellow card no i'm joking i think sudo ramos is a great center back the aggression part makes him a good center back if anything i want tony to get in there a little bit more like that tackle that was nice oh man oh man Okay, thank we don't concede because of it. He's got the size, the the stats to be the next Sergio Ramos, though. That first mistake, wasn't so sure, but after that, I mean, look at him. He's got so much aggression, almost too much. M maybe a bit too much there. I mean, come on. The next Sergio Ramos, we gotta do it a little bit. He's, he's aggressive. Now, please don't score this. Free kick. Oh, they're gonna lay it off. It's gonna be a shot. Oh, they actually scored it. What a free kick routine. Unfortunate for them, it is not going to matter. All right, that is full time. So 6-3 on Agri. We beat Ajax. I mean, we were uh, pretty comfortable there. We wasn't really that much of a much of a test. But Tony Cruz, he has looked very solid in the episode, actually. I mean, it's kind of tough for a center back to really prove himself in an episode, but I think he did a good job. And we're through to the Champions League quarterfinals. So let me know what you think. Is Tony Cruz the next Sergio Ramos? But we end this one in first. Like I said, uh, now four-point lead over Barcelona. And uh, next episode, probably the season one finale, I think. So we got Champions League finale. Lovely family and also Copa del Rey final probably and we're gonna have to try and win all these trophies without our best player Vinicius it's it's gonna be tougher okay last episode Vinicius got hurt and he's pretty much out for the season and at the time he got hurt he was our best performing player so I don't know how we're gonna cope the rest of the season we need players like Benzema Ronaldo Rodrigo to truly step up otherwise we are not winning anything now we currently sit in first in La Liga but we have shown signs of slipping we're in the Copa del Rey final which is great we also have made it to the Champions League quarterfinals but in this episode things are about to get very very serious like can't we Cope without Vinicius and can certain players step up? So, of course, drop a like if you guys are enjoying the series. Um, hit that sub button. We are chasing 200,000 subs. This could be a season defining episode. No, I thought this episode would be the season one finale, but we're probably gonna have one more episode after this. I think you should upgrade Endrick to a 73 74 overall next season. Yeah, a lot of you guys like the idea of us giving Endrick, you know, a slight upgrade for season two. Now, I don't think we're gonna go crazy. I think I probably 73 to 76 is what we do. Because I mean, after a pretty solid first season for us, I feel like that'd be kind of the realistic thing. How many seasons are you doing this crew mode for? Well, since it is Real Madrid, I was thinking this series wouldn't be as long as the Wolves series, but pretty much as long as you guys keep supporting the videos, the longer this series will be. So once again, drop a like if you want to see more of it. Ronaldo is actually training at Real's camp. Yeah, I heard about this this morning. So Ronaldo, he's training at Real Madrid's like training ground. Like what I thought was probably the most unrealistic thing we could have done in the series, sign Ronaldo, which it is. And he's training at Real Madrid's training grounds. Can you imagine he joins and I predicted it? That would be hilarious. Although I don't, I don't see it happening. But then again, who knows? Now, uh, speaking of Ronaldo, he's only got four months left on his contract contract now he's only dropped minus two to 88 so i think we're gonna give ronaldo i think we're giving him a new contract because i mean he, he's not retiring so i do think he, he could be good for us one more season at least so one year extension for cristiano ronaldo giving him confidence you know you're here for the next year we need you this year to finish this season off strongly for us because without vinicius he his role is even bigger in this team now i'm hoping he wants that wage i mean ronaldo you're 38 don't take all my money and he accepts okay ronaldo signed up for one more season next season he might be retiring so this might mean that ronaldo 
auto retires a Real Madrid player. And also, Secret Open X has been has been decent so far. But you guys uh, suggested it. We might try the death lineup, which is just basically a 4-4-2. It's like going all out and making Benzema a striker instead of a cam up top of the Ronaldo. Like very attacking. I feel like defensively could go very bad. But I am willing to try it in the right game. So we will see. First game is going to be uh, Viacano, though. This one is going to be a 3-2 loss. What did I say about us slipping? Uh, Carvajal Rodrigo, but that is another loss against a team that we just should not be losing to. All right, Champions League quarterfinals, they have been drawn. And I'm a little bit scared. So who have we drawn? We're going to find out right now. Quarterfinals is going to be, it is going to be Real Madrid versus PSG. Okay, we got Ronaldo versus Messi in the Champions League quarterfinals. This is, this is rigged. They, the world wanted to see this and UEFA knew it. I am sensing some fishiness here. Oh man, this, this is going to be so big. Okay, Mallorca at home. I think this should be a bounce back win. At least I'm hoping. It's going to be 3-1 Valverde, Ronaldo, and Valverde. So that is a bounce back win. But oh man, PSG is coming up very soon. Okay, so we got, we got Getafe next. Now we got PSG like right after this. I think I want to try the 4-4-2 against Getafe maybe. And then we might sim the first like play the second one against PSG as we usually do. That game is going to be just so, so big. And we're going to find out if we should use the 4-4-2 against them. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll try it against Getafe. See how it works. Uh, I was right. This is a season defining episode. All right, a little warm up before PSG. Getafe, a team that actually beat us in a sim game earlier in the season. Uh, let's not let that happen again. I mean, I'm feeling some weird energy just because just they beat us in a sim game. Look at that shot to start the game. They're just built a little bit different, I think. Someone's got to step up though. Is it Ronaldo or is it Benzema? It's definitely not Valverde because what was that cross? All right, Modric into Rodrigo. Rodrigo, get it. Okay, I tried to go to Ronaldo, then I realized he was offside. I tried to cancel to Benzema, and then the pass was right at a Getafe player. Okay, Getafe in a dangerous spot, drags it back, and Getafe are up 1 0 just like that. That move was so swift. I mean, he finds a space, Alaba, and Rudiger not having the best, like, uh, communication there, I guess. All right, 1 0 to Getafe. Things you don't like to see. Too many into Modric, Rodrigo, Rodrigo lays it off to Ronaldo, Ronaldo back to Benzema, Benzema, whoa, that was a little burst of pace, oh, Valverde into Ronaldo, Ronaldo, oh, he's got so much time, okay, what a weird attack, he had time to, like, make some eggs while he was thinking where to shoot, and a little bit of suey to start the episode, I mean, maybe Ronaldo goes absolutely berserk in this episode, and he takes over, he's got the stats to do it, uh, Valverde steals it, Benzema plays to him, and it's like, it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. All right, game is 1-1, one -one, just like that. Rodrigo, good ball over to Mendy. Mendy, we got Ronaldo a little bit. Okay, get it back into Modric. Actually, Chouamini for an absolute screamer. Oh, man, if that had a little bit more power on it, that could be in. Benzema through to Ronaldo. Man, Benzema, Ronaldo, they're so close to combining so often. They've proven they can play together, but is it going to be good enough to actually win us a few trophies? That's the question. And also to be a PSG, that is the biggest concern right now. Is it going to be good enough for that? Okay, good attack. Chouamini, though. Good positioning right there. And that is halftime. All right, 1-1. One, one. Come on, this is a game we should win. We should not be struggling here. So let's stop struggling. Ronaldo. Bends him into Ronaldo again for a tap-in, basically. Ronaldo has a brace, and okay, he might be taking over. Look at Benzema and Ronaldo both doing the suey. That's hilarious. But once again, Benzema finds Ronaldo for an absolute just sitter. And if there's one player that's not going to miss that, it might be CR7. All right, he's got two, and it's 2-1 to Real Madrid. I feel like this formation might be a little bit too attacking. I feel like I need... I need Benzema as a cam against PSG, but I just don't think it's going to work against PSG with Mbappe, Neymar, and Messi. Firmini into Luka Modric. Modric, I see you, Rodrigo. What a ball. Rodrigo across goal. It's going to be a good save. Luka Modric, great cross. Ben Benzema's not going to climb. Is that going to be a hair by? Oh, that's Valverde. Not a bad attempt. I'm not even mad about that. All right, Nico Williams to the left. Uh, Valverde center mid, and then Endrick on the right wing. Valverde to Ronaldo. Ronaldo for his hat trick. Ronaldo has a hat trick in this first game of the episode. Are we unlocking prime Ronaldo when the season, when it matters the most? This is a solid way heading into the Champions League quarterfinals against Messi. We gotta preserve some stamina though, so Ronaldo, I'm sorry you're coming off though. All right, full subs on, 3-1. Game as of now looks very comfortable for us, thanks to a hat trick by CR7. All right, Benzema, Endrick, what do you got up top? Endrick, can you go all the way yourself? I think you need some help. A little back heel. I like that though. Now, Valverde, through to Endrick. It is beautiful. Then Endrick. Oh, what a move by Real Madrid. Started by Mr. Endrick. That was that was beautiful football. Also, Valverde, another great pass, too. All right, all of a sudden, this game is looking very wide open, but Endrick can't get it to Nico Williams. Benzema to Federico Valverde. He's earned a shot. He's earned a shot. Okay, Valverde. That is disgusting. What a shot by Valverde. They gave him so much space for this, and he hit it so well. It was like moving left to right in air. And I mean, the keeper, he's got absolutely no chance. He barely moves. He knows. Okay, 5-1 is how this game is probably going to end. Wait, one more maybe? One more, Benzema. 
into Hendrick. No, that could have been six. Okay, we'll settle for five. All right, full time. Five one is how this game ends after continuing the first goal. So I like that response. Ronaldo hat trick. We got a glimpse of a uh, prime Ronaldo right there. Is he gonna show up against PSG though? Man, now I'm thinking about it. Like honestly, PSG Real Madrid, Messi versus Ronaldo. We might have to play both legs of this quarterfinal because of that. There's not many often times we play both legs, but I think for Ronaldo versus Messi, we might have to. I mean, biggest test of this series so far. This squad over two legs against PSG. So first legs at home. I man, that that last formation worked. I just don't think. I feel like structurally, it's gonna be so defensively weak. So I think we go with special weapon X. I think four, two, three, one. We go with that. As it is, I think that's our best eleven without Vinicius. So we're gonna have to go with that. Now is Messi playing for PSG? Because I mean, there's no guarantee. Ah, uh, yep, Messi's there along with Mbappe, Neymar, Ruiz, Soled, Mendez, Torres, Marquinhos, Savage, and Akimi. Can you imagine this happening in real life? It would be blockbuster football. And we get to see it for two legs. There will be one team left standing. And I hope, I hope it's us. This game right here would, we would break viewing records in real life. It would absolutely break so many records. For being like a Champions League quarterfinals too, not even like a semi, not in a final. It is Ronaldo versus Messi in the quarterfinals over two legs. We'll see what we can do. Are we going to unlock Prime CR7 in this episode? We might get Prime Messi and Ronaldo in this in this tie. We are definitely going to get Prime Mbappe because he's the cover star of FIFA. So he gets like special cover star powers. I already know that. And PSG are pressing like crazy to start this game. Valverde. Valverde. Go to Carval. Ronaldo, you're offside. Get it back to Carval. Carval. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, we tried to go for a shot. Marquinhos steals it though before. Modric into Benzema. Benzema. Back to Modric. Okay, maybe not. Wait, that was actually Rodrigo. What am I saying? That's just the nerves talking. Okay, apparently Rudiger is injured. I didn't even see it happen. Hopefully he walks it off. But we do have Militao. We have uh, Vardy on the bench. So it's honestly not the worst injury, I don't think. Okay, we're trying to control possession here to start the game. Like, we're at home. Okay, Mendy. Mendy, what was that touch? Oh, man. This is what we can't do. This is what we can't do. Mbappe. Oh, I read that. I actually read that. I read that and he still scores. I read that move so much. I knew he was gonna come back inside. We still can stop it. Oh, that's irritating. Like when it happens and I, I can't stop it, that's fine. But when I read it and it still happens, like I stayed there, I knew it, but oh, we can't make that tackle with Alaba. And then Rudiger, he's injured. He can't block Mbappe. Oh, one nil down. Okay, Rudiger is actually fine. So that's good. We are one nil down. That is not fine. That one was so preventable. 1-0 to a PSG in the 28th minute. Benzema, Modric, Modric, into Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo holds it up. Ronaldo, decent. Try to get that too. That was actually going to fall to Valverde. Benzema, through to Valverde. Valverde, Ronaldo's making a run. We find him. He needs a little help though. There's too many numbers here. If we're patient, we will find the pass. We'll find it. Oh, we'll find it. Ronaldo, we will find it. Oh man, that was a good move though. All right, I need to get a corner here. Modric, I need good delivery. Oh, Benzema, whoa. That should have been on target. He had a free header there. How is that not on target? Rudiger. Oh, that's going to be a handball on Rudiger, I think. Oh, it is. Benzema had an open net, but I mean, he was backwards, so I, I get it. Oh, man. That was a good chance, though. Oh, man. Mbappe to start the second half. Mbappe destroys us. What is all this space down the middle, though? Oh, man. This is not good. 2-0. I was about to say 1-0 is not that bad, but... 2-0 is very bad. It's just killing Mbappe. Okay, we need, a, we need a strong response here from the team. Like a very strong one. Ronaldo, what a good ball to Valverde. Valverde, please. Oh, man, what a big goal. Ronaldo, what a pass. Valverde also, what a finish. And this is 2-1. Man, that is that is such a big goal for, like, momentum. And, like, staying in this, this quarterfinals. Look at the pass by Ronaldo. Oh, it's beautiful. And then Valverde, a very good finish. Although I thought it might have been a little bit too high. It's a high finish, but it's in the net. All right, 2-1. One more, we are right back in this game. Now, the issue is Mbappe is an absolute madman. What a tackle on Neymar, I believe. Okay, is Ronaldo on side? Ronaldo's on side. Ronaldo's on side. Ronaldo's on side. Oh, man. He almost just went for a Ronaldo special right there. That looked like prime Ronaldo. I mean, the finish. Not not quite. Don't let him score again, Soled. Don't do it. Oh, man. What a good ball. Mbappe, Rudiger. Just get it out. Just whatever way we can, just get it out. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling Kamavinga for Modric. I'm feeling that change. And that is going to be the only one for uh, for now. We got 20 minutes. Still time for us to... Okay, Messi. Okay, Valverde just told Messi to uh, get out of here. Now, we do a player in. I believe this is Rodrigo. Does he have the pace go all the way? Not exactly. He's going to do the same thing Ronaldo did. But Donnarumma saves it. Oh, man. Please just score this second. It will be so big if we score this. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. He was there for it. Oh, we shooting this? No. Into Alaba. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo turn. Ronaldo turn. It's going to be right at Donnarumma though. That was all the space that was there. Oh no. Carlos Soled, please. Rudiger, good tackle. Thank you. We only got two more minutes. Come on. Get this second and we'll be in such a better spot. Please, ref. Ref. Doesn't blow the whistle. Mendy. Into Kamavinga. Kamavinga. Bends him up. Bends him up. Find, find the pass. Valverde. Up to Ronaldo. Oh, the cross is not going to be good enough. 
Wait. Okay, that's gonna be it. Oh man, that second goal felt right there. Okay, though, two one. It's only a goal down. Definitely, definitely not out of it yet. We have a chance if if Ronaldo keeps playing the way he is. I think. I think he is absolutely the key to this. Okay, next game we are playing a completely rotated eleven here. Like we are sacrificing this game. I think. Um, actually, we're not because Lucas Vasquez scores a hat trick. Okay. I mean, I'm cool with that. Now everyone should be rested for this second leg against PSG. Man, I'm thinking special up and X or the death lineup. Oh man, you know what? I'm thinking 4-4-2. I'm thinking we're doing it. I think we switch things up. I mean, we're switching things up a little bit. It's not like an insanely big change, but we are going with this exact lineup again. Come on, boys. We're only a goal down. We can totally do this in Paris. I believe in this team right here. One team will be left standing after this game. Either Ronaldo's getting knocked out or Messi is getting knocked out. It's one of those two. We are going all out. 4-4-2. We're going very brave here. We'll see if it pays off. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. Like probably the team has knocked me out of the Champions League the most in all of our series has been uh, PSG, I think. Ronaldo, the Benzema, Benzema. Oh man, almost got it through Ronaldo, almost bounced to him. Rodrigo, Marquinhos should have that, he does. Okay, that was, uh, I mean, decent pressure there. Benzema, can maybe pressure them, I guess not. All right, Messi drifting toward the middle. That is just something that terrifies Oh man, that was, whoa, okay, what was that tackle? I'm not sure. Okay, calm and composed, get this ball forward, please. Oh, Ronaldo, oh, Rodrigo, you gotta get that to Ronaldo, please, he got to, Benzema, Benzema, through to Ronaldo, 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 chance to shoot. Oh man, he's getting close. Too many, into Ronaldo, 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 little bit of space. Oh, he actually got that in. Whoa, 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 how did Ronaldo score that? I tried to do that actually, but I didn't think it would actually work. Ronaldo ties up this quarterfinal. Ball into him, I was trying, he's the only thing to do. Go for some low driven shots the other corner. Donnarumma didn't see it. We got that all the way to the left, the bottom left hand corner. Donnarumma does not see it and this is 2-2. Ronaldo is feeling different. He's feeling like, he's feeling like prime CR7. Is it gonna be enough though? This is 2-2. Oh man, I went aggressive with Trumini. Neymar. Oh, Neymar just absolutely destroyed me so bad. Oh, I have no defense. I can't defend that. Like, I went in with Trumini. We missed a tackle, and then Neymar destroyed me a second time. Bro, I, I can't defend myself with that. That's just horrible defending. Okay, 3-2 to PSG. Oh, man, we just got demolished. Still got a lot of time left, but we need to have, once again, a very quick response to that. Modric, up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo. He yeah, gets a touch. Okay. Whoa. I mean, that was a tough finish, but I'm not sure that was. He's he's mad. He should be. We expect better right there. All right. That is going to be the first half. So we are down a goal once again. I still feel we, we are in this. We are so in this though. 45 more minutes. That's all we got though. Modric, Trumini into Ronaldo. Ronaldo, get it to Valverde. Valverde into Ronaldo. Wait, that was actually Benzema. I got my players mixed up again. Not even surprised, but that shot was poor. All right. Corner for PSG. Neymar into the box. Ronaldo, good clearance. Benzema, please win that. Benzema. Oh, we don't win that at all. So led. We can't let him score again. Thank you. Good tackle. And we do get it out. Okay. PSG's ball moving right now. They're passing. Looks absolutely insane, but okay. Good tackle, Rudiger. And Modric gets it out. Benzema up to Valverde. Valverde. We hit it to Ronaldo. Oh man, it goes right back to Donnarumma. Okay. We got, we got 20 minutes. Time is running out very quickly. Benzema up top to Ronaldo. Ronaldo goes for the volley. Donnarumma makes the save though. Modric to Ronaldo. Ronaldo shot. Man, he's like the only one getting a good spots to shoot. Oh man, what do we do here? We do make subs. Okay, Kimavenga. And then I think I want Nico Williams on for Valverde. I think we're going to do that. We got eight minutes to score one goal, boys. We need a good corner. It's good. Oh, Donnarumma punches it away though. Corner again. That's good. Come on. Oh, come on. Get it to the corner, please. That's two headers. Please. Just score one. Not again. Okay, that one's clear. Get it to Chumini. Oh, no. I tried to shoot that. I was going to shoot that. Benzema, two. Oh, Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo scores. It's actually 3-3. Three, three. Oh, man. I can't believe it. 88th minute Ronaldo has done it. Oh, man. I can't. I can't believe that. Oh, we were scrambling there looking for a chance. Absolutely scrambling. Nico Williams, though, finds Ronaldo and ties it up. This is 3-3. Three, three. Oh, man. Nico Williams did all the work there. Ronaldo got into once again. He's the one getting the good spots. We have somehow, like, temporarily saved our championship campaign. This is 3-3. Three, three. We got two more minutes of uh, regular time. Neymar into Mbappe. Mbappe turns. Just tackle him, just please. Just foul him, if anything. Rudiger, thank you for that. That is strong tackling. We are going into extra time. Messi versus Ronaldo goes the distance almost. Oh, man, we fought so hard to get back in this. What's going to happen now? Okay, Chumini and Kamavinga are doing a good job of locking their passing lanes, which is helping them not know what to do with the ball, which is good. As long as they keep doing that, we might be in a good spot. Ronaldo's in. Ronaldo is in. Ronaldo. 
Set yourself up. And Ronaldo has scored. It's 4-3 to Real Madrid. Ronaldo is going berserk. I can't believe it. I, I called it. I actually jinxed it. I feel like I'm not even looking for him. He's just finding good spots. I can't believe it. It's 4-3 to Real Madrid. Ronaldo finds a spot, takes his time, and he scores. This is this is far from over, though. 4 3 103rd minute. Oh, boys. Defense looks kind of scrambled here. A little bit. Immobile. Goes back to Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. Okay, Rudiger is coming up with some very big tackles right now. That looks so dangerous. 15 more minutes. Oh, I believe. I believe right now, boys. Come on. Got to close this game out. Okay, whoa. There's like, oh, Nico Williams. Nico, what was that touch? I was about to say there was a lot of holes in their defense there. Come on. Block the passing lanes. That's not blocking them. But Alaba. Oh, is that a penalty? No, it's not. Okay. I was, I was scared. Warner sent in. It's going to be Benzema. Solid clearance, Savage. They're going to try to find someone here. Oh, they're going to find him. They're going to find him Mobile and he's going to score. This is not over. Oh, man. I had a feeling it wasn't. They, they find him Mobile in the box and no one can close him down quick enough. There's like just a perfect amount of space for him to shoot. Like we're not tight enough. We just we just lost concentration. They find him here right there. And like everyone's, I mean, I don't even think we'd close that down if we wanted to. It was just a perfect spot. Perfect distance away from both my center backs. And this is 4-4. We got seven minutes left. Boys. Oh, Nico, Nico, Nico. That's that's two passes and touches that are so bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. He might be like, Alaba. Okay, we're going to... That's desperate defending. That's the definition of it. Okay, I'm going to do... I'm going to do Militao at right back. We're going to do that. And honestly, Nico is having a stinker right now. So, Endrick, I'm sorry. Last minute, we're doing it. Corner sent in. Cleared, I think. Alaba gets it out. Now we're not going to win that, though. This is going to penalties. This is going to a penalty shootout. Messi versus Ronaldo. I can't believe it. Messi hasn't even scored. It's been Ronaldo. It's been the Ronaldo show. This has been prime Ronaldo, but it still might not be enough, or it might be. We're about to find out. Bro, look at the shots. 10 to 2. Oh, it hurts. We should we should be so much more defensively sound. All right, Benzema first. Let's go Ronaldo third. Uh, Rodrigo, no, it's Alba second. Let's do that. Damn, up first. We got to wait an hour for his uh, run up. Come on. First pen. It's got to be a... Oh, he faked me out. I thought he was going right. I totally thought he was going right. All right, Benzema. Need a good penalty from the Ballon d'Or winner. Need it. Need it. And we got it. All right, Cheeto. Immobile is going to go. He goes left. Once again, I thought he was going right. David Alaba. I'm feeling right. I'm feeling right. He's going to be saved. Lionel Messi. Going to go left. Courtois saves it. This is still even. Cristiano Ronaldo. We are going to go. Oh, whoa, the keeper moved so early. Whoa, I'll take that, though. What was that? Second one, right. Pertwal makes the save. Rodrigo, please. Rodrigo, please. Left. Oh, what a bit penalty. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Save this and we knock out PSG. Marco Verratti versus Courtois. Oh, he's actually going to chip me. Really? Okay, I believe it is. Uh, it's Camavinga. Eduardo Camavinga to send us to the Champions League semifinals. I didn't mean go. I did not mean to go down the middle. I am so confused. I was pointing to the right. I promise you and everything. I was pointing to the right. I, I can't believe what I've just seen. Okay, whatever. We, we got to score this. Oh, man. This penalty is so quick. We got it, though. Militao, right. Oh, we survived for now. I can't believe that happened. Hakimi, he's going to go right, right. Okay, chance number two to end this. I'm about to throw up. Oh, man, we got to time it. We got to time it. Timed right. We're going to go right. Oh, thank you. I don't even know who just scored that. I couldn't even see. But oh my, we almost messed it up. We had a chance to seal it. It's actually Endrick. That's who it is. Endrick scores the goal to knock out PSG. Messi's out of here. Ronaldo. Prime Ronaldo has actually won us the game, basically, with the hat trick. Oh, my heart. I really thought I messed it up. I was pointing right with Kamavinga. I think I did it too late to where it went down the middle instead. I cannot believe what just happened, though. Prime CR7 scores a hat trick and sends PSG home. That is unthinkable what just happened right now that is definitely one of the crazier like champions League knockout games i've ever played i think and actually the 4-4-2 it actually kind of worked i can comfortably say that we unlocked prime ronaldo in this episode all right so next episode we set up a very uh, interesting season finale so we got a one point lead in first over barcelona so that's gonna be a, a very close title race um copa del rey final against uh, mallorca and then champions league semis against either liverpool juventus or inter milan oh man it's gonna be it's gonna be so big
big. The choice to sign Ronaldo in episode one, it might have just saved our season, I think. Okay, all of a sudden, Ronaldo has turned into prime CR7. And it's coming at the most important part of this season. Because this episode is the season one finale. We are going for the La Liga title. Currently one point above Barcelona. We also have the Copa del Rey final against uh, Mallorca. And then we just dramatically beat PSG on penalties. So we're into the Champions League semis. Which that will be revealed very, very shortly here. So Vinicius is fit in three weeks. So he could be back for like the end of the season. But I'm not sure how much he'll actually be able to play. We, we are going to see. Can this team right here actually? finish this season with the treble so of course drop a like on the video now especially if you guys want to see a season two of this series if i see a bunch of likes i'll know definitely you guys want to see that and also we're chasing 200,000 subs so hit that sub button down below if you have not instead of dumb freeze you should go for hakimi instead he used to be a madrid player and didn't get enough chances and he has unfinished business yeah so season two if we do a season two we're definitely gonna replace carvajal and i'm for sure thinking either dumb freeze i think hakimi joins him as our potential target so let me know in the comments who you'd rather see us sign is it hakimi or is it Dumfries? I think both would be good. Looking forward to more Prime Ronaldo because it's what Madrid need. Yeah, I mean, last episode he scored two hat tricks, a hat trick to send Messi and PSG home. It was insane. Now, we just gave him a new contract, so he's going to be here for season two. Should we give him an upgrade for season two? Maybe keep him at like 89, 90 overall because we can do that with mods. Or do we just let him drop to like maybe 87, 86? Still try to get the best out of him? I don't know. But he, he's he been so good that I thought maybe season two we would go after a certain striker. That is uh that is Mr. Erling Holland. But now I'm a little bit unsure if we need Holland right now. I mean, is there a situation where Holland and Ronaldo could play the same team with also Benzema? I'm not sure. So let me know what you guys think about that. I think when Ronaldo retires, you should bring his son to replace him. Yeah, so basically what we did in our United crew mode a few months ago. I'm not sure this series is going to be that long where we're going to play after Ronaldo retires. Of course, depends on how much you guys want to see this series continue. But I feel like we just used Ronaldo Jr. in the uh, in the Wolves crew mode. So I'm not sure I want to bring him into this series. I feel like we've already done it twice. So I kind of, I'm not sure I want to do it again. But it's a solid idea though. And if you guys really wanted to see that, I would have no problem with it. It depends as always what you guys want to see. Now, I do know what I want to see. I want to see some trophies. So the first game we play is going to be the Copa del Rey final. First, we got two La Liga games and we only have one point lead. So when you drop points here, it could be the title gone. So game number one, Asasuna. This one is going to be, it's going to be a 2-2 draw. Rodrigo Benzema. What did I just say? Immediately, immediately drop points. And now Barcelona jumping to first. Ah, uh, wonderful. All right, Sevilla next. And now we do have the Copa del Rey, but I think we need to play like a strong team here because now I'm worried about the league. Um, Rodrigo is tired though, so I'll play Nico Williams over him. And I think we go with that. Sevilla is going to be 4-1. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Modric, and Mendy. A brace from Ronaldo. He is just playing like classic Ronaldo right now. So Barcelona win as well. So still one point behind them with five games left. But now Copa del Rey final against Mallorca. We are the heavy favorites here. Okay, our team is absolutely rinse like no one is ready for this okay i'm gonna play should we play cruz i feel like Kimavinga offers much more in terms of like mobility and stuff so i didn't realize uh Chimini was out with the red card so we're gonna miss him but i think i'm gonna do endrick up top with uh ronaldo so benzema starts on the bench ronaldo gets the armband and then let's do militao let's do vardial let's put tony cruz the next uh, sergio ramos on the bench and i think we go with that so it's a little bit rotated but still very strong team like endrick ronaldo starting up top like past and future combo this could be good so we won the super cup we we won the Super Copa as well. So that was two like minor trophies. But now the major trophies begin. And uh, once again, Mallorca, we are the favorites in this game by far. So uh, let's play like it. This is the easiest trophy of the episode. So the trophy I have the most confidence in Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Whoa, we just got taken out. Don't injure Ronaldo. Thank you. He gets up. Every time that happens, I almost like have a heart attack. All right, Valverde. Carvajal. Beautifully time passed, but... I thought it was beautifully timed. I guess not. I mean, Benzema will probably lift any other trophy we win, but if we win this one, it'll be Ronaldo lifting it. So just adds this. This game is special in so many ways, although this is a good start for them. Okay, Militao, please clear it. Just please clear it. We don't clear it. But then Militao just assaults that man in a good way, though. Mendy into Rodrigo. Rodrigo, find Mendy again. Oh, man, I thought the ball would get through. Hey, Mallorca, not, not doing bad here. They're like a newly promoted-ish side, right? They're a bottom table Liga team. This is a weird matchup. But also because of that, it's like a little... I'm a little scared of them. Hendrick to Ronaldo. Ronaldo needs a little bit of help. Ronaldo, get it to Valverde. Get it back to Carvajal. Carvajal into Camavinga. Camavinga into Modric, into Rodrigo. Oh, it's just, so, oh, it's so easy. That was very easy right there. I think Mallorca just showed their true colors because that was pretty simple. Rodrigo scores. All the attention is on Ronaldo and Hendrik and Rodrigo finds that space and he gets an easy score. All right, one nil just like that, 30 second minute. Oh man, oh man, great ball. Courtois, what a save though. That should have been a goal right there. That was a mistake. Okay, Rodrigo, Hendrik. Whoa, Hendrik just timed that beautifully. Brazilian to Brazilian, Hendrik. 
and Drake's gonna take his time and he scores and that's 2-0. Finally, we timed that just absolutely perfect. Rodrigo and Drake got that connection going. Man, I am liking two striker formations this year. Like in the Wolves crew mode, this one, I usually don't like 4-4-2s at all, but this year I'm really liking them. What I don't like is my defending Courtois. Good save. He seems uh, in form for this final. Lofted in. Look at Modric. Dacen clearance. He's 38. He's going to need someone to help him get him up. That's a good shot. Oh, man. Well, awkward balance. Courtois is ready for it, though. Okay. 2 0. We are in control of this right now. We've actually only had like two shots, I think. And we have two goals. That is unusual. I usually take a lot more than that. Just like this. Ronaldo, we're taking a shot. Okay. I guess not. Good ball to Valverde. Valverde. Okay. It didn't get really a touch there. But Kemavinga is having a very strong game. Feels that. Okay. No one's making a run, though. Okay. Ronaldo was just standing there. He was like, you know what, Kemavinga? I'll just let you run. Ronaldo, Luka Modric, Modric into Mr. CR7. CR7 into Endrick. Endrick, all oh, point blank, and he misses. That was pretty close to the keeper, though. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Finesse shot special. Whoa, keeper was uh, not ready for that. Doesn't even grab it. He can only punch it out. Yeah, this is feeling like a lot of control here for us. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Left footed screamer. It's going to go out for a corner. Mallorca not really proven to be that much of a threat. That's a great corner. Can't get to it, and it will be cleared. Carvajal into Endrick. Endrick to Luka Modric. To Rodrigo. Rodrigo, first time crossed. Ronaldo is there, but he can't get it. Oh, Kemavinga, that's beautiful. Kemavinga, from distance, what a shot. All he goes are on run. Man, we are just dribbling around Mallorca every single time. I only got eight minutes left. This game on my quick. A lot of attacking for us. That's a chance, though. Back to Courtois. That might be the nail in the coffin right there. Hendrick to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, not going to get that, but to the keeper. Ronaldo, left footed. Oh, Ronaldo, wasn't his left foot, but it's going to go over the net. You know what? This has been one of the most comfortable, like, cup finals, and that's going to be it. That's going to be a 2 0 win. We scored that second in this game. This game was just done. Copa del Rey final goes to Real Madrid. I mean, always the, the most likely outcome here, though. So, goals by Hendrick, our young superstar, then Rodrigo, another young superstar. And we're going to get to see Ronaldo lift the trophy. I'm not sure we're going to get to see this uh, again in the series at any point. This might might be the only time. And it's very special. Benzema lends him the captain's armband for this game. Ronaldo gets to lift the Copa del Rey trophy for Real Madrid. It's special. It's poetic. It's beautiful. All right. That is now three trophies out of three, but one trophy out of one for the major trophies. We still got La Liga and of course the Champions League. We still got business to do. Okay. Vinicius is back in time for the Champions League and we're about to reveal the semifinals. So it's going to be a rematch. It is Liverpool Real Madrid Champions League semis. It is a rematch of last year's final and there's a lot of history here between these two teams so first leg is at anfield i think we're gonna go back to simming the first leg and then playing the second leg and now vinicius is back what do we do here he's not gonna be ready to play yet but like if we if we reach the final somehow he might actually be ready to play in that one and maybe help finish our la liga season so we're gonna wait and see so liverpool real madrid pretty much a standard liverpool side actually pretty standard plus Pereira right back where's trent at but okay first leg in england at anfield is going to be it's it's gonna be a 1-1 draw okay so nunez benzema we go back Back now to the Bernabeu, and it's basically just a one leg semifinal now. I would have liked the lead, but we don't always get that lucky. Sometimes our luck is worse, so I'll take it. Now, Villarreal, I can't, we're gonna play a rotated team here because I, I gotta have a fit team for the uh, second leg. So let's play Williams, let's play Hendrick. Vinicius is kind of, I feel like he might be close to ready, but I'm not sure he's actually gonna play. Um, Vardy all left back. Let's get uh, Cruz in there, and I think we still go with Vasquez. Cruz, Kamavinga, and I think we go with that. So still Benzema in there. This game is gonna be 3 2. Ronaldo off the bench scores a, a break. And Valverde scores. That is a big win, courtesy of CR7. All right, fitness levels look very good. So back at the Bernabeu, this is to reach the Champions League final. I feel like this team, we're playing good enough. I mean, we knocked out PSG, so I think we're good enough to reach the final. It's just, can we actually do it? Everything comes down to this. Liverpool, it's 1-1, basically nil-nil. A rematch of last year's final in the semis. This is going to be a little bit interesting. They seem like they're moving a bit different. I'm seeing some, uh, some speed. Diaz, Diaz, we can't let him get free because he is very quick. Nabby into Fabinho. Going over, try to mark this. Hendo goes back to Fabinho. Good shot, Courtois. Good save. That was a far shot from Fabinho. Salah cross in, Courtois. He's got that comfortably. Rodrigo, ball over the top to Mendy. Okay, we got a cross here, maybe. See Benzema. Benzema. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What kind of cross is that? To Rodrigo. Rodrigo, finesse shot. Rodrigo. It's the. Oh, we hit the post. What a finesse shot. That went in. That would have been an insane first goal, but Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Can he get a shot away? Oh, Van Dyke blocks it. It's Van Dyke versus Ronaldo and Benzema. Ronaldo in here. Ronaldo back to Benzema. 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 Okay, that was Van Dyke stopping Ronaldo. Then he just stopped uh, Benzema. But our fullbacks have both made very good tackles. Okay, Valverde, let's chill here. Chill. It's Ronaldo, though. Great ball. Ronaldo back to Carvajal. Carvajal cross to Benzema. Whoa, gets to him. Oh, the finish, though, is not at all we wanted. I think he was surprised that ball went through. Ball to Nunez. Nunez back heel to Diaz. Diaz, I'm looking for that shot. I'm looking for it. Chumini. Chumini. 
Too many. That is just strong defending. Valverde. Great ball to Benzema. Benzema. We got Ronaldo. Goes to Rodrigo instead. Oh, Rodrigo. How do we miss that? Wait a second. How do we actually miss that? Oh, I, I don't think Ronaldo's missing that. I wanted it to go to Ronaldo. Oh, that, that should be a goal. Or at least we are creating some chances here. Valverde. Into Benzema. Benzema. Beat it. Ronaldo. Ronaldo's in. Ronaldo's not, he's not gonna miss. He is in form right now. He's playing so well, and it's it's 1-0 to Real Madrid. Benzema Ronaldo combining. Benzema gets another assist. Ronaldo, you, you can't give him that much space. Alright, one goal lead on Liverpool basically for halftime. Okay, Henderson, Hendo. Hendo crosses it. Mendy. Good interception. That was almost Nunez. And that right there is the first half. All right. One goal lead. 45 more minutes. I feel like we created more chances, so I feel like I'm feeling decently confident here. Ronaldo. Why not from distance? Ronaldo. Whoa. That almost looked like it was going in. I feel like Allison was way too casual. Like, this wasn't that far off, I don't think. Was it? That's not that far off. All right. Ball goes to Navi. Chumini. Can't mark him. There's a lot of passing here. Goes back to Salah. Oh, I went, why would I do that? I tried, I thought he was in his shoot, so I tried blocking it. You see the little, like, twitchy movements? How am I supposed to predict that? Okay, game is tied up. We gotta relax, though. I thought he was in his shoot, like, right here. Right there, I thought he was in his shoot, but... Oh, the little, like, whatever he did, like, he went his footer on the ball, then brought it back to the right. Oh, okay, that was, that was pretty, that was pretty disgusting, actually. All right, 2-2. Two, two. Everything is chill. We, uh, we still got a lot of game left. Ronaldo to Rodrigo. Rodrigo holds it up for a second. All the way to Carvajal. Carvajal cuts inside. Carvajal. Get it to Benzema. Beautiful Benzema. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo turns Van Dyke. Turns him. Turns him again. Ronaldo shoots. Oh, he's just in form. Ronaldo's playing absolutely insane right now. He's got two, and that is a one goal lead restored. How is he playing this well right now? He is a man possessed. Look at this. He just does all himself. On Van Dyke. Turns, gets the shot away. I think it's Van Dyke, right? No, it's not. It's actually, uh, I can't even see. No matter what, it's still a great finish. A little bit of silly, and we got a one goal lead again. We got like 30 more minutes, even less than that. Yes, to Nunez. Nunez. What a ball. What a ball. What a ball. I'm not doing the same thing. I'm not doing the same thing, but I let Hendo get space, and this is 3-3. I got no excuse. I, I could have defended this better. I just, I thought he was going to, like, I always think they're going to go to the other side that they actually do. Ball into Hendo. I took control Alaba. It's just a good left-footed shot. It's like my low-driven shots. Okay, goal is canceled out immediately. Ronaldo's on a hat-trick again. He's, not a, he's got a brace right now, and this is tied up. Oh, no. Why does everything feel like it's shifting a little bit? Ronaldo. Dink up to Benzema. Benzema, good touch. He's just being swarmed, though. Oh, what a pass to Ronaldo. In to Luka Modric. It's going to be blocked. I wish it was opposite. I wish that was into Ronaldo. What is this pass to Salah? Are you joking me? Like, what is that pass? Salah. Salah. Going to cut it back to Nunez. Thankfully, Mendy is ready for it, though. We got 10 minutes left. Ben oh, Ronaldo's going to be soft side. I pressed the pass so early. It was so delayed, actually. Okay, I think Valverde to the midfield. And then Nico Williams on at right wing. Let's do that. As Liverpool bring on Diogo Jota. Williams. To Benzema Williams. This is what I brought you on for, kind of. Because of that electric pace. Now cross it in. Oh, man, Ronaldo. Not in the greatest spot for that cross. All to Diaz. We have numbers, though. We should be chill. Rudiger. 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 Solid, solid defending. We got a minute left. We don't score here. It's going to extra time. Although, Ronaldo got a little bit of space. Ronaldo. I'm shooting this. I'm sorry. Okay. I felt that in my in my heart that that was going in. For some reason, I felt it so strongly. I think that'll at least uh, force extra time. So once again, a Champions League knockout uh, tie that is going the distance to extra time. My heart can't take much more of this. All right, Ronaldo. Good ball to Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Man, that's good defending by. Okay, they got they got Frimpong, dude. They got Pereira, Trent, Frimpong. What are they? The England national team with all these right backs? Diaz, Carvajal. Carvajal kind of missed the tackle there, but it's fine. Diaz, okay, he made up for it. And this we, this game felt kind of comfortable at points, but all of a sudden it doesn't. Gonna be handball, but it's gonna fall to Diaz. Diaz does a move. Oh, Courtois, what a save. Man, that move by Diaz was just nasty. Corner sent in by Salah. Great corner, but great corner. Courtois is going to grab it, though. I believe that is that is the first half of extra time. Not much happening. I'm not sure I can take another penalty shootout. I'm not sure. I would like to finish this right now. Too many into Benzema. Oh, okay. That was, okay, thank you. That actually works. Mendy gives it off to Valverde. Valverde gives it. Okay, that goes Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Holding off. Oh, man. I should have passed to someone else. Patience was needed there. Ronaldo feels so informed. I just feel like he's going to score from everywhere right now. All right, Salah. Stop. Mendy. Mendy. Whoa. We just went for a dolphin dive. What was that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Arter. He's in. Arter. Okay, we, we blocked the pass. We blocked it. No, we didn't. Alaba. What an acrobatic block. Okay, we only have two minutes. Ronaldo. Wait for Benzema. 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 Oh, he's still on side. Benzema. Benzema. The Ballon d'Or winner is going to shoot. Oh, that was a chance to win it. He actually got so well. Just the angle wasn't the best. Okay, we can make subs right now for uh, penalties. So should we do that? So crew 72. 
Definitely want to bring Cruz on for Chumini then. Camavinga is 62. Valverde has 59. Okay, so that's the two subs that have better penalties, I think. So we're going to do that. I think we're going to a penalty shootout. Unless we score right here, which is possible. Final kick of the game. It is going to be a big moment for Ronaldo. Cross sent in. It is to Alaba. Alaba gets to it, but it's going to be over the net. This is going once again to a penalty shootout. I can't take the absolute stress of this. All right, so our top five penalty takers all in the 70s. That's a solid. Uh, I'm going to go Benzema first. Let's do Alaba second, Ronaldo third. Let's do that. Oh, man, this is it. I'm scared. To reach the Champions League final, Benzema up first. Ballon d'Or winner, Benzema. First one is going to be a save. Courtois, Fabinho. He get, he's going to go not left. He goes down the middle. All right, we got to score this. Alaba, please. Alaba, we're going left. Allison reads me both times. Salah, Courtois, please. Salah, he did the same thing. Oh, I can't take this. Okay, come on, boys. If we sharpen up here, we'll be fine. Ronaldo scores his penalty. We got to save this. We got to save this right here. Firmino, he's going he's gonna to power it left. Oh, no, Rodrigo, he's got to score this. If we miss, we're out. If we miss, we are done. Rodrigo, left. We stay. We survive for one more penalty. Come on, we got to save this. We got to save it. Oh, Courtois, what a save. His, his head was in the net. What a save. Tony Cruz to keep our hopes alive again. Tony Cruz, we are going top right. Top right, please. Top right. We stay alive. Okay, if they score this, they win. We got to save another one. It is Diogo Jota. If we save this, we are... We are, sir, we are safe. We are not, though. Jota scores. We're knocked out. I thought he was going left. His head looked like he was going left. Oh, I can't believe that. We actually almost came back. It was a horrible start, but I thought we came back. We don't, though. I actually can't believe it. It was a good penalty, too. Knocked out in the semis by Liverpool. That makes me actually so mad. That game was... We could have actually won that. So, I guess no Champions League trophy in Season 1. Man, Benzema and Alaba, those first two pens just set us up so badly. Credit to Allison. I think he just read us. Oh, man, that hurts so bad. Our season has felt so good, but just all of a sudden, we have been brought back down to earth. Okay, so Copa del Rey, and now it's just uh, La Liga left. That's it. And we got four games left, and we're still one point behind Barcelona. Wait, no, we're actually above them. So, last game, we won, and I think they drew. Okay, so we four games left. We control our destiny. That's good. Oh, they drew two Hirona. Okay, four games left. We have to win this league title now. If we lose out on this, it'll be such a disappointment. It already is. Okay, first of four is Celta Vigo. This one is going to be 3-2 Ronaldo Valverde and uh, Ronaldo with another brace. Very close, but it's a win. So Barcelona have won that game and their next game. So they're two points ahead, but we got a game at hand though. Win this, we jump back into first with two games left. Almeria is a team that we should beat. This one is going to be 4-1. Williams, Benzema, Benzema, and Ronaldo. Uh, by the way, I think Vinicius is fully back now. So I think he will take Lobotka's spot on the bench for now. Man, if we had him at, at like full strength, full stamina, maybe we beat Liverpool a little bit easier, but penalties feel just like such a 50-50. Oh, it just absolutely hurts though. So, second last game is Real Betis. This game is going to be 3-2. What are all these 3-2 wins? Alaba, Ronaldo. Ronaldo with another brace. I can't believe it. But if Barcelona won, that means it goes down in the final day with us with a one-point lead. Which that is, that is how it's going to be. Okay, so it goes down to the final day. If we lose, Barcelona probably win the title. They face uh, Bilbao, a tougher team than we're facing. I think we're facing Girona, yeah. So, if we win, we confirm us winning the title. Lose, it could go to our fierce rivals. And after not winning the Champions League... This needs to be a win. I think this game, Vinicius is back. I'm starting him. I got to do it. So we're going with uh, the same lineup, actually. Man, Modric is down to 85. That, that makes me sad to see. Well, we go with the same lineup. One more game to just secure at least uh, the domestic double this season in season one. Okay, we are facing Hirona, a team that we we are the favorites here. Barcelona got it tougher. They're facing Bilbao. It doesn't mean the game is going to be easy, though. Now, Real Madrid, their team that aims to win the Champions League every year. So the fact that we didn't is already a big disappointment. We can't add another to that. By losing the title to Barcelona, this is where champions prove that they are, in fact, champions. Whoa, Benzema, that thing had some uh, some pace to it. Benzema to Valverde. Valverde sees Benzema. That pass wasn't lifted enough, though. Okay, we got a free kick, but Ronaldo, Ronaldo, you're not shooting this. I'm sorry. Okay, let's pass that off. Modric to Rudiger, we know he we know he can shoot sometimes. Okay, Rudiger. Okay, no, he actually can't. I've seen compilations of him shooting long shots and then like going into the outside the stadium, but he just scored a banger. That's like our first goal we've actually scored them this season in the most important game. Or maybe the second most important game, but you know what I mean. Rudiger, what a shot. Good start to this must-win game. Come on, this team's gotta be fired up after uh getting knocked out of the Champions League. They gotta be some fight in us. Alaba. Great tackle. Oh, again, Alaba. That's two back-to-back -back good tackles, and he doesn't keep it in, though. Into Romeo Alaba. Man is defending like a crazy person right now. Vinicius, I mean, I don't know what his uh, sharpness is, but I feel like he hasn't played in so long. He's starting a big game. Is that a bad decision? Vinicius to Benzema. Who is hurt? I didn't even notice that. I think that literally just happened. Bendy good steal. Okay, we're starting this game off with the right mentality. Ronaldo can't find Benzema. Ronaldo keeps it, though. 
Ronaldo keeps it through to Vinicius. Vinicius cuts inside to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, it's going to be blocked. I had a good feeling that was a goal. I guess not. Vinicius to Ronaldo finesse shot. Oh, man. I feel good about that one. Now, I hope Benzema does not have to be taken off because that would be sad. Ronaldo to Modric into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. We find Benzema. Yes, we can. He heads it, but it's going to be right to back to the keeper. Uh, Benzema looks fine, which is very good. I don't want this to be one of those games where we're defending a one-goal lead. This needs to be one of those games where we're defending a two-goal lead, a three-goal lead, something like that. Ronaldo just lost it, though. All right, space for Hirona. They haven't played great, but they haven't even played bad either. And they're about to score. Oh, what a what an interception. Actually, clearance by uh, Rudiger. That just saved a goal. Wait, uh... Yeah, that must have went off the Hirona player. Man, that looked like it was goal preventing, though. We, this stays 1-0. On um, halftime, Barcelona's 0-0 with Bilbao, so that's good for us. But I'm not relying on Bilbao. I feel like Barcelona's still going to win, so we need to win our game. We are in control of our own destiny. Modric, Modric into Ronaldo. Back to Modric, Modric. Get it to Vinicius. Oh, man, that ball almost got through. I think I'm going to take Vinicius off soon because I feel like his, his sharpness is not that high. Ronaldo. Ronaldo again. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. I formally send in my apology. Although, Ronaldo again. Ronaldo. He's going to be in. Ronaldo. Volley. Oh, Ronaldo. That volley was so bad. I expected like a golazo there. Modric cross in. It's Alaba, but not a great header though. Drew many up to Modric. He's probably taking off soon for Kemavinga. I feel like Kemavinga and Trumini are such a good like midfield combo. Now Vinicius. We got no support into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Hold it up. Get it to Modric. Calling for it. Modric to Trumini. Trumini. Oh, what a shot. Oh, man, that skimmed the that skimmed the roofing of the net. Just sometimes you feel a shot like you feel it in your heart. You feel it going in. Okay, let's do that. Let's do Rodrigo for Vinicius, not Vardy. Let's do that. I'm not comfortable until this is 2-0. We still got 25 minutes left, and it's only 1-0. Rodrigo into Ronaldo. Bends him up, bends him away for one of them. Goes to Rodrigo. Rodrigo cuts inside, cuts inside, but he can't keep it. Composure needs to be kept. Alaba, good tracking there, and we get the ball out. Alaba has been so strong this game, so composed. Good ball, though. Alaba again. Alaba. Alaba, look at him. He is leading this defense right now. We got nine minutes and still a one goal lead. What did I say? I don't want to do this. Ronaldo, great dribbling into Rodrigo. Okay, let's, let's work this around. Find a good chance. Benzema to Ronaldo. Ronaldo could have played it there. Ronaldo. Oh, man, I should have waited again. We're playing nervous now. I can feel it. They score a goal. We lose the title pretty much. Okay, Nico Williams on for uh, Valverde. Let's do let's do that. We got one minute. We got to throw in. All we got to do is now at this point, just not lose the ball and we'll be a lot of good champions. Two out of minutes. Carval, probably his last game for us. Holds it. Benzema, cross in to Rodrigo. It's going to be cleared. Volley attempt. What was that? I don't know what it was, but we have survived. Why was this game so tough? 1-0. We have won La Liga. It feels like that should have been so much more convincing, but we just couldn't make it more convincing. So Rudiger's screamer, like his only goal of the season, allows us to win La Liga. Let's talk about a very weird circumstance. But honestly, it feels like we've been the team in first, like for most of the season. Like I feel like we've been the team in first for the most days. So Barcelona caught up, but it's not going to be enough. We are going to win the La Liga trophy. So we settle for Copa del Rey, La Liga. I would have loved Champions League more than this, but couldn't quite do it. Penalties are penalties. So if we do a season two, if you guys want to see it, that is what we go for, the Champions League trophy for sure. But for now, Benzema gets the lift. A lot like a trophy. That thing looks heavy. He's holding it like it's it's made out of, like made out of foam, like it's plastic. Benzema is a strong man. I think to win the Champions League, there's going to be, there's going to have to be some big changes here at the squad. Like maybe some old players leaving and also maybe some old players staying like Ronaldo. Who knows? But season one will be Copa del Rey and La Liga. We, uh, we settle for that. Okay, very quick top four. Barcelona, Let it go and Villarreal. Real. Going down Mallorca, Girona, and Almeria. So Copa del Rey, Real Madrid. Um, Champions League is going to be, it's going to be Liverpool. So they went on penalties barely, by the way. And then they go on to beat Juventus. I mean, it is what it is. Europa League is won by Barcelona. So they get the Europa League. Conference League United. Okay, some big teams winning uh, some not so big trophies. So the top score of La Liga is going to be Lewandowski with 28. Ronaldo, though, in third with 20 at 38 years old. That's pretty good. Uh, Benzema leads the league in assists, too. Uh, final stats. Ronaldo actually becomes the top scorer of the club. So he missed like maybe two months and he caught up to Benzema still. Benzema 27 and 27 though. He's got a bit of a different role, but you see what we missed. Vinicius 21 goals still, even though he missed uh three months. We missed him so much. But Rodrigo 14 and 9 solid, Valverde 8 and 8, Endrick 8 and 3. Yeah, he deserves a solid upgrade for season two. I'm thinking like 75, 76 maybe. But okay, that is that is the season. Penalty shootout was so close, it just hurt so bad. Okay, season one, we won La Liga and the Copa del 
Ray Trophy. But we missed out on the Champions League, just barely losing in the semis against uh, Liverpool on penalties. So, so close, the trouble just couldn't get it done though. Now, season two begins. We got new kits, we got new upgrades, and we're also gonna have some very interesting new signings because I think for this team to win the Champions League, I feel like we need to get a little bit better, just a little bit. And then also we never wanna be healthy too. Now the problem is to keep things realistic, we have modded our budget to be much less, much more realistic. We're not gonna have like three and a million from the start. So it's gonna force us to be smart and also make some very good uh, transfer decisions too. This season we are going for the Champions League. So drop a like if you guys wanna keep seeing this as a daily series. And of course also with that sub button down below if you have not. First comment, when Modric retires, sign his regen. Also next season upgrade him as he's playing a crazy good at the moment. Yeah, so Modric not retired yet. This might be his final season, it might not be. I don't even know. But we have gave him a slight upgrade, a uh, plus one to 86. I feel like 86 kind of like a realistic uh, overall for how he played in season one. So I think it kind of makes sense. If Ronaldo had a season like that IRL, I think FIFA will keep his rating at 90. Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect Ronaldo to be that good in this series. He was actually like amazing. So we've made him a 90 overall again. So 88 to 90. So that'll make him, uh, that'll make him stay pretty good for a little bit longer. And you might also notice his appearance has a bit changed. We will touch upon that later. So we need to sign a new right back. That is like a thousand percent confirmed. Hakimi will be better because he has good pace and some decent dribbling. Yeah, so I think pretty much our right back targets are either going to be, it's going to be Dumfries or it's going to be Hakimi. It's going to be one of those two. I'm pretty sure. I'm just not sure who yet. Because we also got to take into account our budget. I mean, I'm not sure we could even afford Hakimi right now. Maybe barely. So it's going to force it to be a lot tougher making signings and also might have to sacrifice uh, some players too to get the budget up, which some players we're looking to sell might be a bit controversial here. So we got to figure that out. We got to make that decision before preseason starts because by that date of July 22nd, I want to have either Hakimi and Dumfries into the team or preseason. All right. First thing we do though is go over the squad because there might be some big changes here. So Courtois absolutely staying. Now we might switch formation and that might mean Mendy loses his starting spot, but I'm not sure yet. Um, center backs, Rudiger, Alaba, Vardial, Militao, and then Tony Cruz, the next Sergio Ramos. I feel like out of Rudiger, Alaba, and Militao, if we want to do what we want to do, we might have to sacrifice one of those three. Um, Carvajal was very solid last season, but I think he's one player we can really improve that position. So he's going to be sold 1000%. And Vasquez, he might get sold too. I'm not sure. Now midfield, Chumini, Valverde, Modric, Tlobotka, Kimavinga. Those are like my solid uh, for sure mids. Now, Tony Cruz, I am not sure about. We might look to sell him. That might be controversial, but he could bring in some money. And I feel like I'd rather play mostly all his other mids over him. So I'm not sure it makes sense to actually keep him. Um, Brahim is back from AC Milan. I'm not sure if we should keep him. I feel like we should probably sell him. I mean, he'd bring in like 35 million. And that could be useful. But then again, he could also play a part this season. So uh, I'm not sure about him. And then wingers, Nico Williams, Vinicius, Endrick, and Rodrigo. And then two strikers, Ronaldo and Benzema. So I would say first thing we need to do is sell Carvajal. That's like step number one. I literally advanced one day and this has already happened. Villarreal have paid military's release clause. That is 122.2 million. Wait, what is his value? Doesn't that sound like an insane amount? What is Militao's value? 77. I mean, that's that's 50 over his value. Like if we were trying to sell him, could we actually get that much? That's a lot. I mean, Villarreal going big. Oh man, okay. Now we got to decide. I feel like Rudiger Alaba both played really good last season. Alaba could play left back in the midfield too. I want Tony Cruz to be either third choice or fourth choice, probably fourth. Cause I want Vardy, I'll be third choice center back. So I was thinking it's gotta be either Rudiger or Militao to sell. And honestly, Rudiger played decent last season. I do like Rudiger a lot. So, oh man, Militao might be gone. That is, that's a lot of money though. And now Chelsea won Carvalho. You know what? Probably not the worst move for him. So if we could get like 40, that's like almost 160 million brought in, which will be insanely useful. Uh, let's try 42.5. I mean, that's a lot of money for a player like that, to be honest. I don't think he's going to grow that much more in this series. 36, even that sounds decent. Let's go 38 and you got yourself a deal. And they do accept that. So Carvalho might be on his way to the Premier League with Chelsea. These are some two big departures if they actually happen or not. Okay, so Carvalho's first one to leave. He is going off to Chelsea. That's a solid move for him though. Like he gets to go play in the Prem. I'm happy for him. Also, of course, helps out the budget a decent amount. Now, what about Militao? Oh, Militao. Oh, he's gone. Militao is gone. Military. For being 87 rated, I feel like he didn't impress me as much as he should at that rating. Like Rudiger played, I think, better than him. So I do feel sad about selling him, but I feel like to do what we want to do in this transfer window, he's a player that just had to be sacrificed. But 122 million, that is so much more than his value. Apparently that's an F. Bro, that's that's such a good deal. So now our budget is looking like 229 million. What did I say before? 160? I was totally wrong. I was adding up wrong numbers in my head. Now our budget looks a lot more realistic, but we've sacrificed a really good center back. Like you have to lose a lot 
lot more to actually bring in the players you want. I, th I think I like doing this and we're probably going to do it for all the other series too. But okay, now that Carvalho is gone, next step is a right back. I think Reese James, didn't really talk about him much. Uh, Pedro Poto, not much either. I think it's either Dumfries or Hakimi. So Dumfries has been like our biggest target, I would say. But last two episodes, there have been a lot of comments about Hakimi. And I mean a lot. I mean, they're both kind of, I mean, obviously Hakimi, I think is better. He's younger. He's better, more expensive though. Man, he's got 79 finishing. That is nuts. He could, he's like Valverde almost can play anywhere. If I'm being completely honest, like there were some comments from Dumfries, definitely some support of that signing, but I just clearly saw more of Hakimi. I saw more people wanting us to bring him back to Real Madrid in this series. So if the price makes sense, I think we're going to go with Hakimi. If it makes sense though, like let's see if we can get a deal. I'm going to start with 78.5. They're going to want more. I'm sure of it, but that's a solid deal if we can get it. 78.5. They are, okay, they're just going to walk away. They think we're not serious. He, he's going to cost a lot. But honestly, he's so well-rounded and I have a plan why he might be the better player for us. Also, yes, we're going to show off our new kids very soon, which I would say they look pretty clean. You see the home kid a little bit. Okay, Akimi attempt number two. So, I mean, if he just sort of walked away at 78, like, what do we start with? I feel like we're going to start with maybe, maybe like 88. Let's do 88.5. He might tell us like 110, 120, really. Let's start with that and 111. Okay, that makes more sense why he walked away. That's a lot of money, but it is Akimi though. We we might switch our formation and playing style, which I think if we do, he literally might be the perfect player for that switch. So I think 107.5, it might be worth spending that much. Um, let's let's be smart. Let's try 104, just a little bit. It all adds up in the end. 104.5 they accept that 104 million for Akimi. I mean, Dumfries would be a lot cheaper, but I think Akimi is just that much better, to be honest. And once again, way more comments about Akimi. So I think first signing of season two is it'd be an absolute huge one for 104 million, maybe. So he only played uh, nine times for Real Madrid in that short little spell. So let's maybe 175. Let's do that. Obviously, he's going to play a lot more if he accepts this offer. And he does. So Akimi is signing number one of season two. That is a humongous upgrade for that right back spot. And he's so well rounded. If, if we do what I'm thinking, he could be an absolutely just perfect signing for this team right now. By the way, the home kit. Ooh, that thing is clean. That is absolutely clean. So you guys let me know what number should we give Akimi? I feel like number two probably makes sense, you know, being a right back. So I think we'll leave him on that for now. But Akimi is back at Real Madrid. Also just took a large chunk of our budget too, though. We are left with 115 million. Okay, I'm just not realizing I, I made Ronaldo 90. He's already down to 88. Wait, what? Um, Is Modric? Modric is the same 85 too. What is what has happened here? I mean, did they go down that fast? They can't. They couldn't have. Okay, I'll fix that for the next episode. I'll make Ronaldo 90, then Modric probably 86 87 speaking of Ronaldo though you've seen it already he's got the noodle hair again after an amazing season one he has turned back the clock all the way to the noodle hair okay we gotta get a closer look though he has turned into classic Ronaldo and now he actually looks like him I believe the noodles will serve us well this season I believe that but the big reason I wanted Hakimi I think too along with you guys is because I think we're switching our style this season I am heavily thinking about this being our new formation now we did use this in the Wolves crew mode we're using it in the Venezia series too this is honestly like the best formation of FIFA I think right now and it especially suits the players we have. I think the defense will be stronger with the back three of Vardial, Alaba, and Rudiger. And then midfield two of Chumini and then Valverde. And this way we get Ronaldo with a strike partner up top, which we know he plays better with. Like less pace, Vinicius over plays there, can drag defenders away. Ronaldo goes in and he scores. And also I feel Benzema was much better at Cam than he was as a strike partner with Ronaldo. Like a little bit deeper, Benzema was a lot better, more like a false nine. And then I think Rodrigo would start on the left, but Mendy could play there. Also, Nico Williams could play there, Endrick. And then Hakimi is literally the most perfect, like, wing back in the game i think so that signing is so big can go forward can defend has 79 finishing can score he can literally just do anything so i really like the way this looks but there is also something else we could do and that is play vinicius on the left wing instead of rodrigo and then for a strike partner up top with cr7 ronaldo in rodrigo's spot do you know what i'm already about to say what if we somehow signed erling holland to play in that striker spot so it'd be vinicius on the left wing left mid spot and then ben's mccam and then holland and ronaldo up top to Together. That might be the craziest idea that I've ever had for like a team in a series. And I'm heavily thinking about it. The only issue is the man is extremely, extremely expensive. So we would have to raise that money somehow. So I bet he would, I bet he costs like 200, 205, 210 at least. And we only have 117. So we're missing about 100 million. So we'd have to somehow make that. Now I think options, we could maybe sell Rodrigo. I mean, maybe. I don't want to, but he's very expensive. Could probably get that money for us. I think we are going to try to sell Vasquez for sure. And he is 16. So that'll help a little bit or actually 18. So maybe 20 there. There, and then I think 20 Cruz as well. I, I kind of want to sell him. So 20, 50, 70. We would need probably like another 60 million to be safe. Um, Brahim could be like 35. So that leaves like another 30. So it's doable. We didn't, we have to sell maybe like 
three or four players though and if there's one big player that i see here above like benzema that i'd be willing to part with it might be rodrigo it might be although i would love to keep him too now holland is an option that we would go with just go all out crazy but we could do something a little bit more tame than that and that is literally play vinicius up top rodrigo on the left and just go with that that still would be solid i think but just the prospect of having ronaldo holland and then benzema behind them oh man it's it's very very enticing so you guys let me know should we go after Erling Holland? I am I am so unsure. I've seen comments saying don't do it. I've seen comments saying do go for Holland. I would say Mbappe is a target, but we signed him in Liverpool series for one episode. I kind of don't want to sign Mbappe again. Although he would be actually a bit cheaper than Holland. I mean, apparently he'd be cheaper, although it doesn't really make sense. I guess Mbappe is actually an option, but I can't see him leaving Neymar and Messi behind. Even though he almost did. I'm not sure. I'm very unsure. I think Holland is still a player I want in this team. Is just right now the time. And do we sacrifice like four or five good players to sign him and just go all out? I'm very unsure sure but you guys let me know what to do to make this team a champions league winning team again okay this might be realistic actually ac milan juan brahim i think this sounds like what's mostly gonna happen in real life i think uh i mean he's only 8 one overall we have a lot of midfielders already if i can get upwards of like maybe 50 million for him i would totally do it like let's try 50 50 million i would totally do that they, they want 47 maybe though no okay 50 million for brahim that's like 15 over his value i i'll take that that could be very helpful so he might have to be used in another series because i wanted to use him for a while but this might not be the right series for that all right now valencia one Vasquez I think since we're if we play 352 we don't need him and also Spurs want Tony Cruz for 48.5 now since it's Cruz I'm gonna ask for like 60 we gotta be smart here he's a great player he's going down though we got a lot of good center mids we're gonna start with 63 they might walk away but I want to get a lot for Cruz as much as we can 63 million 49.4 uh Conte that's like nowhere near what I asked for um 55 million I mean that would put us at 210 that's kind of actually Holland range now I'm thinking about it 55 million 47 wait did he just go down to 49.8 do i just accept that 49.8 because i mean that is a, that's that's a solid offer for a player who's 33 years old i'm doing it i'm doing it oh man i'm doing it i i hate selling tony cruz but it's gonna help us a lot if we want to do another deal so we got kemavenga we got Lobotka. We got a lot of mids that are playing ahead of a moderate to be on the bench, I think. So it might just be another sad sacrifice. And now Vasquez, he was actually really good for us last year. So I'm going to see if I can get like 29. 29 for Vasquez is a good amount. And okay, they're going to walk away. I would like to keep him because he's, he's a good squad player. I think I'll only sell him if I have to. But Cruz and Brahim might actually uh, get us the funds for a potential Holland deal, even though it sounds insane. But okay, first game of the season, we got Espanol. And then we got Cadiz, I believe. It is time to show off these, these new kits. Also, while you guys ask for the sliders i show them at the start of every season so we got ultimate player base difficulty on these are the cpu sliders like one pass error 57 sprint speed uh injury sliders are same for the user and cpu and then 10 first touch control error for the cpu and then user is pretty much all default other than marking and the injury sliders that's what we use it makes it so even when we use a good team it's still very difficult so you already saw the new home kit it's got like that purple trimming with the collar and then the socks it's still like the classic all white but it's got a little flair to it a little bit of color and then that is the away kit so it's got like a black design with it's like a lot of orange trimming and an orange orange like pattern on the shirt once again it's just incredibly clean and then the third kit might be my favorite it's like a very it looks like a classic design to me it's got like all types of shades of blue it's got like a sick shirt design that's got like the white stripes it looks it looks clean it's very different i like a third kit being a bit different so this time i'd make these but i still think i still think they're clean kits first one though we gotta wear the all white we gotta wear that to start the season of course so for now i think we're gonna start vinicius up top with ronaldo see how this works out see if benzema still plays great and then rodrigo for now starts as a left winger we'll do that so it's akimi's re debut for Real Madrid. A potential Holland signing is on the on the horizon and we'll see how we do in game number one. I feel like it's the Thanos meme from Infinity War. Like what do your failures bring you all the way back to me? The 3-5-2 formation being Thanos. I mean to be fair we get a strike partner with Ronaldo. We got Benzema at Cam. We got a three-man back line of Alaba. Vardial starting and then Rudiger. It sounds like it makes so much sense. We'll see if it works in game numero uno. I mean, hey, everyone, uh, when Ronaldo signed for Real Madrid, everyone thought just one final swan song, but he's turned out to be one of our best players. So, season two, he's one year older. What do we got, Hakimi? Two Benzema. Almost going number one immediately. And an assist for uh, Hakimi. Benzema to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, find the cross. That was actually a decent cross. Not going to find him, though. It's going to be Benzema. Benzema volley. It's going to be off the foot of an Espanol player. Kimi, man, he is going to be such a good right back. He's, I feel like I can't remember using him. It's been a while. Good ball to Benzema. Benzema might score the first goal of the season. He does. Okay, the space opened up and Benzema takes advantage. 1-0 to Real Madrid just like that. This time it was Vinicius dropping deep and then Benzema almost, almost playing like a backup striker. Or a second striker, I mean. How many like people 21? This was my favorite formation, and I feel like last year it wasn't that great. This year, though, I think it's pretty good again. Oh, that shot was not good, though. And I feel like the three at the back might help our defensive issues from last year. I mean, our defense didn't play bad. I just felt it did feel a little bit inconsistent. Akimi through to Vinicius. 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 
Oh, okay, what was that? I don't know, but it works. Oh, Keeper makes a great save, though. Get it back to Akimi. Akimi, whip it in. Oh, outside the boot cross from Akimi. That was a little bit disgusting. Also, I'm curious to see how Endrick plays with his upgraded stats, because, I mean, he was so good last year. Now he's upgraded. He could be even better. I mean, he should be better. Akimi to Vinicius. Vinicius through to CR7. Maybe his first goal of season two. It's his first goal. He's got the noodle hair. We got OG Ronaldo in here, prime CR7, and he continues scoring. This has been a very strong start. We are, we are total in control of this game right now. This time, Vinicius. Man, Ronaldo just plays so much better when he's got someone level with him. I feel like it's because he can't do everything himself as a striker, like a, a lone striker right now for us. But when he's got a strike partner, it unlocks Ronaldo. I believe that's two assists uh, for Vinicius, too. Okay, Akimi just steals like it's nothing. Vinicius loses it, but Akimi collects it. Ronaldo, Ronaldo goes for the header. Oh man, Ronaldo, what a header. I kind of wanted the volley, but he went, he went with the header. Short corner, it's going to be to Valverde. Valverde dinking, man, not a bad idea. Gets it to Chouamini shoots and it's 3-0. Okay, we are running rampant on opening day of La Liga. It's something about the 3-5-2, it just, it just works. We are facing Espanyol, a team we should beat, but it just feels so strongly. We are starting the season off with the absolute best mentality. Do we even need Holland? That's the question right now. Is Hakimi enough for us to win the Champions League? Do we actually need Erling Holland? Get it to it. Oh, Vinicius. Man, ref, why do you blow the whistle? That was about to be another goal. I felt it. Reno first half start of the season, though. That's that's pretty good. Now, let's just keep it up. Ronaldo, Benzema, Benzema. Now, we've got two players ahead of him. Finds the pass to CR7. CR7. Oh, we dragged it wide. Ronnie, I don't expect that from you. You score. You were scoring these 10 times at a 10 last season. Is that a sign of a decrease there for the 38, almost uh, probably 39 year old? Vinicius, Ronaldo, second chance. Ronaldo, okay, that's gonna be, that was a far shot though. Vinicius, cross in, I believe that's Benzema, Benzema, and that's gonna be 4-0. What a strong start to season two. See, I, I feel like Benzema's gonna play better at cam, but we also play better with two strikers. We get we get the best of everything in this formation right now. I sound like a 3-5-2 merchant. You know what? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm a 3-5-2 merchant. Benzema to Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Back to Valverde, work this around. Jumini into Ronaldo, Ronaldo. To Benzema, 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 get it to Akimi. Oh, we can't quite. All that for nothing. It might be our first actual real defending chance, and Rudiger just stood strong there. Oh, no. That was my fault. I should have passed it. Oh, no, that's my fault. Oh, Courtois saves it off the post. Clean sheet is still safe. That was completely me, though. Actually, Chumini, why is he up so far? Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Chance to score his second. Okay, remember what I said about maybe he was decreasing? I don't, I don't think so. Never mind. He's got a brace. Benzema's got a brace, and this is 5 0. Chumini with a goal and an assist, too. What? An opening day. Okay, we got Endrick for uh, Vinicius and a few other subs. Let's uh, get a look at Endrick's uh, first game of the season two. Benzema, Ronaldo. Oh, Endrick's gonna be off. Is he offside? He's offside. I like the Ronaldo-Endrick combo, though. It's so funny. We got the very old and the very, very young. Benzema, Endrick's making his run. Endrick, okay, he kinda got out uh, out strength right there. Bro, Hakimi has just shut down this right side of the field. Okay, good chance for them. Vardio, okay, that was offside, actually. They could have scored that, but we're gonna have one more chance for a sixth if we can get it. Okay, we're not gonna get it. This game has slowed down a lot, but it's been over for a while five nil what a strong opening day was it was that espanol just being bad or was that actually us just being that good i'm not sure i feel like i'm gonna need another test for the 352 but ronaldo noodle ronaldo uh solid first game of the season damn my cam was my camera was big for that i didn't even realize uh my bad but brahim has been sold so that means we are closer to the hypothetical amount we would need to sign erling holland now is tony cruz gone as well that's what i'm curious of okay it is looking like it's happening tony cruz is going to tottenham hotspur now it definitely feels very controversial selling tony cruz but once again, it allows us to maybe be ready to sign a very big player. If not even Holland, it's someone else. A very, like a star player though. And honestly, we got like four midfielders ahead of him. So I think it just makes sense in the end. So that now puts us at 256 million. That actually might be enough for Holland. Still, it's going to be very close though. I think selling Vasquez might get us barely enough. So once again, in the comments, let me know, should we do that? Should we do something like that? I mean, it'd be big. But it's also Erling Holland. I don't know. Okay, now Cadiz. My camera won't be as big this time. And also, I think it's our first time maybe using the Awakener third kit. Actually, man, that that third kit is so clean. But let's let's use the black one because they got they already got the blue. I'm gonna give Endrick to start this game. Let's do that and then put Vinicius on the left. We're gonna we're gonna try that. Also, why not the next Sergio Ramos in for Mr. Uh, Vardial. Tony Cruz, of course. One more test for the three five two. All right, I want to see the same exact performance, like no drop in uh, form or performance at all. That'll show me that this formation is actually the right one for this squad. I mean, I feel like these are similar level to uh, Espanyol, so I'm expecting similar things here. Okay, Benzema going all the way. Now, Ronaldo is not in a good spot for that cross. So many. Valverde into Endrick. Endrick gets it to Benzema. 
Benzema cross all the way to Vinicius. Man, I feel like crossing. Look at crosses always go to like the completely wrong person. Might need to put it on like maybe semi or manual. Maybe I don't even know. All right, Tony Cruz, you haven't played in a while, but you're the next Sergio Ramos. We sold Militao because I believe in you. All oh, the Rudiger great block. Cross in Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz with the clearance. Okay, now the only Cruz here, so I, we can actually call him that. You don't gotta give him a, a nickname. Oh man, long shot. Courtois good save. That was a extremely long shot right there. All right, Cadiz showing a bit more attacking prowess than Espanyol for sure, but I feel like the extra center back it's gonna help so much. Kimi, all to Ronaldo, was looking for him. Not going to quite find him, though. Hendrick to Akimi, back to Hendrick. Hendrick, good little dribbling there. Benzema, all the way to Vinicius. Benzema, you got to get that through. That was such a good move. That was a goal by Vinicius. I saw it. Akimi has been so good so far. Valverde off to Vinicius. Vinicius keeps it in. Into Valverde. Valverde in to Hendrick. Hendrick, oh, man, I actually meant to lay it off to Benzema. What is happening? Hendrick. Hendrick, they're giving you space to shoot. Shoot. Okay, it's going to be a save. Man, I meant that back heel to go to Benzema. Cross in. It's going to be Benzema off the crossbar. All right, definitely it's been a little bit of a slower game so far. We still feel, though, like in control. Now, second half. Let's actually take over this game now. Give, me, give it to Hendrick. Actually goes to Benzema. Benzema to Ronaldo. Ronaldo volley. It's going to be a corner. Vinicius. Oh, beautiful corner. That is what a corner by Vinicius. And then Drew Amini, our CDM has scored two goals already this season. Like he's starting off so strong as well. This uh, delivery though. Oh, it's just inch perfect. That's the height to find Drew Amini. Then Drew Amini, great header. I have a feeling this game is about to open up and uh, not for Cadiz. Tony Cruz goes for the tackle. Not even close. Wasn't even an inch close there. Cruz being the central defender here. Tony Cruz, the defending is so good. Yeah, again, Cadiz looking decent here, but oh man, Rudiger. What a tackle again. We show us him over Militao and he's played good so far. Oh, man. Another good ball. They're knocking on the door, though. Cruz comes over. Cruz. Cruz. Oh, Tony Cruz. What a challenge. He is looking good so far this season, too. I mean, this is his first game. All right, Hendrick. Through to Ronaldo. He needs help, though. Ronaldo. Ronaldo cuts inside. Whoa. He just went past a lot of players there. But he, like, lost the ball, too, though. Like, he didn't even have a touch there. Okay, boys. Hakimi. Hakimi. Stay on the man. Stay on the man. Doesn't stay on him. Tony Cruz. Okay, I didn't think they were going to score that, even if they got the shot away, but they do. To be fair, they have been pushing so far in the second half. Like, they've been more uh, more attacking. I still thought Courtois at the near post had this, though. Ball comes in. Tony Cruz, I guess, he could mark that, but he's Tony Cruz is marking the far post. I feel like Courtois should have this, but maybe it's just hit. No, Courtois should save that. I think that's on Courtois. Okay, let's move Initius to the top. Let's do Williams for Hendrick. Uh, let's do Camavinga for Valverde, and I think we go with that. All right, we're in danger of dropping points here in game number two. Ronaldo. Hakimi, two-man game. Up to Ronaldo. Hakimi, what a ball to Ronaldo. The Ronaldo finishes. Immediately, re lead is restored. What a finish by Ronaldo. Also, what a pass by Hakimi. Wow, Hakimi is looking like a real signing. A true, true superstar signing right now. He's doing so much defending, going attacking-wise. That's why I thought he'd be perfect as a wing back. Ronaldo, that, that volley, though, was like a volley, but a low-driven shot. It was very nice. All right, boys, come on. It's got to be a winner here. It can't be a loss. Even a draw can't be. Williams. Oh, and Vinicius up to Nico Williams. Williams can't get to it. It's going to be cleared. Benzema. Get that to Vinicius. Vinicius. Okay, that was kind of slow there. Kimavinga to Benzema. Benzema finesse shot. Oh, man, that was tame. We only got a few more minutes. Vinicius up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo fights for it. Man, he could have stole that. One more would just seal this game. That header is not going to be good, though. All right, Kiddie's got a chance here. Oh, man, they do have a chance. Okay, mark him, please. Thank you. Hakimi, prove it. Oh, Hakimi would have tackled to save the game, if maybe. And that's going to be a 2-1 win. Okay, that game wasn't as convincing, of course, but still, 3-5-2 just seems like our strongest formation we could use right now. And if we sign Holland or another good, like, striker, maybe, it might take this team to a whole another level, maybe. All right, so two games, two wins. I would say solid, but 256 million to spend. If we sell Vasquez, I think we would have enough for a potential Erling Holland signing. I mean, it might also be enough for an Mbappe signing too, but I kind of feel like Holland's been the target in the series. I've used Mbappe before. I can't remember the last time I used Holland. It's been a while, so I feel like he'd be a lot more suited towards this team, but you guys let me know if we should do that or do nothing. Is this team good enough right now? You guys let me know in the comments down below. Okay, in this episode, we make a series altering decision. We got 256 million to spend. We have barely got to that amount after selling uh, Militao, Cruz, and we're going to sign one of two superstars. I just don't know which one yet. And also, even if we can actually afford it, like we might need to sell like one more player maybe. But this is huge. So drop a like, hit that sub button down below also if you have not. And of course, let's get into it. Okay, first comment, you should start a new player series.
series with a struggling club we want to see a struggling player in long series yeah so we're for sure going to do more my player series on tyster plus i am thinking about bringing uh my players back to this channel too maybe like some special ones like i know the ronaldo one we did was so good also a lot of fun so maybe soon we bring that over back to uh, this channel especially if that's what you guys actually want to see i think you should send mbappe considering it's slightly more realistic yeah i mean i think it's arguable but i would say mbappe he's he's been more heavily linked to real madrid than holland i'll say that but i also feel like i have not signed holland in a series i think uh in a, in a very very long time and this might be the only series with a potential uh meeting or teaming up of holland and ronaldo this might be our only chance to do that in a series as the last comment says i think you should sign Erling holland to make a good strike force with ronaldo up front ronaldo holland together as strikers benzema behind them vinicius as a left wing that sounds like one of the most insane teams you can have in career mode but for a real madrid series we are we are heavily thinking about it i mean a little bit more than thinking about it like we're gonna do it i just don't know who yet now i think price is gonna be our main issue because apparently mbappe is a bit cheaper than holland at least our uh, assistant manager is saying that but their values mbappe is gonna higher value we're gonna go in for both and see see what we can get accepted so first up is mr killian mbappe so his value i mean it said we can get like 190 for him something like that so i'm not sure what to offer to start i mean 200 million would be reasonable we'd have like a decent amount left over too i think we might start with that although i feel like that might be rejected maybe we're gonna try that if we paid that i would be comfortable paying 200 million for mbappe totally so psg they want 210 okay that's not much more uh make it 207 okay 207.5 is what they accept for mbappe 200 million now let's try mr erling holland so less value with holland but i think since he's younger they are gonna want a bit more than mbappe i'm gonna start with 207.5 same price to pay for mbappe i'm gonna start with that i feel like if we do 185 he might walk away and then i'm not sure we have time to go back in so 207.5 same price as mbappe and they walk away okay what did i just say 207 and he won't even counter okay i think we do have time to do one more offer but that's it one more because we have a week so we do have one more chance to go in for holland then our right, next game that was going to be valencia not an easy game this one is going to be four to rodrigo rodrigo benzema and benzema now attempt number two at erling holland now if they walked away at 207 i'm a bit i'm a bit scared here to be honest like i think we'd have to do like at least uh 225 now the assistant said 229 so i'm gonna do 230 i believe we'd have enough money left over 230 million for holland is going to be it is going to be accepted so it's way more for mbappe but if i'm being real here the comments were completely just uh like so many comments for mbappe so many comments for holland i don't think i've ever seen a transfer be more split or more like differing opinions in the comments but i do feel like we already signed mbappe in the liverpool series i feel like for this series i've won in holland since the beginning and i do feel like he fits this team a lot more for some reason now if we can get the wage done i think we're gonna sign erling holland i think mbappe would be amazing but we don't get many chances in a series sign holland i haven't signed him in forever i feel like we're not up top this is the perfect situation just can we get this contract down five-year contract holland he wants to be here for the long run all right let's do 375 now does he accept that wage erling holland is going to accept that wage we have actually signed the big norwegian 230 million is a lot of money we are putting all our eggs into this one basket here this one route it could prove to be so good could also prove to be a failure as always only only time is gonna tell i hate uh disappointing a lot of people in the comments who want mbappe but i just have I, my gut feeling is holland is better for us in this series now, i'm not sure he's gonna be number 10 but erling holland on real madrid shirt does look pretty pretty special can he play up top of ronaldo though with benzema behind them if they do it might be the deadliest duo of all time now i feel like it's gonna be an f because i feel like we might have overpaid but we had to make sure the deal got done it's actually that's gonna be an a really i guess apparently their asking price was like 280 so i guess in theory it's an a but it doesn't feel like an a man if benzema is nine like what do we give holland 10 really wait a second wait 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 moderich is number 10 right yeah why did it give uh why did it give holland number 10 i'm so confused here wait yeah so holland can't be 10 man what do we give him i guess 19 then endrick 19 we're gonna move endrick to 16 and then we'll give holland 19 i feel like that makes more sense because you guys did say 16 is his number in brazil already so for now holland will be our new number 19 this could be the most outrageous signing we've ever made on this channel and we also could have just built maybe the best team we've ever built maybe so vinicius goes to the left and then holland goes at striker up top with mr cr7 i mean that team just looks disgusting and we're about to see how they actually play though so holland that is the end of our transfer window we're not making any more signings of course what a way to end a window now because we just signed holland and this team is incredibly op we're gonna raise the sliders even more i'm gonna move their sprint speed and acceleration up to 60 we're gonna do that maybe shot error to 20 and then i think first touch to like seven so it's not a 
huge. I mean, it is kind of a big change, but it's not the hugest. A true test for this team. These are the toughest sliders I've ever had to use. But for this team, I think it makes sense. All right, first game after signing Holland is Granada. And first game, I want to play this game. It's against a team we should beat. And oh man, this could be a game. If we play as best as we can, this could be 7-0, 8-0. I mean, I don't even know. This team looks so good, but is it actually good? We're going to find that out. We got Ronaldo, Benzema, Vinicius, and then Holland in one starting 11. This is about to be absolute madness. I mean, the sliders should bounce out a little bit. It's still going to be tough, but I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go. Holland to Ronaldo, Ronaldo into Holland, Holland. That was a bad position to be in. It was an awkward pass. I'll say that. They got to learn how to play together because uh, it's they've never played together. Of course, that should be clear. Although Ronaldo in, is, is Holland onside? Holland's onside. The pace from Holland is disgusting. Ronaldo gets an assist to Holland, and that is goal number one in Erling Holland's Real Madrid career. Okay, that didn't, that didn't take too much time. The pace and strength of Holland is nuts. That defender had no chance. Ronaldo assists too. Like when I think of Real Madrid, I think of the Galacticos, of course, like all those big names in one squad. Uh, with Holland signing, I think the Galacticos are officially back because this squad is just full of superstars. And also, this is now one nil to Real Madrid. Holland now to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, it's the same chance, just other side. First Ronaldo to Holland, now Holland to Ronaldo. And that's new to Ronaldo to be, uh, to correct myself. And this is 2-0. This feels a little bit dirty. I mean, Holland, left foot. We know he's made some great passes from Man City and he's gonna do it for us too. 2-0 in 23 minutes, our two strikers score. Hakimi steals it up to Holland. Holland, through it to Ronaldo, Ronaldo. The man is looking spry into Benzema. Benzema shoots. Okay, now all three have scored. Like, this, this is just looking ridiculous right now. Holland into Ronaldo. Ronaldo finds Benzema, then Benzema scores. Our front three basically have scored now. Uh, I think so far, it, it this looks pretty good. Ronaldo, Benzema, Benzema, flip it. I was supposed to go to Holland. It goes to Ronaldo instead. Ronaldo blocks that uh, pass. Kind of awkward. Okay, what is this guy doing? Holland almost just stole that. What was that move? Okay, decent for Austin. Oh, wow, very decent. Whoa, where where was the ball even going there? All right, if we get Vinicius score, that'd be be great but Vinicius into Ronaldo that was a good interception right there if we get Vinicius to score two it's gonna be hilarious all right Holland Holland round one get it over to Vinicius Vinicius we got to cross Ronaldo actually it's gonna go back to Holland never mind it's Akimi. Oh, Akimi header from Vinicius. This is 4-0. Now, Holland will overshadow Akimi a little bit because he's just a bigger name, I'd say. But Akimi has been, like, amazing since signing him. And right there, he scores. The man can do everything. He's the perfect wingback for this formation. And that is a 4-0 first half. Pretty good first half for the new Galacticos, of course. Benzema to Valverde. Valverde. Look at the dribbling even from Valverde. He gets it to Benzema somehow. Over to Akimi. Akimi cross in. That's going to be Ronaldo. Can't find it. Benzema. Going for the bicycle kick. Okay, Benzema. That was a little bit embarrassing. Ronaldo to Holland. Holland. What about a long shot? Okay, that's going to be a free kick, actually. I'll take that. All right, Sierra 7. I believe this is this is your range. And the 38, almost 39 Ronaldo. Put this one into the back of the net. Free kick. Oh my, he's actually scored it. I'm telling you, the noodle hair Ronaldo. He's prime Ronaldo. How far out was that? That was an insane free kick by Sierra 7. Are you joking? We are playing so great right now. It's just, oh, it's perfectly hit over the wall. And then, oh man, that is actually a perfect free kick. That is one of the best free kicks I've scored, I think, this year. It's so like just over the keeper. It's perfect. And Ronaldo is playing insane and it's 5-0 to Real Madrid. And I don't think that'll be the final goal. Holland, Holland has a chance to score. Holland. Chance to score Holland. Oh, we hit the crossbar actually post. Never mind. Almost six, just like that. Benzema, Ronaldo into Vinicius. Whoa, that was a rough tackle. I don't want Vinicius getting injured again. Ronaldo to Vinicius. I see we got Holland. Vinicius. We find Holland. What a cross by Vinicius. Oh, Holland the header. What was that? That cross deserves so much better finishing. Okay, I actually saw a chance. Are we gonna keep this clean sheet? Alaba, what a tackle. All right, Andrew gone for Ronaldo and a bunch of other subs. This game's 5-0. Can we end it by scoring a few more? Kemavinga, great steal. Ball gets to Endrick, but we can't make anything out of it. Holland up top to Endrick. Endrick, can you fight for this? Can you fight for it? What a weird clearance. Oh, no, clean sheet. Oh, clean sheet is gone. Okay, where was my center back? They did, I guess they just broke free. Wait, Latasa, that guy, we just sold him to, uh, to Granada. I think he just scored against us. I think, I think that's a player we literally just sold to them. Like, he took that very well. What a good finish. I don't like losing a clean sheet, but in the end, it won't matter. The first game for Holland, the first test for this new look team. I would say we have passed with the flying colors. So, 5-1. Now, how can this team play against the better teams? That is now really what I'm wondering. 
and that question will be answered because now we have the Champions League. Okay, so our, our group this year is almost the same exact group as last year. We got Leipzig again and also Celtic. I'm pretty sure we had them last year, right? Am I thinking wrong? I know Leipzig for sure. Celtic, I, I think so. So, I mean, it's, it's a pretty similar group. Like, what is this? Now, Leipzig beat us twice last season twice so with holland is it going to be different okay i want to wear the blue kits we haven't had a chance to wear them so we're going to have a champions league uh blue promo night and uh this is the first big test for this new look squad i mean this team last season just simply knew how to beat us like i have no other explanation they just beat us twice it was easy for them will it be different this year with holland that's what i want to know and also we stole vardio from them as well ronaldo heads into holland man those two combined it's been pretty good so far okay leipzig again looking decent to start this game courtois makes a good save Man, Leipzig, they just they just know how to play against us. So you can see it again. We ain't playing Granada anymore. We are playing a very solid team. We gotta have probably the most uh deadly attack in the world though. Valverde into Ronaldo, into Holland. Holland holds off that defender. Holland gonna shoot himself, Holland. It's gonna be a good save. Now Benzema Holland Ronaldo in the box. This should be just uh a nightmare for defenders. That's gonna be a shot by oh man, that almost actually looked good. I believe that was Alaba. Bro, there's something about this team. There is something about this team. They just know how to play against us. They've already had two good chances they could have scored, but Courtois is going to catch that one. It's not a team I would think would be my Achilles heel in a Real Madrid series, RB Leipzig, but they simply are just playing amazing against us. That's some good dribbling. Oh, I got, yeah, he got around me there. He got around me there. I'm not sure how, but Courtois saves it. Ronaldo into Holland. Holland. Let's see the pace. Oh, he's just rapid quick. Just absolutely rapid quick. Oh man, he's just faster than everyone else. One nil to Real Madrid. Our first actual like clear attack and just like that we score. That is how deadly this team can be. All right, I would say against the run of play, this game is one nil. I mean, where are we just warming up though? Just warming up a little bit. Valverde into Ronaldo. Ronaldo into Benzema. Benzema turns him. Benzema turns him. Oh man, solid shot. Vinicius corner in, that's Benzema. Oh man, Benzema, you gotta score that. That looked like a great chance, Valverde. He's also got to win that. Holland, Holland. Holland finesse shot. It's going to be blocked. Alverde cannot win it. Oh, man. Whoa. Okay, he's, he's not onside, right? He's offside. Yeah, I was going to say, he's clearly offside. They just ruined that chance. Once again, though, they they could easily be 1-1 right now. Ronaldo into Vinicius. Vinicius, what do we got? Vinicius cuts inside. Vinicius. Vinicius. Low driven shot. Once again, Lachi is just ready for it. Too many wins that, though. In to Holland. Holland, that's going to be a foul. I will take the foul, I think. Nope. Back to Benzema. Benzema outside the boot shot. Ronaldo can't get the rebound. Benzema up to Holland. Back to Benzema. Benzema. Oh, get it to Vinicius. Oh, man. I saw that so late. Guardiola against the former team. Can't stop that. Oh, man. What a good cross. I thought he was going to play to the striker. What a good cross, though. If not for Courtois, this might be 1 1. Good corner, though. Great corner. Hakimi, good clearance. Gonna be a header back in the box, though. Back in the box. Shot. Alaba, good block. Swung it again. Oh, awkward. Very awkward. Very awkward. Oh, Courtois, what a save. Oh, no. Oh, no. They might score. Okay, Courtois is being superhuman right now. This attack is still not over. Okay, that's a good block. Valverde, Valverde, please. Valverde, we do get it out. Finally. That attack felt so long. Now, Holland over to Hakimi. Holland, catch up, please. Hakimi. Actually, Ronaldo so on side. Ronaldo so on side. Oh, Ronaldo just missed that. All we had to do was go far post and the game might be over. To be fair, the pass might have been a little bit overhit with uh, pace, but man, that should have been game over. Now, the problem is you can't give Ronaldo another chance. You can't do it. Ronaldo, not going to get to him, though. Over to Vinicius. Vinicius shot. Man, Vinicius, that was so bad. All right, Holland is tired, so Endrick Fraun for him. And then uh, I believe Rodrigo for Hakimi. Okay, this is a chance right here. Space. Immediately. It's for Endrick. Endrick shot all in off the crossbar. That might be game. Literally, that might be his first touch, but Endrick scores, and it's 2-0 to Real Madrid. I mean, this 16-year-old wonder kid, he has made a very strong impact on this series. And I mean, left foot hits the crossbar. Perfect. It's crazy how still, like, you'd expect us to beat Leipzig a bit easier, but still, they just know how to play against us. They gave us a solid run for our money here, but I believe we will come out with a win. That is at least what I believe. Oh, what a great tackle. Not done yet. Valverde, great block. Okay, defending has been solid. Hendrick to Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. From distance, CR7. Okay, I was going for that. Just for the spectacular. This game's over, though. Okay, wait, wait. One more chance. Benzema. A chance to make it three. Benzema shot. It's going to be three. Okay, Leipzig last season beat us twice. First meeting this season, we beat them 3-0. Yeah, with Holland and this team, our goal is to win the Champions League. If we don't, this series is just an absolute failure. There's no question. We need to win the Champions League. No semis exit. No final loss. It's got to be a final win. All right, Villarreal is going to be 2-0 courtesy of Holland and Akimi. The two new signings. Um, Real Batiste, that's going to be 2-2. Vinicius scores twice, but that is uh, that is some drop points. And then Elche. Elche is actually 
actually gonna be a loss. We actually just lost a game with this squad against Elche. I am so confused. If I'm honest, even a little bit sickened. But now we face Celtic. We're gonna go with our away kit this game. This will be two wins out of two to start the Champions League. A very solid start. Uh, let's give Tony Cruz the start at center back. Let's give Endrick the start over, over, maybe. Let's do over Vinicius. Let's do that. And then for old time's sake, Modric in for Valverde. Let's go with that against Celtic. I mean, Champions League is our main focus this season. So we gotta go strong here. I do need to change like the number or the color of the number kit on the back. Which I will change probably before the next episode, maybe. Now, for those that are listening, I am moving on Monday. So things are going to be pretty hectic. I'm going to try to keep getting daily videos out. I'm going to try my best. But yeah, I am moving, which is going to be a very big uh, thing to undertake. So I'll be very busy, but I'm going to try to not concede here and also try to not miss any days. Courtois makes a good save. All right, Benzema, you're running without a friend here. Where's your friends at? Benzema. Into Ronaldo. He didn't get the ball to your friend. Ronaldo off to Endrick. 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 Oh, man. That was almost really good dribbling, but it was also good defending as well. And then, is that Tony Cruz? No, it's Vardy all. I mean, no matter what, it's a very good tackle. Ronaldo up to Erling Holland. Holland. One touch shot. He's just such a beast. Should have scored that, though. Yeah, I think the last time he used Holland was like in the Barcelona FIFA 21 series, I believe. And so far, yeah, he's, he's definitely uh, progressed since then. Akimi, not a bad effort. Holland to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, get it to Benzema. Through to Holland. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Holland can't finish it off, though. Once these three really yell on the same page. Oh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo steals it. Oh, Ronaldo scores. Celtic, what are you doing? Ronaldo is just so locked in right now. New to Ronaldo is just built different. He's locked in. He's pressing. He steals the ball and he scores. I mean, sir, sir, what are you doing? You just got swiped by CR7. Yeah, this is definitely one of our series that we do with. It's very outrageous. Like, like for the most part, our series are like, uh, I would just say not like this. This is definitely a bit nuts. But when you use a team like Real Madrid, I feel like it kind of makes sense to go a little bit nuts. Bends him up. Bends him up. Okay, I tried to take that shot, but it was a great tackle, though. Ronaldo out to Andrick. I see Holland. Oh, what a ball to Holland. Holland. Endrick. What a pass to Erling Holland. That is disgusting. Endrick's not, his passing stats aren't even like amazing right now. That was just a beautiful ball and Holland scores now. Like Endrick. First time cross. Oh, that's just dirty. It's just dirty. 2-0 to Real Madrid. What are the team's stats going to look like at the end of the season? I feel like they're going to look nuts. I'm thinking 30 goals for Ronaldo and maybe 30 for Holland. And then Benzema, definitely at least uh, 20 assists as well. I believe we've literally formed the Avengers of football right now. Like, there's no other way to put it. We are literally the Avengers right now. Probably the best way to put it of what we have done to this Real Madrid squad. Okay, those are some moves, though. Those are some solid moves. Alaba has been so good this season, though. He's been so much better than last year. And I'm not exactly even sure why. Vardio, up to Endrick. Endrick. Cut it back to, I believe, Ronaldo. Ronaldo holds it. Ronaldo taken out from behind, though. It's a good tackle. Oh, Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz. Now, I think, like, when we do our Credit Cup series, it's going to be some point soon, I think. I don't know if it's our next series, but it's going to be soon. I think Tony Cruz, players like that will definitely be in that series. Okay, Benzema just got held up there. Hendrick, only chance is to shoot and get a corner. It's not going to be a corner. Oh, no. That's a good chance. Oh, that's a good chance. Courtois has been so good this this episode. I'm not sure even why. The man has just been informed. Like, we, we should have conceded a couple times, but Courtois... The man is playing so strong. That's another save. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chance to score. Oh, they're going to score. Oh, they're going to score. Okay, that was a good move by Celtic. That was a very strong move. Okay, 2-1. We got 15 minutes. I mean, we should still win, but that goal definitely makes this a game for the final uh, final bit of it. All right, Rodrigo is on for Benzema. Now, Akimi. We feed Holland to Rodrigo? I absolutely guess not. That was pitiful. All right, Celtic definitely having some life in him after that goal. Okay, Tony Cruz, what a tackle. Okay, Alaba, please. Oh, no. Vardial plays. He got the strength. Any other center backs? That might have been a mistake right there. Instead, Vardial plays a beautiful ball to Endrick. Oh, we can't get it to uh, Rodrigo, I believe. That should have been so, so much better. Alaba can't steal that one. Now, players out of position low key. Oh, no. They're going to win. They're going to score. I mean, they're not going to tie because that's offside. Okay, thank you. It might be the last chance. That's extremely close to this being a tie game. And out of all teams, no disrespect to Celtic, but to Celtic. We are the Avengers. Like, we should win every game, but we still win this one, although it did show, I guess, a little bit of uh, inconsistency. But Holland joins three wins out of three. I'm seeing some some big things in the future of this team. So those are the stats for the first part of the season. I mean, Benzema 7 and 9, Ronaldo 6 and 9, also 6 assists for Ronaldo, and then Holland 4 and 6 in his first episode. This team has got the look of a very dangerous team. I want Vinicius scoring more. We might have to alter like his instructions maybe with 352, but this might this has potential to be like the best team we've ever built. The potential at least. And we're not even first. We're in second place place. That's got to change. Also, same deal in the Champions League. Fenerbahce beat Celtic and Leipzig. So maybe they're the team to beat out of those three. Okay, that'll be in the next episode. I mean, this was a very uh, series-altering decision.
decision undoubtedly one of our like crazy series or we just do things like that but if it means we end up with the champions league trophy i think it'll it'll pay off okay we just signed erling holland to pair him up with ronaldo and also benzema we are the avengers now but this episode our first actual big test we got the el Clasico versus barcelona and we also have atletico madrid so we'll see in this one if they can actually play together and actually win against good teams because look at this squad this squad looks amazing but they have to gel together to actually be good and also somehow i didn't notice this in the last episode but uh nico williams out for three months with a broken toe why are everyone breaking their toes around here so that does hurt but we have found a player a youth player that could maybe fill that hole until he's back so drop a like if you guys are enjoying the series of course and also with that sub button down below if you have not okay first comment make Rodrigo go at camp when benzema retires you have an 88 minimum rated player to replace him yeah i've seen a lot of comments saying we should try rodrigo at cam and uh, we didn't need to sell him to sign holland so he's still here of course i wanted to keep him and i do feel like he might be good behind like ronaldo and uh holland so i do want to try that and next comment create a club next yeah so i think the credit club series is coming very soon if it's not the next series we do it's gonna be the next series after that for sure i think now i'm thinking should we bring kensington back from last year or fuel 22 should we just do like another version of kensington this year in people 23 because i mean that series that series was amazing or should we do like a whole different credit club uh, let me know what you guys think you should sign rafael leao his pace is insane his dribbling is smooth considering his height yeah we already know that the man is a is a beast in fifa for sure and also real life and uh, with nico williams out i'm starting to think about a winger like do we need to sign maybe someone as a uh, as backup but saying that i think we've already found the backup so when this season started i bought new scouts i fired our two scouts and i bought five star five stars and i think that decision has just found us a very very special player the name is ketso kumalo from south africa and i hope i'm saying that right but we may have gotten lucky here the first youth player was tony cruz and now i think this second we have found might be even better in ketso kumalo so he's a left footed left winger five seven height 71 overall now his potential range is pretty pretty wide but looking at his stats like he's got insane starting stats highest attributes like agility sprint speed and and then ball control dribbling he's got 65 finishing too now if this guy popped up in Real Madrid's academy in real life people would call him the South African Messi the next Lionel Messi but you know what I mean he's 5'7 he's left footed so we should make him a right winger I mean it only makes sense and he could be like a really truly big star for us and also replace Nick Williams while he's out injured on the bench because now we basically got a, a bench spot open and I think Kamalo is gonna fill that spot so he is promoted we're gonna make him a right winger because we gotta make him the South African Messi we gotta do it now 1 through 25 numbers free pretty much either 14 or 24 was it 24 so Ketsu Kamala is gonna get his chance in this episode at some point and uh we will see how good he is see if he has any relation in his skills to the Lionel World Cup winner Lionel Messi first game is Viacano that's gonna be a 2-1 win courtesy of Holland and Ronaldo seeing those two score in the same game is is nuts all right Kamalo already to right winger so that is settled and he looks like he is going fast now now we got the El Clasico though I'm not sure he's gonna play in this game it might be too big of an occasion but this is the first truly big test for this new look squad and also for Vinicius I have changed his uh, instructions so he stayed forward cut inside and get him behind so he's not gonna be playing as a typical like wing back but real madrid barcelona kamalo's on the bench first el clasico for erling holland so i remember last year barcelona beat us one time pretty good but other than that i think we beat them every other time so i mean adding holland and akimi to this team i mean i do think we have the advantage here they got malik with savage though that's a, that's a solid signing but we are literally the avengers of football right now we get a cross holland what a cross benzema oh man holland what a cross though i just said that twice but that's how good that cross was all right akimi versus Ferran torres akimi you've been so good oh that's easy that should be easy thankfully it is so we should get a lot more out of vinicius in the uh in the formation right now oh akimi cross to vinicius oh what a cross always oh, offside though salona oh working this so good alaba oh it goes over Okay, Rafinha, what a goal. Barcelona just worked through us there so well. Man, that's like their first attack, really. This passing is so great. I missed tackle there, and then I try to go for the side tackle. We get close to blocking that, but Courtois hasn't been the most uh, secure at the near post. Man, he's so close to saving that, where I feel like maybe he should, but I feel like it's more so unlucky. It's 1-0 to Barcelona, though. Boys, we are the Avengers. We're not going to lose at home to Barcelona. Give me to Valverde. Valverde. Get it to Benzema. Oh, man, Valverde. That pass is a little bit overhead. And not going to lie, Barcelona are actually looking really good right now. Look at the ball movement. They got Tierney into put on Torres. Torres, he's gonna shoot. Okay, Valverde, what a what a tackle that is too. All right, Benzema, Vinicius, we see you. Good ball to Vinicius, Vinicius, we got a cross maybe. Vinicius cross and be blocked. We get it to Ronaldo. Yes, we can. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh man, his first touch was not that great. We gotta sharpen up here. Ronaldo to Benzema. Benzema through to Holland. 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 We flip it up. That's gonna be a foul, right? Wait, Holland has got taken out. That's not a foul. How is that not a foul? All right, we get no love from the ref, and this is uh second half begins. One nil still to. 
Barcelona. Oh, I need to be more patient than that. That is not a good pass. Benzema through to Holland. Man, they are defending Ronaldo and Holland. Pretty good here. Holland just got trashed right there. They just destroyed him. Oh, man, we just we just don't seem as sharp today, if you know what I mean. It just, it feels, oh, man, what a pass. That's going to hit the hit the post. This probably should be 2-0 right now, but instead we survive for the second, though. Kessie into the box. Lewandowski shot. Rudiger, good block. Holland, Ronaldo through to Akimi. Great ball from Ronaldo. Akimi. I think you need some help. I think you do, Akimi. Track it back to someone. Ronaldo. Oh, what a track back. And then Ronaldo, what a hit. Ronaldo was so far away that I thought that was either going to be blocked. But Ronaldo, what a first time shot. Akimi finds Ronaldo. Bro, Ronaldo's not even facing the goal. He still knows to shoot to the left. And it's just pinpoint. What a finish. This is 1-1. We were in desperate need of that. Vinicius, Ronaldo. See, Vinicius is much more forward, which is which is a good thing. Just Barcelona are doing a good job defending him. I think uh, those instructions are going to help him a lot, though. Because we don't want him necessarily playing as a wing back. Because we got too many... And a good defense. That's a good save, though. Speaking of Vinicius, though, we're going to do Endrick for Vinicius. We're going to do that. Game is 1-1. I think uh, our South African uh, youth talent, he might play the next game. I feel like this game might be a bit too close and a bit too a bit too uncertain for us to play a player that's that young, that inexperienced. But Barca want to score. This is 2-1. I feel like we don't concede from corners very often, but like, what happened here? It's corner near post. We got a man on the line, but the man on the line uh, doesn't really do much to clear that. That should not be a goal. That's a mistake. Uh, it's Valverde. Valverde? Yeah, you got to clear that. Valverde, maybe it was, it hit his actual, it hit his thigh. Miscommunication between uh, Valverde and Courtois, maybe, but this is 2-1 to Barcelona. We are in danger of losing this El Clasico, Ronaldo. Great dribbling right there. All right, Endrick, you've had some very good cross. Oh, Endrick just destroyed that man, Ronaldo. Oh, I tried to get it to Holland. I thought he was going to track back and more. Oh, no, we got to go aggressive here now. We got 10 minutes. We got to go super aggressive. Ansu, that's not going to work. Too many. Great ball to Holland. Holland heads it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Volley attempt. Oh, man. That would that would have been so clean. Oh, we got five minutes. I think we're doing it. I'm actually going to do it. Uh, Ketso Kamalo on. Maybe the South African Messi. And then Rodrigo for Benzema. We're going to do that. Also, Kemvinga for Chumini. We got five minutes. We got a we got a debut for a very young youth player. Can he help maybe salvage a point? Cross in. Not bad. Vardio not going to get it. It falls to Rodrigo. Rodrigo to Vardio. Man, I don't like... Okay, Rodrigo's got space here. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, we just got pushed right there. He got shoved. It's good defending, though. Oh, no, that's going to be it, huh? I think that might be our final chance. Alaba. Oh, he can't steal it. We are going to lose to Barcelona. That's going to be it. Oh, man. 2-1. We were not sharp that game at all. Like, we barely got back into it with that goal by Ronaldo. But immediately, Kunde scores. And our first El Clasico as an Avengers team with Holland. We lose 2-1. Barcelona were just a better team on this day. All right, so we dropped a third in La Liga. Six points behind Sevilla in first. And now we face uh, Fenerbahce, the team we're tied with in the Champions League group stage they might be the team to beat and i am feeling i'm feeling Ketsu kamalo we gotta give him a chance to start i'm so feeling that strongly so um let's do let's do kamalo left wing and let's do vinicius for ronaldo i want to try holland vinicius up top together let's do cruz for rudiger and then we will go with that so Ketsu kamalo gets his first start we will see if he is the next messi the south african messi man i should have changed the kits they're kind of kit clashing a little bit but it's fine now i wouldn't usually start a youth player in a game like this but you know as we do he is the focus of the episode at least a main focus Focus. So he gets a chance to prove himself. Benzema to Kamavinga. Kamavinga. Get it to Holland. Holland. Oh, man. That dribbling was almost so clean. I located. Not know what to do there, though. Kamavinga steals it into Kamalo. Kamalo to Vinicius. Up to Kamalo. Oh, what a debut goal. He's, he almost played that like he's been playing with Vinicius his whole entire life. Did you see that move? That was one of the cleanest give and goes I've seen or maybe of this series so far. Ketso Kamalo scores immediately. The give and go Vinicius and Vinicius little ding. Kamalo left footed half volley finish into the bottom right hand corner. Okay, welcome to Real Madrid. Like what a solid hit too. That is not what I was expecting, but it makes me so happy. What a goal for the Youth Academy graduate starting his first game. It's only a 71 rated by the way. Vinicius to Benzema, Benzema. Ketso's making a good run. Ketso almost actually got that too. Holland up to Vinicius, Vinicius to Benzema. You see Holland, Holland is gonna climb. He's gonna volley that. That's gonna go right at the chest of a Fenerbahce player. That man's gonna have a stomach ache. Valverde to Benzema. Benzema left footed all off the post. What a shot by Benzema. Now, Kamalo is definitely a right winger, but with Hakimi there, we got to play him on the left for this game. Probably take Hakimi off at some point and play Kamalo on the right wing. There's some space here, though, that I don't like to see. I don't like to see it. That's a finesse shot, but a good save by Courtois. Okay, they got a free kick in a very dangerous spot here. Please don't score this. Is Am I going to pick it out? Nope. Second guy's going to shoot. Second guy's going to shoot. Okay, whoa, that was actually bad. I expected better from uh, Fenerbahce there. Hakimi. Holland, Holland to Vinicius. Oh man, what a slide tackle like interception. All right, Tony Cruz, the next to Ramos. Can't get it away from him. He's going to tackle him though. Oh, we might just give it a penalty maybe. 
Oh, oh, okay, boys, boys. Why is he freeing our box for a tap in? This is 1-1. How is this guy so free? Um, Alaba and then Vardial. What are we doing here? I mean, that's Alba's fault, really. Alba and Cruz, actually. I mean, no, or Vardial. All three. No, all three get blamed. How would you let a opposition player get that close for a tap in? This is 1-1. Vinicius into Holland. Holland got to score that. Holland right foot shot across goal, but it is going to be saved. Man, does Ronaldo finish that? I'm not sure. Uh, Kamalo actually cross in. And Alaba makes up for the mistake for the defensive line. He scores, and it's 2-1 to Real Madrid. Also, Kamalo just got an assist. He played in that corner, and that delivery was beautiful. The left foot of Kamalo. He's got the messy light cross, the delivery, and Alaba climbs and makes up. All right, 2-1, and that is halftime. All right, let's not let them uh, score again, please. That'd be very nice. Kamalo up to Vinicius. Vinicius, get it over to Holland. Holland, whoa, Vinicius. That was not a good pass right there. Holland to Vinicius, over two. It's Karim Benzema. That's going to be blocked, though. Man, we got to score that. That's a chance that you just need to score if you want to if you want to be the best team in the world right now. Good move by Fenerbahce. Alaba just got rinsed, but Tony Kroos, the next Sergio Ramos, just made a crunching tackle. Benzema to Valverde. We got pace here. Valverde. Oh, man. They're defending so well. Like, Fenerbahce, I'm so impressed by them right now. They're showing why the first two games, the group stage, they have two wins just like us. Okay, this is dangerous. Vardial goes in for the tackle. That's risky. We're just going to clear it. Actually, a great pass to Kamalo. Oh, Vinicius, what a touch. Oh, my. If we score from this, it'll be so clean. Vinicius, please. Vinicius, through to Holland. Holland. Oh, we got to score this. Oh, if we scored that, that would be so clean. That Vinicius, like, back heel something. That was clean, though. Okay, Kamalo to the right wing, and we're going to bring on, uh, let's do Rodrigo. Uh, Modric for Valverde. And actually, let's do Ronaldo for Benzema, and then move Rodrigo to camp, and then Rodrigo up top. Or Ronaldo up top, and then Vinicius on the left wing. Let's do that. Kamalo, you got another delivery in you. Honestly, decent. Alaba, what's Alaba again? Mavinga heads it over to Kamalo. Now this is his right foot. Okay, he just got, he just got out muscled there completely. He's a youth player. What do we expect? Tony Cruz though. What a challenge. Holland, find him. Find Rodrigo. Rodrigo shoots. Did he go to Vinicius? Rebound. Someone score. Holland, how do we not score that? What is happening? Modric cross in. Decent. Oh, another decent header. It's gonna be saved though. Kamalo cross in. Alaba again. Alaba. Okay. That's like how many saves in a row right now. I'm getting sick of it. Kamalo, delivery. Another good header, but it's right at the keeper. Oh, now they got all the space. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh, Courtois, what a save. That is a missed goal for them. Rodrigo, playing that camp spot. Over to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, we got, we got Vinicius. We got Vinicius. Vinicius climbs. He's not tall enough, though. Oh, man. I feel like we might tie this game into added time. I'm feeling, I'm not feeling good about this. Oh, I'm going to make a challenge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Courtois saves us. How is that free? The defense is looking shaky right now. If we just defend this corner, we win. Corner in. Please, Courtois got it. Oh, man, we survived that. Fenerbahce just gave us a run for our money, though. We had to. We had to fight for that one, but it is a win, though. So, three games out of three wins in the group stage so far. And also, Ketso Kamalo, that first goal was beautiful. So beautiful. I want to see it again. Look at the give and go. Give and go, Vinicius. Vinicius, Dink. And then Kamalo, left-footed volley. Oh, man. Talk about a debut goal right there. Okay, Levante is going to be a 1-1 draw. More drop points in the league. We're kind of slipping here. Like, certain things are going to be brought into question here pretty soon. Asasuna is going to be 3 0 Rodrigo, Ronaldo, and then Vinicius, who also got a red card. Uh, nice. All right, two more. Valladolid, Vinicius, not going to play this game. And this one, it's going to be a 2 one loss to Valladolid. Holland scores. How are we dropping this many points with this Avengers level team? I don't know, but uh, Fenerbahce again. And we lose 3 2. Rodrigo scores and uh, Hakimi scores. That's another loss right there. Questions are starting to be asked right now about one certain man. We're in fourth place. We are uh, eight points off. Sevilla, we face Letico Madrid next. A tough game. Now, Kamalo, we got to start him against Vinicius' so bench. He deserves another start, though. And then I think uh, Rudiger's tired, but we got to play him against Letico Madrid. We got to do that. If we lose against Letico Madrid, this season is going to be start to uh start to get very very interesting in a bad way come on like we're doing the job of the play games but sim games i'm seeing some very uh some very questionable results but Ketzel kamalo another start see how the south african uh maybe young superstar does and also these games are turning into must win games as uh we just keep dropping points also i don't think holland scored in the episode right holland's been a little bit disappointing in this one benzema Benzema, oh man, he couldn't turn quick enough. Oh man, oh man, good move, Rudiger. Oh, Rudiger, that's just great defending though. All right, Ronaldo, okay, we need some help. Man, he got no pace no more. Now, we did fix Ronaldo's rating to 90 in the last episode, but he's dropping so quick because he's so old that he's, he's not going to be at 90. He stays there for like one week, then goes down, I believe. Oh, his his stats are going to be dropping rapidly, I think, but I think he's still good. Valverde, through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, how good? He can't even get the shot away. Ronaldo, over to Benzema. Benzema, Kamalo's in. Kamalo. Ketzo Kamalo is going to shoot. Oh, I should have played it to Holland. The youngster played the wrong pass or the wrong decision. He could have he passed it, but went for the shot. That pass to Holland, though, was going to be pretty tough. Kamalo 
up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Kamalo is making some very good runs. Okay, this is a better chance. Kamalo, better chance to score. And he scored against Atletico Madrid. Two goals for the young South African superstar right now. Out of all players, this Avengers team, a youth player we just found is scoring the goals for us. Ronaldo assists. Kamalo is making just, it's just a good run. Beats the defense. It's just great positioning. Kamalo has two starts. He's got two goals to show for in those two games. Ronaldo to Holland, Holland, Holland. Oh man, that was gonna be such a good ball to Kamalo. Felix, Felix, stop. Felix, 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 stop. I'm like assaulting this man and he's still going. Oh, why do I feel like you're gonna score this? I feel like they're gonna score it. I feel like they're gonna score it. Not gonna get faked out. Oh, they're gonna shoot it. They're gonna shoot it. Oh, Kamalo with the block. What a block by the youngster. Now Benzema. Ronaldo doesn't have the pace anymore. Wait, wait. Man, he almost just made me eat my words. All right, second half. Kamalo's goal separates these two teams. See if we can uh, extend this lead further. All right, Chumini into Kamalo. Whoa, there's space here. Oh, Kamalo plays the wrong pass, though, and we almost take out All Black. I wanted that to go to Ronaldo, of course. I don't know where all that space came from, though. Oh, Vardy all just got destroyed by Correa's touch, but Alaba, Alaba gets it. They're going to get it back, though. Oh, I thought they were going to play it to someone else. Felix, Trumini messes it, and okay, Felix just runs it out. That was kind of odd, but I'll take it. Trumini into Erling Holland. Holland got to score that. Oh, Trumini, what a pass to Holland. That is the delivery to Holland we've been looking for. Finally, he scores, and it's 2-0 to Real Madrid. Just picks the ball up, finds Holland. The space is there, and Holland, that's a, that's a tap in for him. Valverde through to CR7. CR7 gets it to Benzema. Benzema, CR7, CR7. I try to get it to Akimi. And all of a sudden, our numbers are overloading Atletico Madrid. Holland's going to score that. Okay, all of a sudden, their defense just absolutely crumbling. It's 3-0. We had a 4-on-3 here. Look at this. It's a 4-on-3, four, four and then Benzema finds Holland. Holland's not going to miss that again. Holland is finding his form, and it's 3-0. Good ball to Felix. Felix does that little move, gets away from Alaba. Shot. Courtois, good save, though. All right, Vinicius, Cruz, Hendrik, and Modric are on. It's a lot of subs, but 3-0. I feel like the game feels pretty uh, pretty solid right now. And Ketso Kamalo, show anything else. After this episode, I'm not sure he's going to start that often. Free kick in the box. That is going to be Alaba. That's a solid clearance. Now, we could break from this. Never mind. Never mind. We can't break from it because they're going to score. Courtois might be the best keeper in the game. And I mean, we might already all know that. That save is just insane. Another corner in Modric. Whoa, that's awkward. But Courtois just grabs it like a psycho. Firmini up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, man. He just got taken out. Please don't get hurt. Ronaldo, he's fine. But they are putting pressure. They might score. Oh, Alaba. Good positioning, though. Vinicius to Ronaldo. Wait, Ronaldo is hurt. Oh, no. Over to Endrick. Oh, okay, that's going to be... Is that Endrick? That's Endrick. I was being... Uh, I was a little confused, but Endrick scores. But Ronaldo is injured. Please no. Please not again. He missed like two months last season around this time. He gets the assist. Endrick scores, but I am worried and scared. Okay, he's fine. It's gone. Oh, man. Thank you, FIFA gods. But okay, 4-0 against Atletico Madrid. I will take that. That was a very solid win. Last season, these meetings were always so close, but Kumalo started us off strong with the goal, and then everything else followed. What a game for the youngster. It's just the results are very inconsistent right now, where like the manager is going to be put under the hot seat right now. Like, Carlo Ancelotti is under the microscope right now. But Ketso Kamalo, what a debut. He's got two goals in three games with also an assist. The uh, South African winger looks like a very good prospect for us. And Williams is out till December, so Kamalo's going to get an extended run to come off the bench. But next episode, we'll try and finish off first in the group stage and probably also enter the January transfer window. And like I said, Ancelotti is under the microscope.